Thoughts, we're going to be beginning this show in about 13 
one of the broadcast in two minutes and 20 seconds. Holy shit. 24 hour live stream. To the Atomic Bitch Raps. You can find them on the internet. Definitely get out there and purchase their album. Our friend Nick D over there in the chat has seen them live and they are incredible. Make sure you get out there and purchase their album. We're going to be starting the show in 30 seconds. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and sentient robots. Welcome to the 24-hour live stream event. That's right, the 24-hour live stream event. Let's go ahead and take off that one-hour counter, and let's put up our new 24-hour counter starting right now. Starting right now. <laughs> it should be starting right now. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. 23 hours. Beautiful. Let's put that down there. All right, let's do this. Let's get the show on the road. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of music while we get into the swing of things. Uh, how about some... Uh, oh, I know what to play. You know, music that, that I'm actually licensed and allowed to play would be a good idea. <laughs> let's play a little Johnny Carbonaras. How about that? I like that group a lot. They're really cool. You can go ahead and check them out at johnnycarbonaras.bandcamp.com. Uh, yeah, man. It's it's some it's some funky shit. It's some real funky shit.
out. It's almost ready. The horse is just about to move into that starting gate. The weather is perfect, and we're just. If anyone is wondering what the hell I'm doing, um, yeah, I'm actually I'm trying to level my character up. So I can actually do that by um, cheating the system a little bit and going to the gym. So the gym is essentially like this this building. Uh, it's it's the top of the tower. Uh, you climb across this crane and then you do like a little obstacle course, uh, as you see here. And I'm able to level up my character. I have, as you can see at the top of the screen, I have uh, agility and power, which uh, you know works with combat. And I found that agility is way, way more important in this game.
Don't be embarrassed about opening your mouth and letting rip with all you've got. All you've got. Remember this. You scream at the right time. It may save your life. Okay, guys, I'm almost leveled up now. As soon as I level up, we're going to go kill some zombies. I'm so close. Look, level 9 agility. So close. Bam. Oh, my God. So fucking close. This is ridiculous. I can smell the level. I can smell level 10, everyone. Can't you smell level 10? It smells like, like cookies or maybe like rotting flesh. I'm not sure. Wee! Oh shit, I'm dead. I missed it. Don't don't make me lose points. Okay, good. Oh, I can't believe we died. Did it, baby. Level 10 agility. That's right. We're ready to fuck shit up. We're gonna kill things with chainsaws, giant axes on fire. They do have axes on fire, and I'm pretty sure I can whip up some adamantium claws if that's what you really want. You've gotta figure it out, though. You gotta see. You gotta see. you notice on the bulletin board? Uh, your alumna, excellent. That idiot Dahoud sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I put a backup there at my place. It's not far away, it's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See. We're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it.
я там был, мед пиво пил. А у Санта плох, а в рот не попал.
Malik, what's going on? Eagles, how's it going? We're just playing some game right now. We're doing a 24-hour live stream here on Golden Vision. Uh, you should be able to find us on twitch.tv as well as youtube.com as we are multicasting. We're streaming to multiple mediums, man. This is some, this is some groundbreaking shit right here. We're playing Dying Light. We're going to be playing that for a few hours and we're going to move on to something else. But uh, enjoy the show. We will. I'm just brewing up a little bit of coffee because I'm hella tired. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit of coffee and then we're going to get right back to playing this game, killing some zombies, trying to find this motherfucker a gun. All right.
Get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Hello? Anyone here? Just stay still. Maybe he'll go away. Anyone here? Rice sent me. I'm here for a pickup. on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh my god. That's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Just tell them to go away. Do it nice and maybe he'll leave us alone. Better yet, send it to Gersel. He'll know what to do. Please. We don't know anything. Go. Talk to Gersel. He lives about the store. I told 
told you what I know. Please, just leave us alone. Mercer's house is... It has to be one. Yeah? Hey, Rice sent me here to pick up something for him. You won't find it here. Not here. Not in this house. Not anywhere around this house. Gersel. Gersel is the one you're looking for. Please, I don't want any trouble. If you need to talk to... Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You brought the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Kyla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. Fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. So there's a settlement there? Head east and you'll find it. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water.
medicine. Forget about the drops and talk with Rice. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess? I know exactly how they got in. That masked nutjob soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time, like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the husp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy.
here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off, you bloodsuckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Move along, asshole. Myself. Uh, Rage and Raspberry is what I got. Well, long, time. asshole. Okay, take a little, take a little five-minute break, kind of stretch out my eyes at something that's 20 feet away. They say that you're supposed to do that every once in a while if you're playing or looking at a screen, working on computer for a long time. You try to look away for a little while. You better keep walking unless you want to stop breathing. Is that... is that better? I think that's better. So talk to me, everybody. There's over there in the chat and the YouTubes. On the Twitches. What are you we got, looking we got a at? dual stream going on right now. So let, let's start a little dialogue. Let's talk a little bit. While we watch this guy wield his, his gun. Uh, so, Josh Haley over there, Eagles4201, is talking about a little bit of e juice. Uh, he's saying that he got the cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, no, no. Uh, got super drizzle. Tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Pretty crazy. I think there's a. Uh, there's a resurgence, or not a resurgence, but there's definitely like a lot of uh, breakfast flavors coming out now. I usually will, uh, if I if I send out a tweet or an Instagram or something like that with, uh, you, you know, with me at? doing some vape, I'll usually hashtag vape. Um, and I end up getting a bunch of people, uh, companies mostly, that like the stuff and try to promote their product or whatever the fuck. And uh, I see the, the breakfast cereals quite often. But I, I'd like to see um, maybe turkey, a little roast beef, au jus, maybe um, what are you looking at? stuffed artichoke flavor with uh, hollandaise sauce. I have not checked out D23 just yet. Um, I'm not necessarily waiting for anything. I just wanted to start up the 24-hour live stream. But that is in the cards. We will be talking about D23 a little bit later today. Um, it's still pretty damn early in the uh, in the, what are you in the uh, West Coast. It's it's 2 p.m. right now in New Mexico and uh, California uh, is actually a little bit uh, a little bit west of us. So they're one time zone over. Um, I'm not sure if it's in California or if it's in Washington. I think it's in California. 
I have to imagine it's in California. But yeah, we're definitely going to be doing something later on today about D23, talking about uh, what happens. But we want uh, some reports to get out first. We want to not just say, hey, they showed a trailer. Like, we actually want to have a little bit of time to prepare for it and, and put something together. So you could probably expect Owen. Uh, Owen likes comics. You could probably expect uh, Eric, Baron Von Comics. Uh, you can also expect probably Jake. I'm not sure. Uh, but definitely expect some some guests to jump on later on to talk about uh, not only D23 but some other uh, movie news and such like that. We actually haven't been able to do any um, live broadcasts this week. I got banned from Twitch yesterday, 24-hour uh, ban, just because uh, I, I was testing some things out. And turns out they don't like so much when you do radio broadcasts. So we're trying to reestablish the fact that this is uh, also a game channel and we're doing a 24-hour live stream to make sure everything is okay. They were playing, uh, playing some games. Da -da -da -da. Um, yeah, apparently Comic Book Cast has done some videos on uh, D23. Uh, but the thing is, they, they put out a news broadcast. I'm trying to, to avoid just putting out a broadcast like just to be breaking news, news, just to do this tent pole thing. Not to say that they shouldn't or anything, but I did that before uh, with the Punisher video, and I was one of the first videos to get out there. It got a, a decent amount of hits, but at the same time, I really wanted to talk more about it, and I wish that I had formed my opinions a little bit better rather than just saying, Punisher, John Bernthal, he's cast, da 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 da. Like, you know, if I take a little bit of time, just a few hours, I can kind of formulate some, some thoughts, I can kind of do a little bit of research, and just make it overall a better production. So that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. So uh, Nick V over there on the YouTube stream uh, is telling us that they posted a timeline over at D23. I don't know anything about this, man. I just started my day, started up the stream, made sure everything was running okay. We were having crazy amounts of problems last night. As uh, some of you may attest to, you may have seen like 30 notifications that we went live and then went off and then went live and went off. But yeah. Um, we do have our crack team of guys, Owen Likes Comics, uh, Sal Perez of, of Perspective, uh, who you may not have met on the live stream yet, but I guarantee you that, that Sal Perez Perspective uh, is an instrumental member of the team here to make sure that we get the news stories that we need, to get the images that we need and stuff like that. Really cool dude. Uh, definitely check him out. Uh, send him a tweet at Perspective. That's P E R E Z P E C T I V E E, like uh, uh, perspective, but per Perez perspective. It's, it's clever. Apparently, I, I thought of that, and I don't even remember. Apparently, I thought of Baron von Comics as well. Uh, Owen likes comics. That's so damn original. Only Owen can think of it. <laughs> Uh, the Minecraft at? film. I'm glad you asked that, Josh Haley. Um, I'm surprised that you knew about that. Um, I was pretty sure that that was kind of under wraps, even though I tweeted about it. Uh, I'm not really sure how many of you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, follow the tweets, but I definitely get a lot of sentient robots following my tweets. Uh, sentient robots trying to sell me things on Twitter. What are you looking is often at? What's going on. But yeah, the, the Minecraft movie, I can talk about that a little bit. Um, I don't want to talk about too much because it's supposed to be a surprise and I want it to be fun, but it, it's a really short film. Don't don't expect like a 45 minute thing or anything like that. It's, it's about five to ten minutes long and I'm going to have special appearances uh, by a bunch of uh, YouTubers. You better keep um, there's a lot of people that are in talks right now, uh, but there are some people that are indeed signed on. Joel uh, of Comic Book Cast, he's signed on to play Wolverine. Um, I also got Sammy. Uh, jumping on, and I think she's going to play Sue Storm. Um, I also have uh, Comic Uno, and she's going to play Carol Danvers. Uh, Dylan, Aram Alexander, over there at uh, youtube.com slash Chaos. He's going to be playing uh, Hawkeye. I'm going to be playing Tony Stark, and the amazing, talented Fleece Del Geese is going to be playing Black Widow. Um, I'm in talks with some people. I don't want to say names or anything like that, just in case it falls through. I don't want to get your hopes up. But um, I am talking to some people that I have worked with before on my channel, that I have interviewed, that I have some communications with, and I'm trying to get them to just do a few lines. But it, it's going to be a lot of fun, man. Um, Avengers the Minecraft Bridge Series. Not quite. It's called Avengers Tryouts. And uh, I think you could figure out what it is. Essentially what happens is um, Tony Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. 
have to select out the Mighty Avengers. And they have until noon to do it. However, they were drinking all night and Tony forgot to tell them until about 3 a.m. So they had to wake up three hours later in order to select out the Mighty Avengers. Them being a little bit drunk and kind of... Um, Kind of assholes, I guess. Uh, they kind of made some poor decisions as far as who's going to make it onto the team. Oh yeah, you can also expect uh, Eric Baron von Comics to be on the broadcast as well as uh, Owen. Uh, Owen likes comics and be playing Batman. I know what you're saying. Uh, that this is this is something else. Uh, this is this is a Marvel thing, Avengers. But no, Batman does show up. It would be wrong of us to leave out Batman, and uh, Owen's going to play him. Uh, it's going to be interesting. So look out for that. Uh, it should be fun. Thank you, Eagles. Josh, uh, for saying we hope, hope it works out. I hope it works out, too. I hope, it, uh, hope it's funny. That's, that's more... I don't, I don't give a shit if it has views. I really don't. I don't care if it has 12 views or if it has 6,000 views. As long as it's fucking funny. That's all I'm trying to do, Matt. I'm trying to make something really fun, really funny. Um, and maybe even a little bit timeless. Uh, just because of the engine that's used and stuff like that. But, um, oh yeah, yeah, we should give Muppet Tiffany a call. I actually asked Tiff if she would play a role for us. Um, you better keep walking unless but, you like I said, I don't want to name names, because if they don't sign on, then I don't want it to be fucked up. Um, yeah, no, Batman is going to another British actor. It seems like those Brits just do the, the whole, like, you know... Hey, I'm Batman. They, they do that, that, you know, that bat gravel really well. <laughs> the bat rasp, as I like to call it. Oh. All right, guys. I'm going to get back into playing this game a little bit. But do keep sending in your, your comments or questions. I will type to you in a little bit. It's just at the, at the moment, the way that we have this set up is uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to play the game and hear the audio. Um, this game is all about directional audio. If I don't hear the zombie that's right behind me, then I get killed and I lose a bunch of points. So let's continue on with this broadcast. We're, uh, we're about, was it an hour in? Yeah, we're, we're about an hour in now. It's really kicking ass. And yes, uh, the bat gravel explained by... Mr. Rob Jefferson. I'll see if I can call him later. I doubt he'll answer, though. If, if you want Rob Jefferson to, to, to be on this show right now, or not right now, but as sometime in the next 24 hours, send him a tweet. Um, I did that recently for uh, Emergency Awesome, or Awesome Emergency, rather, Charlie. And I think he's going to do the weekly poll. I'm pretty certain. Because I was in communication with him before the MNAST. Uh, so, you know, I, I've kind of mentioned that they should, that he should be on that. I've asked him if he wanted to interview on my show. He's a really sweet guy. He's really humble. He actually responds to you. Um, so I, I would definitely look forward to him being on the weekly poll. But don't forget to tweet him, too. Uh, awesome emergency. What on, are you on the Twitter. Uh, look for him. Tweet him. And also tweet, tweet anybody that you want to be on this show. Tell him to Skype me. Because most likely, if they're um, if they're from the weekly poll and you tweet them, they'll they can Skype me. So so, so send them a tweet. Fucking send send Joel a tweet while you're at it. The DVD Grouch, and let them know that they're awesome. That they that they, that they, that they have a great breathing. show, and so do I, and that you like to see us together again, like old friends. Uh, anyway, let's get back to playing this fucking game, huh? You want to kill some zombies? I want to kill some zombies. Let's kill some fucking zombies.
Frank, do you copy? I copy. What's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... I can't sugarcoat this crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! I guess we're waiting out the night. <laughs> because if we don't, we'll get killed. So, we're chatting again. Woohoo! Um, I could have made it probably to a bed and gone to sleep and waited out the night, but I'm not gonna do that. So, um, yeah. So Nick V over there in the Netherlands, he's telling us that it's, uh, it's raining for the first time in a while. And it's not raining so much on the other side of the planet. Which is really fucking weird because it's raining like crazy over here in New Mexico. Um, not at the moment, not as we speak, but as of late, it's just been raining like crazy, dude. Um, unseasonal, un it's, it's definitely irregular. We're having a lot of plant growth, which is, I guess, kind of good. You know, we're getting like... Um, getting a lot of like vegetation and stuff like that so it's been very cool and moist but I think kind of problematic when you think about it you know I don't really want to use this time to talk about global warming or anything but yeah global warming <laughs> it's no joke hey what's going on watching nuggets it's um this is dying light that we're playing right now we're just waiting out the night and I'm taking this time to talk to everybody because uh, some people are showing up we're doing a simultaneous live stream on Twitch and YouTube. That's right, simultaneous. Let me well let me explain our global warming system, our global weather system to you. That's that's Nick V over there in the Twitch chat. Uh, Watch Nuggets is over there on the YouTube chat. Uh, but yeah, we're playing Dying Light for a little while. And um, it's fun. I like it a lot, man. It's a uh, it's the type of game that you can kinda of play any way that you want. You can take your time and play through and you know smart, be clever, plan out your routes. Um, the girlfriend likes it. Um, you yeah, know, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start running around again in a, in a couple minutes. Just give me a moment. Um, I have a, I have a little issue is, is that I, I'd like to move the microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. But I think if I, and if I unplug the microphone, the stream might end. 
So, why don't you guys just let me know, uh, let me know if you're, if you acknowledge that, because I do want to be able to talk to you guys while I stream this, okay? So, just give me, give me an okay, or give me a thumbs up, or give me, like, if you're in the Twitch chat, send me your favorite, uh, TWP emoticon, and let me know that you acknowledge that the stream might end for a second while I, I lengthen the cable and make sure that it, it's uh, I'm able to talk to you guys and play. Because I can't quite do it at the same time right now. So, so let me know. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Started with that. <laughs> I should have done it that way in the beginning. Fucking idiot. All right, it's okay. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. I promise. We're gonna get out of this situation alive. We're not gonna get eaten by zombies. We're not gonna get turned. It's gonna be okay, guys. Don't worry. Nick's here. He's gonna help. He's here to help. What games are you guys playing at the moment? Let me know. Tell me. Tell me, I gotta know. Tell me what games you're playing. Cindy Lapa. Oh, oh, yeah. Alright, what Cindy Lauper song do you guys want to hear while we wait? I'll fucking sing anything for you guys, man. Fucking sing anything. Yeah. All right. I think we're cooking with gas. <laughs> All right. Let's fucking play some games, guys. I think you can hear me, right? Can everybody hear me okay? You let me know. You let me know over there in the chats. Because I think this is the better way to do this. Whereas I can, I can actually talk to you guys and hear the game I'm playing. Let me know if that's working out for you. Time after time! Time after time. Yeah? Alright, I like it. Okay.
girls just wanna have fun. They just wanna. They just wanna. Yeah, no, I think the more appropriate version would be, Oh, zombies just wanna eat brains. Oh, zombies just wanna eat brains. They just wanna. Okay, you evil, sadistic sons of bitches wanted me to run at night. You wanted me to go ahead and, and try to venture out into the night and, and fight the zombies to not be a pussy. And you're gonna see what happens when you get what you want, because sometimes what you think you want is not really what you want. You bastard son of a bitch, motherfucker. Ah. You see? You see? That wasn't too fun. Now was it? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's try it again. Is it gonna be daytime now? Nope. We're out on this fucking tower. That's I can dig it. Alright. So tell me, what do you guys think is going to come out of D23? We are talking about that later. Uh, but as of right now, we're just going to be playing some games and stuff like that. Uh, while, while you guys uh, chat over to me and let me know what you're looking forward to at D23, if you're hoping there's a Star Wars trailer, if you're hoping maybe you see some footage from uh, Civil War, you let me know. But yes, uh, Cindy Lauper is an American treasure, for sure. She is a national treasure. Uh, I actually saw, I, I was chilling out at my uh, at my girlfriend's mom's house. We were watching daytime television because we, we had off for, for a little while. This was actually right before we moved to New Mexico from New York. So we had a bunch of time off. And we're watching daytime television and these fucking Oh my god, these women are drinking bottles of white wine. Bottles of white wine, dude. Because, like, listen, I drink a lot of wine, and I know how much wine you could fit in a glass the size of your fucking palm. They're, they're downing half a bottle each in each of those glasses, and then getting refills. On a morning talk show. That's some next level shit, man. Like, they want to they wanna yell at people for, like, you know doing things in their own homes, but these motherfuckers are drinking wine on a morning talk show, 7 o'clock in the morning. Toy Story 4 is going to be pretty cool. Um, I, we knew about that. That's not necessarily D23 news, but it is pretty cool. Uh, Rashida Jones writing it is pretty interesting. Um, I think she's funny. I'm not really too familiar with her writing work, but I have seen her on The Office. I have seen her on a few different movies. Um... The, the whole, like, romance thing between Bo Peep and uh, Woody, it seems a little weird to me because I thought that Buzz and Bo Peep were together. So that has to mean that there's some sort of love triangle thing. Like, they're, they're jumping into some pretty fucking adult themes, if you ask me. Not that I'm not welcoming it, because I think most people that understand Toy Story, that know Toy Story, are kind of older now. They're they're in their 20s, they're in their 30s, possibly even their 40s now. Um, you know, I actually, my next door neighbor has a son. He's, he just turned three last week, and they got him a little Buzz Lightyear toy, like a really cool one that has like lasers and shit like that, and it talks, and the wings expand, and he looked at it for like fucking a minute and a half, and then went on to some other toys. Like, it just did not register him. Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear, just not click with him and it shocked me it shocked the shit out of me because like when i was a kid i would have killed for a buzz lightyear toy like that but i don't even think the technology existed for that sort of thing like led light technology and stuff like that and like mini projection and all kinds of stuff it just wasn't possible this kid did not care man he went went right over to the monster truck toy the remote control thing he didn't care about buzz lightyear i thought it was interesting um, Ghost in the Shell info, that would be pretty interesting. I am not sure if I'm okay with it necessarily. I think that Scarlett Johansson is a fantastic actress. I think that she can do pretty much anything thrown at her and pull it off very well. However, I don't know if I'm cool with the whole whitewashing thing that's taking place in Ghost in the Shell. Like, don't... Nobody can tell me that that character is white that comes from fucking Ghost in the Shell. It's just not, it's not a white character. Um, 
I think that it's important to diversify Hollywood a little bit more so than we are because at the moment, the only characters of ethnicity that aren't Americanized, that are going by their like actual, you know, born names, their, their God-given names, that's, you know, Chiwetel Ejiofor and uh, turn down the game volume a bit, please. No problem. You got it. Turn your mic up. Well, I mean, is it clipping? Is the mic clipping? How's that? Is that better? How's that now? I think that's going to be a little bit better. Alright, so I'm going to move the mic a little bit. Like I said, you know, this is more of a casual broadcast than you guys are probably, uh, uh, you know, familiar with. To be totally honest, this is probably like a totally new thing. Uh, Twitch should not be down. Oh yeah, look at that, Twitch just went down. That's fucking weird. Um, you know, to be totally honest, man, I kind of like this whole, uh, <clears throat> this whole YouTube streaming thing. YouTube streaming is pretty kick-ass at the moment. It's, it's working very well. It's very powerful. It sounds like I'm whispering into a pillow. Okay. How about now? Is that a little bit better? That should be better. Hopefully. Um, I'm trying to work some things out. Remember, this is a more casual broadcast than you guys are probably familiar with and you're used to. Because we're doing a 24-hour thing. Yeah, YouTube is way fucking better for streaming. If you guys want... Um, someone had before uh, had actually uh, had actually watched it on YouTube and used the Twitch chat to talk to everybody, um, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought that was very clever. Um, all right, I'm gonna do something that's probably gonna get my ass killed. Oh, it sounds like Bane. Oh, oh, that's most unfortunate. But Eagles 4201 is going to have to log out, but he will be back. He will be back. You see, Batman, you die when I say you can die. And you see, when I slide down this rope, there is a 50-50% chance that I will be killed. Yeah, I guess we answered that question. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully the sound is better. Uh... You tell me. And it, you, you gotta, you gotta let me know uh, with more than just better ye, because the the uh, stream is actually like thirty seconds delayed, so I don't know which question or what the hell you're answering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. YouTube is a much better stream. I highly suggest that. Uh, let me know how my audio levels are doing. Uh, let me know if I'm clipping, if my... Yeah, Bane is Sean Connery. You see, when I met up with Pussy Galore, I had myself a little bit of sushi, if you know what I mean. It was glorious, but I got a bit of the lockjaw, which is why I needed this mask, you see. Then I became Bane, all due to me eating a little bit too much pussy. Oh, shit! Mother... I'm trying to tell a story. I'm doing my fucking Bane impression, you asshole. God, come on! Personal space, fucker. Alright. He's switching between the two chats. Okay, volumes are great now. Good, good. Very happy to hear that. Uh, and it's also good because I can hear what I'm doing, too. I have the speakers hooked up and everything, and it's cool. So yeah, I think uh, this is probably going to be the way. Uh, what are some games that you guys might want to see a little bit later on? Because I'm going to be firing up some Minecraft for sure. Uh, I'll probably be playing a little bit of Space Engineers, maybe a little bit of Don't Starve. Um, let me know, man. What do you guys want to see? I'll let you know if I have the game. Or if I can buy it for like $5. Oh, shit. That's what I get for being Bane. I get attacked for zombies. I don't know, man. I kind of liked Dark Knight Rises. I don't think it was the worst movie in the world. I think it wrapped up a little bit too neatly. 
and that it could have been a much better film. It felt a little bit rushed. Uh, the pacing felt a little bit off. But other than that, I mean, like, we're talking about a fucking Batman movie, man. Do you remember the Joel Schumacher movies? We, like, compared to those back, Joel Schumacher movies... Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Well, that was a dick move from this guy. He's telling us that we have to fucking do this th shit, or we can't even come back home. The shit we do for, for honest, innocent people. Yes, we're definitely gonna play fucking Maximum Carnage. I definitely wanna fire up some of the old stuff, some of the Sega stuff and the SNES stuff. But I'm only gonna save that for later in the evening. Uh, for a more relaxed kind of show that I don't have to pay much attention to. Cause like, this game is pretty fucking hard. Like, I, I, I'm not really paying too much attention, I'm getting my ass kicked. Let's eat at a cafe, if, if that's what you want. Are you buying? Because if you're buying, I'll totally meet you at a cafe, but if I'm buying, I think it's kind of rude for, for you to ask me to meet you at a cafe and then pay for your meal or your coffee. Oh, shit. Ah, fucking burn with acid. Ow. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that could happen. Did you know that could happen? Altered Beast would be fucking sick. Uh, that's for the Sega Master System, right? If I'm not mistaken. Well, this is so cool, guys. Us streaming to, to both Twitch and YouTube. Talking to two separate groups of people. Which is kind of the same group of people, because you guys are so awesome. And apparently incredibly bored on a Saturday. Or maybe not. Maybe you're, like, doing some really kick-ass shit. Maybe you're, like, hang gliding. But you have a really good, like, 4G uh, connection, or maybe you have, like, a, one of those really cool satellite mobile hotspots. And while you're hang gliding, you're, like, watching me on the Twitch stream and on the YouTube stream. Which, dude, kudos, because I'm having trouble just doing this stream and playing this game at the same time. Um, yeah. You know, I, I would just want to say real quick, Mad Max the video game... I was really excited for that, but now I'm really not so excited for it. Because it kind of looks like Twisted Metal Black. It looks exactly like fucking Twisted Metal Black, and I feel like these guys are making a whole bunch of promises that they're not going to be able to fulfill. I kind of feel like Mad Max, the video game, already came out, and it's called Fallout. <laughs> you know? What do you guys think? You let me know. Right now, I'm playing on a projector, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's a little bit dizzying to play something like this on a projector, because it's like the size of my fucking wall. Um, at the end of Batman, my chat fucked up when I switched over. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with Twitch, because it's supposed to be like the premier streaming service. But I gotta say, man, right now, YouTube is whipping that ass. They are, they are totally leading it right now. Oh, shit! I didn't know I can break doors. That's pretty badass. Yeah, Sega Mega Drive. I do, um, I do have that, and I do have, uh, I do have Altered Beast for it. So probably in the next uh, in the next hour or so we're gonna fire that up. What other what other um, old Sega games and SNES games are you guys very fond of that you want to see? I'll, I'll fire it up, man. You'd be surprised how much shit I got. I have a, a little bit of a collection, if you will. Um, a friend of mine, Tom O'Day, who you can actually check out on NerdFeed.com. He's the Gamified Guru contributor. He has a really sick. A uh, cart collection, a cart cartridge collection. Dude, he's got like the original Mega Man games. He's got like fucking. He's got everything, dude. He's got so many things. He's, he's probably got a power glove sitting around his house somewhere. Ah! 
Piss off. Eat the mighty boots. Fuck off. Oh shit 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 run run Oh damn it Ah oh, mother balls <laughs> It sucks Alright it's time to vape Uh anyone who vapes let me know what, what kind of e juice you have What kind of e juice you like to drink Drinking the e juice yeah, man, the Atari 2600, that was a fucking system and a half. The thing that I really like the most about the, the Atari system is that, uh, actually the ColecoVision as well, is that they had all those different controllers to use, like the different types of controllers. Um, and, like, you know, you would just have a completely different type of gameplay experience using those controllers. Like, you would use the, the wheel controller, you could use the paddle controller. Um, there was this game... I forget what it was called, but it was a really nifty one where you're, like, traveling through space, and it's supposed to be kind of like a space kind of RPG thing. And it it came with, like, a, a keypad with, like, 12 buttons on it. It was really nifty looking, and, like, each button would control something in your, in your ship. Killer Instinct is totally fucking going down. You know it's going down. I'm actually trying to save the two-player fighting games and such until a little bit later on. Uh, I'm gonna have my uh, my lady uh, join in. Uh, she's at work at the moment, so she's gonna be coming back uh, a little bit later. And we're gonna be playing a couple fighting games. We're gonna be playing. Um, let's see, we're gonna be playing Marvel, uh, not Marvel superheroes, Justice League fighting game, whatever the fuck it is. We're gonna be playing some Ninja Turtles, and we'll definitely play some Killer Instinct. We'll play some Altered Beast two player, which will be a lot of fun. Um, I'm stoked. It's just, it's gonna be a really good day, guys. It's gonna be a really good, 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 good day. Good day, good day. <laughs> Tell me, guys, what's the, what's the first computer you, you ever had? I'm, I'm hearing you guys talk about the Dell XPS 430. I hear you guys talking about, uh, the Atari. I hear you talking about, uh, various, various types of machines. So what, what's some of the, uh, some of the older machines that you guys used to use, that you have fond memories of. I remember I used to use those old beige towers, you remember those? Those giant fucking loud beige metal towers, you know? With the with the button that lit up green, just, oh yeah, it was so... I remember those, man. I remember the modem sound, the 14K, all the way up to the 56K <laughs> modems. Like, Oh, it's such a lovely sound. I just think about it and get warm fuzzies, to be totally honest. I'm not I'm not kidding. I got I got a little bit of the warm fuzzies right there. <laughs> Fuck you, you piece of shit. You wanna shoot motherfuckers? Oh, I'm gonna stab a bitch. Ah! Damn it. See, every time I I say something bad, I say bad words like like bitch and this and that. Um yeah, I, I get I get eaten. I get bitten by zombies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start to behave. I'm gonna be a nice, polite gentleman from now on. I promise. Uh, first PC three uh, three eighty six. Right on, man. Wee! <laughs> Commodore Colt. Fuck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Those Commodores are really something. Because, like, you know, people don't realize that, like, they always say Atari, Atari, Atari. No, really, before Atari, ColecoVision uh, and, and the Commodore were really, like, kind of breaking ground. They were, they were the real deal. Um, Commodore, uh, they had a few variations. They had, like, a, a console <coughs> variation that you kind of would be familiar with, like, your modern-day console with a controller and plugs into the TV. They also had one with a card reader which took uh, little punch cards and you'd put the punch card in it and it would read that. They also had ones with keyboards, big fucking fat clicky keyboards that were attached to a monitor. It was kind of an all-in-one unit. Uh, and then um, and then Atari just made it affordable and cheap. They marketed it towards kids and not, uh, not adults, you know? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure if it was the Commodore or the ColecoVision that had um, these these kind of like overlays that you would put on top of your screen and it would give you like a different game. So essentially the screen, the, the TV would just be lights and the monitor, um, you know, the, the, the monitor overlay 
would be your game. You know what I mean? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but perhaps, perhaps some of you in the chat, claiming to be old as fuck, uh, might be familiar with it, might remember it. You know, honestly, man, old... Old's a fucking state of mind. Old is, is based on perspective. I honestly believe, man, because I know, I know 40-year-old guys uh, who have not aged past 16 that, I swear to God, they got, like, skateboard Korean, ramps in their house and shit, lost like... Patrol. Yeah, something ripped them limb from limb. Search them and don't damage them. Did you find the envelope? Not yet. Wait a sec. I'm a little worried about this. Oh, okay, oh shit. Got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. Oh shit. You're going to be a hero around here. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh man, something is hitting me hard, dude. Hey you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna, do you see me? What the Come fuck? I need your head! Ah oh, fuck! <laughs> what is that? What the fuck are they doing? It's like they have fucking grenades or something. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, alright. We got this. We got this. What the fuck was that? Oh, this guy has a fucking rifle! Oh, shit! Ow! Alright, you're fucking dead, you son of a bitch. You're gonna shoot at me with a goddamn rifle, you fuck? My fucking gun now. Yeah! We got him! We got our first gun! This is the first gun I've gotten in the game. Holy shit, I gotta drop some stuff. Um, uh, oh, we got some ranks, okay. Escape, dropkick bomb, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do, wait, what's this? Tackle. Free running, hold LB to lean, okay. Let's let's do drop kick bomb. I love me some drop kicks. Yeah, Josh, you're definitely young at heart. I mean, like, you're, I mean, I I wouldn't even say that that comic books are um, are for a particular age. It kind of irks me when people say, "Oh, you're too old to read comics," or this or that or the other thing. You're too young to read comics. Like that's that's all bullshit, man. Everybody. Everybody reads comics at different ages, you know. I'm gonna uh, do sturdiness here. Um, everybody, you know, reads comics at different ages. Everybody matures at different levels. Everybody is just is fucking different. I don't think there's any particular age that you should or shouldn't be reading comics or watching or playing video games or whatever. Um, but you know, you gotta understand that like this is. This is a little bit more than just watching someone play a video game. This is us talking. We're starting a dialogue, you know. You only have four years on me. Yes, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I woke up the other day and I realized, like, holy shit, I'm almost 30. That's fucking wild, man. I never, yeah, I don't know. You never really consider, like, fuck, like, you're gonna, you're gonna be 30 years old one day. And, like, yeah, I am. And I don't feel old. I don't feel bad. I don't feel any of that crap that people talk about, like, oh, you're, th I'm 30 now, so everything's gonna go downhill. It's like, yeah, no, I feel a little bit tired. Honestly, like, right now I could totally use a nap, even though I just woke up a little while ago. Um, but you know, it's, it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm still, I'm still fucking kicking it. I'm still happy. I really want this rifle. Oh my god, we got a fucking military rifle. That's so cool, man. I'm really happy about that. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this, oh, there we go. There's definitely dead things down there, I know it. Oh shit, safe zone. That's what's up, dude. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Why are you here? Why can't I kill you? Why, what? Uh, what the fuck? Dude, this... What the- that's shit! You're not supposed to be in here, man. Uh, okay. Let's give him a name. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll give him a name. Since he's here to stay, he's gonna be our roommate. Uh, what's our roommate's name? Hey, come on, say excuse me. Uh, what's the, what's the roommate's name? Anybody know? 
Anybody? At the moment, I, I'm j I'm just gonna name him Josh. If you guys, uh, if you guys don't don't tell me what I should name him. I don't personally. I don't think he looks like a Josh. But um, I don't know. What do you guys think? His name is Ass Hat. Greetings, Ass Hat. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Um, you know, I'm I'm glad that you decided to room with us. Uh, let you know that rent is um is 500 a month, uh, utilities included. Uh, I hey, I'm talking to you. Uh, the rent is due on the fifth. Uh, we got like a five day leeway period, so like if you're a little bit late, just let me know. I'll give you an extra five days. But yeah, rent's 500. Um, do me a favor. Uh, do your own dishes, okay? And don't do just don't be jacking it in the corner. You know, like, we, we have a very, very small place. The kitchen, you know, you're staying right here. This is the kitchen. Just don't jerk off in the kitchen area. And don't jerk off, um... Just don't, don't jerk off in my apartment. Go outside. It's the apocalypse. You can, you can, you can wank it anywhere. Um, alright, so I gotta go to work. Um, take care. Enjoy. And, uh, I'll see you later, asshat. Bye-bye. Okay, um... So we got our friend asshat. And, uh, yeah, he, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that reminds me. Uh, asshat, you need to buy your own food, too. Don't fucking eat my food, okay? I have a very, very particular diet. I'm lactose intolerant, and I need to eat what's in the fridge, okay? Bye-bye. Fucking roommates. I used to have roommates from hell, man. I remember, um, about two years ago, when I lived in New York, I lived in Brooklyn, and I... <laughs> They want to call him Apollo Creed, Gladys, Tyrone, Santino. Well, Josh Haley answered first, so his name is Ass Hat. I'll tell you what, his ass, his name is Ass Hat Santino. Uh, but yeah, I lived, I lived in Brooklyn with with four roommates. All of them were women. All of them. I I lived with four fucking women, in a house in an apartment in Brooklyn in a tiny fucking loft apartment. And let me tell you something, man. <laughs> It was hard. It was really hard. I got blamed for everything, and for some reason, I got tasked with doing all the stupid fucking shit. It's safe to say that Rice shit. isn't the most popular person in town. Uh, like, like. No, but he sorry. is the most feared. And you know the old saying: it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. All right. Sorry about that. Just I don't want to talk over the dialogue from the game. It gets a little confusing. Oh, what the fuck? I work for your boss, you asshat. All right, you know what? You know what? We're gonna fucking kill these guys. We're gonna take our new fucking badass rifle and we're gonna kill these sons of bitches because I'm sick of them taking advantage of people. Anyway, yeah, I lived with five women, and um, nothing against women, you know, women are people. But uh, I'll tell you, man, I ended up having to do all the 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 pest extermination and all the stupid cleaning that they were supposed to do but never did oh shit these guys are fucked all right we're gonna we're gonna take some bad guys heads off he's dead he's dead got him Who's next? Got him. He's shooting at my friends. No, 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 shooting my friends. Hey, help! Thank you, my friend. If you hadn't come along when you did, you must be deaf. Wow! I really like the guns in this game, dude. <laughs> that was... That was incredibly satisfying. Alright, um, so, what's up, dude? You should probably get the fuck out of here. What's this? Uh, my inventory's full. I don't want any of your shit anyway. That stuff sucks. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's continue on. Did I level up? Dropkick! Drop kick. 
Bam! Pazam! Pazam! Sam! Oh shit. Alright, here we go. Watch this. Mother bitch. Drop kick. Wow, he went fucking flying, eh? That was pretty impressive. He's gonna go boom. Holy shit, that was awesome. Alright, so, um... Let me ask you guys a question. Loving the sound when you clock them and then it's like getting a foul ball. That's right, yeah. Um, let me ask you guys a question, a comic book related question. How are you guys digging Marvel Zombies? Personally, I'm, I wasn't a huge fan, but um, I kind of like uh, the Fantastic Four crossover thing that they did a while back. Um, where uh, Ultimate, not Ultimate Reed Richards, 1610 Reed Richards was called in to, uh, to meet with another... Reed Richards from another dimension, and he goes and meets him, and it turns out that he's a fucking, he's a zombie. And, uh, then they trap them in this, uh, you know, in a cage or whatever, and then they have to battle the, uh, zombies, which is pretty cool. But there's, um, there's another, um, another Marvel Zombies thing which is going on in Secret Wars right now. We actually found out that Old Man Logan, uh, was dropped off in the zombies world, as well as Thanos. So I thought that was pretty cool. What are you guys thinking about uh, about Marvel Zombies, if you've read it? What you, let me know what you're thinking. While I kill this son of a bitch. Got her up. Josh over there says that he likes that Spider-Man 8 MJ and that Aunt May feels guilty about it. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess maybe I'm taking it too seriously and I'm not supposed to. It's, you know, it's a total Elseworlds kind of thing with fucking zombies. I should just appreciate it for what it is, but um, I don't know. What, what other moments do you guys like from zombies? Yeah, zombies. Do you guys want to see it continue after Secret Wars? Or do you think it's it's uh it's had its place and it's over now? Maybe I'm being a negative Nancy. Negative Nikki. Shit! Oh, that's not good. Oh, I got some flammable liquid. Ah, fuck! Ah. Alright, let's try this flammable liquid. Oh, that works. That works very well. One could say, like, gangbusters. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck! I just. I am so screwed. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm dead. Huh. Yeah, so it seems like you guys are, are really, um. kind of like split down the middle, as it were. 
liking both uh, Secret Wars and uh, Marvel Zombies. I mean, uh, not liking Secret Wars Zombies and liking Secret Wars Zombies. Pretty interesting. Let's put it down the middle. I, I didn't expect that. I thought that more people would be uh, would be kind of against it. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. Anybody pick up Secret Wars number five? I've picked that up. I checked it out. It's fucking crazy. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, try to avoid spoilers just in case anyone in the chat currently has not uh, has not seen it yet. Might very well be the case, or hasn't read it yet. May very well be the case. Batter up. Watch this. Oh, they go. They cook up good. They cook up so good. Hmm. It smells like barbecue for miles around. Yeah. Longtar is wrong. He's wrong because he's not a fan of. <laughs> That's mean. Maybe Longtar thinks he's right. Fuck, I hear zombies. Where are they? Okay, we're safe. Oh. This guy looks familiar. What is that? Okay. Secret Wars 5 was amazing, especially the part where Doom killed by, was killed by a giant spider made out of candy. Yeah. Uh, kind of threw me for a loop. Didn't expect it, but that's what you kind of have to, um, you know, if you play God and you make a giant spider made out of candy, you have to expect that that's going to happen, you know? You have to expect that shit's not going to work out for you. That's why when I play God, I'm not doing anything different. I am keeping everything perfectly the same. I'm going to be doing live streaming. I'm going to fucking just eat regular chicken. I'm not going to do anything crazy because I'm not trying to fuck up the space-time continuum or anything crazy like that. Let's, uh, let's have a little barbecue, shall we? Mmm. Cook them up, little doggies. What are they eating over there? They probably got some Popeyes. I bet you they got Popeyes chicken. That's why they're like. That's why they're on the ground. <laughs> Shit, I'm so dead right now. Wow, I don't know how the hell I can do that. <laughs> He's a firecracker. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Why don't we just shove each other to get to the fucking firecrackers? <laughs> there was only, uh, Nick V says there was only one Marvel character who played God so far in Secret Wars, Maestro, in the first issue of P Future and Perfect. I haven't read Future and Perfect. Is it, is it worth a damn? Should I, should I be reading it? Should I be checking it out? Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let me know if I should check out Future and Perfect. Cause I, I didn't, it didn't, um, didn't really tickle my fancy. I didn't even read the original. Maybe I should, you know. The, like, guys, I don't, I don't ever really claim to be an expert on comic books or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just a fan. I'm just like you guys, except I, um, I like to waste a lot of time doing videos like this. <laughs> Instead of having fun and watching other people do it, I, I do it myself. But, uh, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. Like, I should probably pay attention, right? <laughs> Read the original Future Imperfect. It's good if you like Maestro. 
Okay. All right, sure. Why not? It's probably on Marvel Unlimited. You can go pick that up today. Check it out. Clunk. You know, what I really like to do is, uh, is watch, like, stuff like Collider Movie Talk and read comics at the same time. That's usually my comic reading thing. Um, I also like to play kind of slow-paced, maybe turn-based games. Uh, Civilization V is kind of my jam. I like to do that and read comics. Just kind of, I, I don't know. I, I don't really ever find myself just reading comics. I haven't done that in a long time. Um, I used to go to the comic book store at Midtown Comics in New York City, and I used to read on the train, and that kind of sucked because I would get a bunch of books and be like, oh yeah, man, I got I got books for the week, I'm gonna be reading all these books, and I'd fucking read every book on the train on my way home. <laughs> and that would kind of, you know, that would suck a little bit. But yeah, Future Imperfect, I'll go check that out, and I'll let you know what I think. Maybe I'll do that as a review. So we're, we're going to be doing a live broadcast on Monday with the, with the regular Let's Chat gang. And we're actually talking with each other, trying to figure out what kind of stream we're going to do in the future. Um, we're kind of considering that maybe doing one uh, live show per week, including like our other stuff. Because like, let's say we do Let's Chat movies, Let's Chat video games, Let's Chat comics. We would shoot all of that. We would shoot it uh, and do it pre-recorded. And then we would release it on YouTube. We're thinking about possibly doing that, and then doing one conglomerate show, which is like the best of. Um, you know, we do that at the at the end of the week, or we do one broadcast. What do you guys think about doing uh, about one show, one live show per week? And I guarantee you, it'll it actually add up to more content. It'll add up to more videos in the long run uh if we do it that way more regular videos on our channels and stuff like that so you know what do you what do you think about us doing one live show <sighs> he's tired more coffee Is that? What is that up there? Oh, right now. Okay, uh, we gotta go this way now. So, what are you guys up to today, other than watching this uh, 24 hour live stream? You guys doing anything cool? You watching anything cool? Eating anything cool? Talk to me, let me know what you're doing. It's two-way communication, guys. Oh, shit! That's a lot of zombies. All right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. Show them compassion, they will see there's weakness. And they will take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you cannot do a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesin. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. 
You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Anthazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. That's fucked up. What? No. No, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. That's so fucked up, man. I can't believe, like... Alright, so, for for those of you who don't play this game, who don't who aren't too familiar with this game, um... Yeah, Jade is our buddy. Jade is, is our friend that we work with on a regular. She actually rescued us at the beginning of the game, and now this son of a bitch wants us to take her and bring her to a fucking arena. Barbarian style. That's some next level fucked up shit, if you ask me. So Nick, man, you got Oh shit, I'm getting hit. I'm getting killed. Uh Nick, you got family all over the fucking globe, man. That's pretty cool. The globe trying. Are you originally from the Netherlands or where where are you from originally, Nick? And and Longster, uh where are you from as well? Cuz you're you're always watching the broadcast. I've checked out your website and uh it's it's very cool. He writes articles if if you guys didn't know. He writes reviews for stuff. And, um, yeah, man, I, I want to know where you cats are from. Josh, where are you from? Mr. Eagles, 4201, where you from? Where you at? Holla! I don't really talk like that, I swear. I swear to God. Time to call the GRE. Crane here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Yeah, you tell that bitch. You tell her to go fuck herself. Listen, I, I am not about calling women bitches. But when... This bitch tells me to go and take my fucking friend who rescued me and dump her ass with this sick, sadistic motherfucker so she can fight to the death? She's a bitch. Sorry. And I'm gonna take her down as soon as I get the chance. This kind of makes a really interesting video game dynamic, though, because I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do now. Uh, seeing as, um... You know, I'm supposed to take her to the thing with the guys in the place. Heads up everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. 
And our gas man Jeff up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. That was weird. Apparently that guy says he's gonna shoot me if I come near, which means he's got bullets, which means I'm gonna kill his ass and take his bullets. <laughs> yeah, we some kind of suicide squad. <laughs> I, th I feel like it, it's contractually obligated for Will Smith to say the name of the movie in the movie that he's in, like every movie he does, he has to say the name of the movie. Like I'm pretty sure in I Am Legend, he actually went about saying, I am legend, motherfucker. No, I didn't really do that, but he should have. Brecken, what do you guys think about the Bad Boys uh, 3 and 4? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisense did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane. We've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP and don't lose any of that antisen. This is bad. <laughs> Shit's going down in the tower, which is kind of like our home base right now. Apparently a lot of people are dying. Yeah, you know what? I kind of feel like Will Smith should probably get back into the movie raps. I'm surprised that he didn't do a rap song or a video for Focus. That was that was the uh, that was the Con Man movie that he did, right, with Margot Robbie, which apparently caused him to get a divorce from Vivica A. Fox. Listen, I'm not all about the gossip shit, but I thought that was hilarious, and I wish them all the best. I hope that they're happy, and I hope everything works out for them, but. Recently, Vivica A. Fox went on record saying that she doesn't mind if Will Smith goes about having affairs. Like, in print, that was a printed article in the interview. She goes and says that she doesn't mind if Will Smith goes and has affairs. Two months later, I swear to God, two fucking months later, they're, they're announced having a divorce. That's some next level shit, dude. I, you know, like, I don't, I, fucking Hollywood. Fucking Hollywood. What's the point of the... Grace takes everything away. How can I assist you? What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Yeah, it, it, it is, um, it, it is Jada Pinkett Smith, not Vivica A. Fox. I don't know why I thought about Vivica A. Fox. Funny story, Vivica A. Fox was actually dating, um, 50 Cent for a while, which There's I thought was pretty interesting. Around the tower, 
Uh, I'll have to find some time to yeah, she's dating look 50 Cent board. for a little while. I don't know if she still is. Kind of funny. Kind of interesting. Um, the real interesting thing is, though, uh, a lot of people were, were making fun of 50 Cent for going uh, bankrupt. But let me tell you something, man. He ain't broke. Like, going bankrupt means that it, it's protection, essentially, from losing all of your money. So you go bankrupt just so that you can still hold on to a few million dollars. I, I know people personally that have gone through bankruptcy. Uh, there are different forms of it. Rob, actually, um, here, over there in the, in the Twitch chat, uh, I'm going to post a, a little thing. Uh, Rob has a great video on 50 Cent going bankrupt. Should, you definitely should check out his, his channel. You know, the thing about... Um, about Rob's new channel, uh, I think that it has potential to actually become something more than just a uh, you know YouTube show. Like if he if he were to pitch that out, if he were to get enough subscribers and stuff, I think that could totally be like a Discovery Channel you know show. Antizen? Give it to me. Oh. So what happened? One person turned. This isn't what she has to say. Other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call, and now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Now, if anyone out there in the chat or watching this, um is a Scientologist, I apologize. I do not mean to offend you, but yeah. No, Scientology is is really, like, it's out there, man. I remember when it first was kind of coming up and becoming popular amongst the Hollywood elite, as I like to call them. Uh, they're not really elite, but, you know, Hollywood royalty, as it were, that a lot of them were becoming Scientologists. They actually released a video which was leaked on Google Video uh, before Google acquired YouTube. Um... Google Video had this fucking, like, 30-minute thing on Scientology explaining their beliefs, explaining what they do, and it was, like, their their promotional video that they showed to people when they were thinking about joining uh, Scientology, becoming Scientologists themselves. And, man, it was so weird because they had, like, John Travolta on the screen. They had the, uh, the fucking, what is it, um... They had Will Smith. They had all these different people. And at the bottom of the screen, it didn't say their name. It just said actor, rapper, musician, whatever. And they were like, hello, my name is John Travolta, and I'm a Scientologist. Hello, my name is Will Smith, and I'm a Scientologist. Hello, my name is Beck, and I'm a Scientologist. Like, it was the craziest shit. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, Scientology is actually pretty old, and uh, apparently it was based on a bet that uh, L. Ron Hubbard made with a friend to say that, yeah, he was a science fiction writer and he was saying, yes, I can make a religion and I bet you, I bet you, I make a bet with you that I can actually get at least 10 people to join it. He's got a lot more than 10 people joining his religion. He, and now he's dead and, uh, you know, good fucking riddance because anyone who starts a cult in my book is a complete asshole. And yeah, so that's going to be the end of our chat about Scientology. <laughs> Let's go kill some zombies. Shit. This is where we get the announcements about the Anticin drops. And they've just stopped. They will kill us! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running. Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know who my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. 
Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Sorry for that little uh, interruption there. Um, yeah, Tom, uh, fucking Tom Cruise and John Travolta are both in my closet right now, and they won't come out. Um, so I, I was just trying to trying to ask them if they they would come out. Uh, they said no, so I offered them some some drinks, and I'm gonna have to go in just a minute just to give them the drinks. So it's I'm gonna take like a little minute break, in just a moment. But uh, Finally, yeah, let's... I get to do some actual good. Let's figure out what we got to do now. All right, so we got to... Let's see. Look for a private spot on the roof to talk to the GRE. All right. So we're going to go and meet the GRE. And we're going to call them on our radio. And we're going to be like, yo, what the fuck? You guys are fucking up. Hardcore. You guys are fucking up. Worse than motherfucking... Than, than the government was... Raheem. Raheem, what are you doing With Louisiana. Hey, Craig. New Orleans. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scouts found the volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. Make a good team. Ah, shit, oh my. Ah, Did you guys like Jack Reacher? I thought Jack Reacher was actually a pretty cool movie. I'm, I'm a little happy to hear that uh, Jack Reacher 2 was announced with uh, Colby Smothers. See? Oh, Smothers. Told you we made a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. That, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Okay, so here's a little bit of primer here. This guy, um... This guy is, is saying that apparently... They don't have explosives, that they need explosives, and Crane went ahead and said that, oh, yeah, the firecrackers, that's the closest thing that we have. Now, in the game, you're, you're allowed to purchase up to 100 firecrackers at a time, and if anybody knows anything about gunpowder, um, an M80 is a quarter stick of dynamite. So if you have four M80s, you got yourself a stick of dynamite. All you gotta do is put together all that gunpowder and all that explosive material, and you got a bomb. So... This game has actually been pretty cool as far as uh, being realistic, you know, as, as kind of keeping things on, on a, as realistic as it can with zombies around. But then they have little things like, oh, we don't have explosives because this or that. Dude, just combine all the fucking firecrackers that this guy makes. We can make it ourselves. Blow shit up. I don't know. I'm nitpicking. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to go take a little two-minute break. Uh, and treat myself to some beverage and a little bit of bathroom action, if you will. Um, but hey man, let's keep chatting. Let's keep talking in the chat. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, apparently, just recently, Android has released Fallout Shelter. 
and I have not played it yet. I haven't fired it up. I'm really excited to. Have any of you guys played Fallout Shelter on either iPhone or Android? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know how it is. Greetings, Turkey the Gamer. I'm glad you can join us on the Twitch stream. Right now we're doing a simultaneous stream over on YouTube and Twitch. So I'm, I'm chatting with, with two groups of people. I'm glad that you can join us on the Twitch chat. And I'm just taking like a little quick break. I'm going to go get a drink and have a little pee-pee. Because, you know, sometimes you got to pee-pee. We've been streaming for a long time now. Uh, and this is our 24-hour stream. So I'll be right back. Make yourself comfortable. I'll talk to you in a minute.
You're listening to the Atomic Bitch Wax. That's right, the Atomic Bitch Wax. The song is off of Gravitron called Coming in Hot. And the next track you're going to hear is called Fuckface. That's right, Atomic Bitch Wax with Fuckface. Trying to get the Let's Chat team on. We're just uh, communicating a little bit right now. And uh, I think we're going to have them on. We're going to talk a little bit of uh, comic book news, a little bit of movie news while I play this game. To continue our 24-hour live stream, we are in hour three right now, and it will continue. Tom Bitchwax with Fuck Me. Turkey the Gamer over there on the Twitch chat. No, we're not on Xbox One. We're actually on PC right now. As you can see, this is the PC version. Um, I I used to have an Elgato capture card, so most of my streaming now happens on PC. Um, But until I I, I loaned it out to somebody who's not using it, which is kind of pissing me off, but... As soon as I get it back, I will be streaming again on my console. I do kind of like playing games a little bit better on the console because then I get to do all kinds of cool back-end shit on the PC. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, Just another minute. I'm just communicating with my team, trying to get uh, the show on the road and get some people to chat. Let's chat with you to do some uh, some comic book news. Apparently, there is a bunch of really interesting shit coming out of uh, D23 right now. And I want to talk all about it. I want to know what you guys think about what we have to say and what you have to say and all this stuff. We're going to go, oh my god, it's got to be cool. Hello, my friends. I'm back. We're definitely going to start playing again right now. Just wanted to get myself a little bit comfortable. We have made contact with the Let's Chat team. Right now, Jake is, uh, is working something out. Cool, man. I think it's going to be good. All right. Um, let's remove this bumper because the game is resuming now. 
<laughs> it's resuming right now. All right. We're just going to wait for Jake or somebody to call us, and we'll get into it. We need more Jake. He's my biggest fan, Nick says. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I don't... Why are we up here? We have to go and meet with the GRE. Not, the, not to be confused with the DRE, the Dr. Dre, who really does have a doctorate. All right, let's call the GRE. Let's see what they have to say. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then, and then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Oh, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay, and listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antison, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll hey, cross Crane, that bridge when we come to, to see it. You. Right now, let's see what we can find what in that school. Here, it's so very sad. I'm gonna buy all that shit. All of it is for me. Is that is that better? Yeah. All of the shit is for me. I'm not gonna save any of it for anybody. No. Not my style. Josh is telling me that Rob's store video is already over a thousand views. It's been out for like a little after you started streaming. He's a beast. Yeah, no, he's been busy for a year, man. He's been busy for a long time. I followed him for, for quite a while. And um, it's interesting to, to see like how he's evolved. Like now he's got, I think, 300,000 subscribers. So uh, it's, it's fucking impressive if you ask me. Here's a good question. Why don't you guys tell me like what some of your favorite, um, what do you want to see out of a channel? You know, because like we already got a thing going on. We already have kind of a format and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I think I have a golden opportunity right now to talk to you guys. I mean, we all, you know, I'm a fan of the weekly you. poll. You're a fan How's of the weekly going? poll. That's kind of how Here's we've come to meet. Oh, shit. Me? Sorry about that. That's kind of how we all came to meet and conglomerate. We just have like a, a meetup group on Tuesdays, as it were, with the live weekly poll, and I go and moderate that. And, um, I don't know, man. I, I feel like we all have similar tastes, and I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say about, like, what you want to see in a, in a show. 
in a live show, in a YouTube show, like what makes some good stuff? I know you guys like when Sal rants, I know you guys like when Rob explains stuff. What other kind of stuff do you like to see in YouTube shows, in, in live streams and stuff like that? Yeah, Rob's Fantastic Four video, um, his review was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Man! Man, he's got goat hooves! Like, that's fucking... Shit, man, that was some funny stuff. Yeah, he, he did tear, tear that movie apart. It was great. That movie deserved to be torn apart. Honestly, it's... And it's not Josh Trank's fault. I don't think it was Josh Trank's fault. I really don't. I think that he was, he got a raw deal. I really do. But I also think that he was incredibly unprofessional with how he handled it. And that's how we ended up with it. So, yeah. Let me know. What do you guys like to see in, in YouTube channels and YouTube shows? Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Yeah, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. You know, it's actually funny that you mentioned Mr. Sunday Reviews, because I was, um... You may have noticed that the most successful video on my channel is the Infinity Stones video, where I'm actually just talking about um, the Infinity Stones from the movies, from the MCU. And I do it in a very... Um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to necessarily credit him with making this style, but I do it in a very, you know, Mr. Sunday movie style of, you know, kind of satire and making jokes and playing around with the dialogue and... You know, just little simple jokes like that. So if you haven't checked that out, um, definitely head over onto my channel, youtube.com slash goldmanvision. If you're watching this on Twitch or if you're on YouTube already, just head over to youtube.com slash goldmanvision. Check out that video on my channel. It's called uh, The Infinity Stones. Something like that. Number one, MCU Infinity Stones. And it's very in-depth. You should definitely check that out. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. We're gonna die, guys. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die hard. Ah, fuck! Get that shit away from- Oh, fuck, there's two of them! Fuck me! Fucking hell! Oh, shit. That's it, it's over. Oh, man, that sucks. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. JDF1217 says his favorite part of the review was the dog don't bark in reference to the movie not making sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's he's got some fucking great one-liners, man. He's got he's got some great liners. I mean, actually, one of my favorite shows that they did was the fucking live show for. Uh, look at these bitches! Look at these bitches coming at me! One of my favorite things is uh, their live show where they were fuck 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 me! Ah ha! Eat it! Eat it, motherfuckers! pretty cool. Uh, they did a live show where they were um, playing Grand Theft Auto 5 with Joel and everybody. Like, oh, it was so fun. You're not supposed to be in here, dude. This is fucking members only. Back up. Back that shit up. Wow, they take a lot. They take a beating, man. Come on, come on, get it. Come on, get it. Come on, get it. Oh, I killed him! Fuck yeah, that's the first one I've ever killed. Those things are ridiculously hard to, to off. 186 on a goddamn volatile. Are you guys gonna see uh, Straight Outta Compton? What are you guys gonna go see that? Because, like, I wanna see it. But also, like, Dr. Dre kind of stabbed a woman in a club for giving the record a bad rating. So I don't know if I can necessarily give Dr. Dre any money whatsoever. You know? Especially because that scene isn't in the movie, apparently.
Wow. All right, let's see if I can kill another one. I think I get. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I'm leaving the safe area. Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, you s fucking bastard. I got your friend Larry over here. Larry says so I can fucking call you. Oh, shit! Sorry guys, just got a phone call. I'll be a minute and uh, we'll continue this broadcast in a moment.
Okay, everybody, I'm back. People, places, things. The Je uh, Jermaine Clement movie coming out. He's also he also did a vampire movie last year, which I'm kind of excited about. Pretty cool. Uh, Civil War footage coming out today. It's coming out online today. We're gonna watch it on this live broadcast. It's gonna be fucking awesome. We're gonna we're gonna do a trailer hunter watching uh, Civil War. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, yeah, about Rob's rant on on Comic Book Girl nineteen. I don't I don't know. It kind of feels weird to like comment on on that broadcast on my broadcast. But uh, I think that it was a little um, might have been a little unprofessional, you know, because like. Even though it wasn't recorded, you guys still know it exists. You guys still know it happened. You guys still are, are referencing it. So maybe not the best thing in the world to have done. But, you know, I understand why he did it. And I would kind of be pissed if that happened to me as well. <laughs> Even though it kind of did. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. I just... It is what it is. some zombie ass. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys vote on what I do next in this game. Should we go zombie hunting? Should we just kill uh, zombies endlessly and, uh, and try to level up that way? Should we explore? Should we try to find some supplies? Should we do the main quest? Should we do side quest? You tell me. What, what should we be doing right no, now? You tell me. Be living in angels now. If there are demons, there must be angels. Rice's people are everywhere. I just saw some of them in the tunnel near the lake. Couldn't tell exactly what they were doing, but they look pretty busy. All right, Nick V wants me to kill humans. Longtar says all of the above. I can't really do all of the above at the same time, but um, I can kill humans. That's going to require me to go with the main quest. So if I go ahead with the main quest, I'm inevitably going to have to kill more humans. Kill all humans. I agree, sometimes you do have to get it off your chest, but not necessarily in a public forum. You know, I kind of learned my lesson from doing that. You don't necessarily want to, like... Especially if you're, like, a broadcaster, if you're, um... You know, if you're a YouTuber, if you're on the internet, if you're in the public eye, then you don't necessarily... Ah, son of a bitch. I'm talking to people. Oh, fucking dick. Um, you don't necessarily want to, like, rail great? off against Can things, you, thing? you know, regarding your, your, uh, Who is this? your personal this is beliefs. Dolga. And Fatin? We work for Mr. Da, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Don't, don't, don't talk to him like that. Shut up, Fantine. Get off the radio. I'm just going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you. Idiosyncratic, great. Okay, so I just got radioed by a couple of idiots. Fun. Um, I want to go ahead with the main quest, because I will inevitably kill lots of things if I continue with the main quest. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where do I have to go? This way. What is that? 334 meters. Here we go. Oh, shit! Baby bird. We are waiting for you. Yes, hurry up. You're putting us behind schedule. Is that it? Should have secured secured the safe zone now. This should be open. Let's see. 
Um, what do I have to do? Unlock the safe zone. Ah, here we go. Turn on the power. There we go, baby. Safe zone unlocked. And I think we're going to level up in a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and grind this real quick. Just to get my, uh, my agility level ranking. Just got to do this a couple more times. Let's see. Josh Haley says, but now with all the social media out there... Oh, now with the social media, it's all out there, so it makes it a tough line to walk. Yeah, it is, but not if you're smart about it. I mean, look, some of us may or may not have had taken nude photos of ourselves and or with our partners at the time. Um, we're pretty good at protecting that type of shit. And unfortunately, nowadays, with social media, you have to protect your opinions, you have to protect your personality, and protect who you truly are, like you would protect your nudes, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, you know, I, I do agree with you, it is very tough to have your opinions hidden on social media, but just, you know, you have a personal account that's public, and then you have your not-so-personal account. Uh, that's, that's public, or, I don't know, I don't think I said that right. Alright, skill point acquired. I can stop bullshitting. Continue with this mission. Just blow that up. Because I like explosions. Two hundred meters away. Oh, hello. How do you do? Let's see what Nick has to say. You don't have to protect anything, it just depends if you want pure numbers as followers or just people who want to hear what you say. Um, no, I disagree with that though, because, you know, you get, you get people that, that are known for being, you know, kind of shop jocks and saying the type of shit, whatever they want to say, but eventually, you know, the chickens come to roost. You know what I mean? Um, not really a big fan of Don Imus, by any means, but, you know, people tune into Don Imus because Don Imus says whatever the fuck Don Imus wants to say. But Don Imus saying whatever the fuck Don Imus wanted to say got him in pretty big trouble, if you remember. As a matter of fact, it was a racist thing that he had said. Um, so, you know, I, really, you do kind of have to watch what you're saying, especially if you're trying to speak out to people. I mean, there's a way to cleverly speak your word and speak your mind. But at the same time, I mean, look, those who really shouldn't be speaking out to a public because of their fucked up ideals and their racist sentiments or whatever, um, eventually it, it, it's pretty hard to not be yourself on these types of broadcasts, so maybe it is a good thing that social media exists because now we don't have to idolize someone who you know, thinks that we're a piece of shit because we're black, or because we're Hispanic, or because we're Jewish, or because we're whatever, you know? Um, maybe social media is a way of weeding out, like, the really fucked up people. <laughs> and, and that's something that we should take a look at, you know? Like, if I were a complete asshole and I did really fucked up evil things, um, that would probably show up on some form of social media somewhere. You know what I mean? So, the fact that I don't really have that much to hide, you know, I feel very honest with, with all of you that are in the chat right now. Uh, I feel like I can kind of speak my mind and talk about my opinions. Like, I, the, the fact that that exists is pretty cool. Let, let's see what Jade has to say. Hey, come here. You should see this. It's 
something is going on at the school. Tahir's men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's Antizen, we need it. Mighty interesting. Jade, where? What the Shit. fuck is she doing? Oh god. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement with you, Nick. I think god. we're definitely on the same page that, like, you know, ultimately people will follow and listen to you because you're being. Ah. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do now. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude, I'm sorry. No, no, don't, don't fucking fuck gesture to me. Here. That guy should die in a fire. We, fuck, where'd she go? Uh oh. Yeah, let's let's search him. Let's see if there's anything good on this guy. Maybe he's got bullets. Doc, you fucker! Oh, I can't search. All right. So you know what? Let's let's actually let's see if we can test this this um, idea, this concept that honesty leads to followers. Why don't you guys ask me a question? Ask me, go ahead, ask me anything, and uh, I'll be as honest as possible. Uh, within reason. <laughs> yeah, Nick says that uh, people like Bill O'Reilly are the worst kind of people. I agree. He's honest. But that, yeah, I mean, the fact that he's honest allows us to determine that we should or shouldn't listen to him, you know? We know that he's not spewing, <coughs> um, yeah, we know that he's not spewing shit that, uh, that we need to get behind, that we need to be open-minded about. Oh, fuck! Fuck me. So yeah, go ahead, um, the floor's open to you, uh, boys, girls, men, women. Sentient robots in the chat. Go ahead and ask me any question. Video game, comic book, personal, related. Don't ask me about my penis size. Because that's none of your damn business. Uh, eight inches. Um, but yeah, no, ask me Ask me anything you want to ask. I'm an, I'm, I'm an open book. At least for today. At least for right now. I feel like I, I know so much about you. We got Long Tar, a.k.a. Longster from Oklahoma. We got Nick from the Netherlands. Hell, we got Josh in Florida, man. We got fucking people all over. It's crazy. Pretty sure my analytics tell me I got a watcher in, in, uh... What the fuck is this? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I'm pretty sure my analytics tell me that I have a watcher in, uh, like, Saudi Arabia. Like crazy parts around the world. I like analytics. It tells you a lot about people who watch you, what they're watching, how much they watch. You know. That's how all your favorite YouTubers know, like, what to show you. Pretty much uh, from watching their analytics. So, like, if you ask for a show, like The Watchmen or something like that, let's say you want Salu The Watchmen. And he does that, and then he watches the analytics, and he sees that, like, only six people watched it all the way through, and the rest of them only watched, like, five minutes, then he's not going to do that anymore, because his analytics have helped him out. <laughs> analytics are the shit, man. Um, our very own uh, Eric Baron von Comics actually works analytics for Merrill Lynch. So, um, you know, using his expertise, his knowledge, his prowess in analytics is really helping us out. Have I ever traveled outside of the U.S.? Yes. Uh, I've been to Canada. That's about it. I've traveled all over the U.S., but I really haven't traveled around the world uh, as of yet. Another kind dead of a, end. A world travel virgin. I just hope we can find another way out if we have to. Head for the outbuilding on the roof. 
I would like to travel outside of the uh, I'd like to travel outside of the world if possible. <laughs> but yeah, no, outside of the US would be pretty cool. Uh, Eric does work for the devil. He definitely does work for the devil, but he's, you know, he's, you know, fucks it up from the inside. No. <laughs> we have no qualms or problems with Merrill Lynch whatsoever. We're actually, we're totally cool with Merrill Lynch. We have no issues at all. Um, this broadcast is in no way affiliated with Merrill Lynch, and the opinions of the people on the broadcast do not reflect the opinions of Merrill Lynch. Just figured I'd get that out there. You know, they have a legal team. <laughs> And also, I don't want Eric to lose his job. Uh, I mean, he's never he's never really spoken badly about it. It seems like they, they take care of him, which is pretty cool. I appreciate any company, any business that takes care of my friends. I'm okay with that. What's in here? Notes. Some household supplies. The lockers. Some alcohol? Who wants a drink? I could use a drink right about now. It's about that time. It's four o'clock. Beer o'clock, as some people like to put. All right, I gotta figure out how to get in this fucking school. I don't know uh, how. Uh, Ouch! What the hell was that? Oh shit! Fucking spitter up there. Okay, here we go. The spitter. Canada doesn't count. No, Canada is just like a nicer US. Is all it is. That's what I think. I think that Canada is is America light. And I mean literally. Oh shit! Fuck! I got hit in the fucking face with a rib cage and I lost 995 survivor points. Damn it. Ah. Uh, son of a fuck. Um, yeah, no, from what I understand, I think that Eric is down with Ghost Rider. We'll have to ask him later. I don't know if he's gonna really get in depth about working for Merrill Lynch, though. Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes, how did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. <sighs> well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. Well, these guys are pricks. <laughs> They're not- these guys are fucking assholes. I don't like working for people that belittle me and condescend to me. That's possibly like- that's my biggest pet peeve. To be totally honest, like, people can chew with their mouths open, people can fart, people can burp. My, my biggest fucking pet peeve is when people condescend. When people talk down to you. Like, don't treat me like I'm any worse than you, or like you're better than me. Fuck you, and fuck you. I'm out this piece. Um, yeah, so I'm still taking questions, guys. Uh, I, I definitely want to wanna take some more questions. I'm, I'm taking all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm really big into cooking. I, I love cooking, and I was thinking about doing a cooking show, but I don't... I, I actually released a cooking show. I only got about 50 views on it over the course of two months, so I took it down and decided that I wasn't going to do it, but um, I made a slow-cooked chili with bacon and pork shoulder and I cooked it over six hours and I just took it out of the fridge and I put it back on the crock pot uh, for another, like I think I'm gonna cook it another six hours. Uh, my favorite cheese, I would definitely say brie. 
I fucking love Brie. Uh, I love Havarti. Like a creamy Havarti with, with maybe a little bit of dill mixed into it. Uh, but I definitely think that Brie... Uh, because I kind of like, I'm a big fan of bitter shit. I'm a big fan of bitter things. I, I like, uh, I like beer. I like very hoppy beers. I like, uh, I like dark lagers. Uh, I like, I love olives. And some of my favorite things are like just fucking dark, dark lager. Or possibly like a, a hoppy light IPA. Something like that. Um, some olives and brie. Fucking awesome! Get me some uh, some cars or cars crackers. That's the shit. My favorite food to cook. Um, I, I like artichokes. I'm a big fan of stuffed artichokes. It's really like Italian, Sicilian kind of thing. And you, uh, an artichoke is basically like a uh, think of like a, a giant hedge or a big ass hedge with like leaves that you can peel off of it. And in each of these leaves, you can stuff in, like, um... What the fuck? Something is attacking me, sorry. So, uh, you can stuff in, like, uh, breadcrumbs and cheese and, like, bits of hard salami and stuff like that. I am a, I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, I remember having it for the first time in Long Island with my pops. We went to this place called the Verdanda... The Verdanda 2. And uh, they had stuffed artichokes. It was fucking delicious. And ever since then, that has been my favorite. You know, you just you, you have it in the in the center of a table with your with your friends, with your family, with your with your loved one, with your partner. And you peel off those leaves, and you just stuff all that cheese and bread crummy goodness in your mouth. Oh, it's fucking delicious. Maybe a little hollandaise sauce on the side if you like it. But um, yeah, definitely check it out. Stuffed artichokes. Um, you have to get an artichoke in season. In order to get it cheap, uh, they're relatively inexpensive. You only kind of need one of them. Uh, yeah, stuffed art pickled artichokes are really awesome. I love me a pickled artichoke. I love Turkish stuff. Unfortunately, I now live in New Mexico. I used to live in uh, in New York, and there were so many amazing food markets out there, like just an unheard of amount of food markets on every corner from every part of the world. Uh, we used to have Turkish food marks, and I used to live in, in Flushing for a while. There's a lot of different, like, Chinese, Japanese, Korean food markets, stuff like that. Um, and I just, I miss it a lot. Um, out here, there really isn't a whole lot of variety. You get a lot of Tex-Mex, a lot of Mexican food, a lot of uh, South American food. Uh, believe it or not, there's a lot of, like, Vietnamese food, which is really fucking good. Like, I got a Bon Mi sandwich stop, shop, which is really great. If you guys ever have the chance, go ahead and grab yourself a banh mi sandwich with some uh, with some pork, with some cured uh, crispy pork. It's a great sandwich. But yeah, man, I really miss the, the amount of food variety. Um, I'm curious, man. I'm still taking questions, but I want to ask you, what are some of your favorite foods uh, from around the world? What are some of your favorite dishes, whether you cook it, whether you don't cook it? Um, I, I like talking about food, man. I like talking about food and video games and comics. I'm all about that shit, so... Ask me your questions. Let me know some of your favorite stuff. Let's let's keep chatting, man. I'm having a good time. This is fun. You know, Nick, you're the man, because for the fucking longest, dude, like, since I, uh, for about, for about ten years, uh, I, I've loved Bon Mi sandwiches, and I have never known how to spell it. How fucked up is that? How rude is that, to not know the culture, to, to not learn the spelling of the sandwich that I would have for lunch constantly? <laughs> Yeah, man, split pea soup, super thick split pea soup with like a big ham hock in it, and you just shred the ham hock at the end of it. Oh, man, I'm getting fucking hungry. That, my friends, is a crowbar. Let's go, let's go Half-Life and get some crowbar action on this. I gotta drop something. Um, shit, I got a lot of good things, though. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. 
Damn. Um, shit, what do I drop? Um, the claw hammer. We'll drop the claw hammer. Yeah, alright. That'll, that'll be fine. Okay. Pry bar. And champion. Alright. Let's stab this son of a bitch in the head and kick him. Fuck, weapon's broken. Da 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 Fuck. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We had a little play date. You guys touched my no-no. Now I'm leaving. It's inappropriate. I love me some sushi too, man. I could, I could definitely go for uh, a spicy tuna roll right now. Maybe a crispy unagi. Uh, not unagi. Um. Uh, fuck. I. What's the, what's the eel? Is it umami? Umami. Yeah. That was another thing New York had really, really good uh, sushi. Sushi was fucking everywhere in New York because we had the uh, South Street Seaport. The South Street Seaport is like a really big uh, fish market and uh, a lot of really cool restaurants down there. It's kind of where the, I guess, the lower, um, lower downtown elite kind of go to have lunch. <laughs> It's a lot of shops, a lot of tourists and stuff like that, but you can also go there and ride the Beast. And the Beast is like one of those speedboats. You can actually look it up online, it's this yellow speedboat, and um, it just fucking speeds around the, uh, the New York, uh, uh, what is it, uh, the Hudson Bay, Hudson River. And it's kind of gross because like you get wet, right? You're splashing around, it gets, it gets very wet on the Beast. Uh, and if anybody in the chat or anybody watching this in the future knows anything about the water in New York City, they know that uh, there's dead bodies in it, <laughs> that it's fucking disgusting, that it's like, it's just the landfill essentially underwater. It's disgusting. So all that water is like splashing on you, and it's funny because the tourists will like, you know, keep their mouths open, and they get splashed the water, and they think it's cute, but little do they know, like, you know, I used to live in Queens, in Astoria, and actually so is uh, our own Eric Baron von Comics. We used to live in Astoria, and uh, I once found a hand in the river, like washing up on a dock base, like a fucking human hand was in the river. It's, it's gross. Yeah, right? Yeah, ride the beast. <laughs> I used that advertisement to pay for my college, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, ride the beast. That's not suggestive. Hey kids, get your mom to ride the beast. You know she wants to. It's fast and hard, and it gets all wet. Ride the beast. <laughs> That's filthy. Dirty minds! Dirty minds! Yeah, I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna actually have some of that slow-cooked sushi. I mean, not slow-cooked sushi. That sounds disgusting. Uh, slow-cooked uh, chili that I made with the, with the pork. Pork shoulder. I'm gonna have a little bit of that. Uh, I'm gonna pull a Rob if you guys are okay with that. I remember Rob was eating ribs on his 12 hour live stream. Uh, I'm gonna do something similar and uh, have some chili. But I promise that, um, you know, I, it's not gonna be messy. I will be on camera in a little bit. Actually, why don't we go ahead and do that now? Why don't I jump on camera and say hello to everybody? Let's do that.
Okay, I think we're back in action. Uh, that's a little loud, though. There we go. Okay. Oh, and now we're peeking. Okay. All right, let's play some game. Oh, shit. What's that? What's in the chemicals? Let's see if I can blow up the chemicals over there. It's going to ask that. Yes, burn! Burn, motherfucker, burn! We don't need no water! Let that acid burn! Okay. Enough of that crap. It's not nice. Alright, like I said, though, I am very, very hungry. I'm gonna go get some food. Um, so, his, you know, let's just kind of do that there. Ah, good to know my hair still looks okay. And it's kind of, I'm kind of waking up with some bedhead right now. That's all right. Uh, let's look at the chat. Let's see what you guys are talking about. There's no sound in case you didn't know. No, yeah, I know. I, we were just switching things over. There should be sound now, right? Just let me know if there, there is sound. Should be sound, I hope. Um, you let me know. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have slapped the table like that. That's not good. That's not a nice thing to do to people that are listening. Mm. I have some bedhead since yesterday. Nice. Don't don't surrender to the man. Let your bedhead be loose. Let your freak flag fly, as Hendrix would say. Yeah. You guys like my lamp situation? A little like candelabra kind of thing going on behind my head. I thought I thought it would be a nice little touch. I, I got those light bulbs actually for like eight bucks on Amazon or something like that. It was like just a great great deal. Like everybody should have light bulbs like that. Uh, let's continue killing a bunch of zombies because we get combat experience apparently every time we do that. Is it super karaoke time? It might be super karaoke time. I mean, depends on how nicely you ask. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. We'll just go grab some food, and I will return. We'll, we'll chat a little bit. Remember, ask your questions. You should tweet everybody out. Uh, tweet me at Golden Vision. And if there are anybody in particular that you want to have on the show that you want to talk to or something like that, or you want to have a you know see have a conversation with us over here on the show, uh, send them a tweet. Like you can send Joel a shout uh, at uh, the DVD Grouch and let him know that we're streaming right now. Let him know that you want to see him have a conversation with us about whatever the hell. But I think today is going to be a particular busy day for everyone, seeing that D23 is out. Now um, I heard word, <laughs> I heard word that. Uh, there's going to be a Civil War trailer coming out online tonight. So if that's indeed the case and it is released, whether we have to, whatever we have to do to get that trailer, we will be playing that on the show. We'll do a commentary. We'll watch it a few times. We'll talk about what we suspect. Um, while I go grab my chili, though, I'm going to leave you guys with a question. Uh, what do you want to see in Civil War? Who do you? What kind of fights do you expect to see? Like, little spoiler alert. In Ant-Man, there's a really awesome fight between um, between the Falcon and Ant-Man. So, what other Avengers on Avengers fights do you want to see? Personally, man, I want to see the Vision go toe to toe with anybody. <laughs> Honestly, I want to like I would be awesome. So, I'm gonna go grab some chili. You let me know what you guys want to see. I'll be right back.
Hello everyone, I am back. I have seen the It Crowd. It Crowd is a is a pretty cool it's a pretty cool show. I remember that they were trying to do a um, a US version. There's a there's a UK version and a US version. Uh, not too hot on the UK version. I mean, not too no, not too hot on the US version. Um, I know that they got the main guy, the guy with the crazy hair, that was in that uh, that movie, uh, The Watch, with Ben Stiller and um, you know the other guy, <laughs> the other guy Vince Vaughn that's in True Detective, who I hear is is kind of lackluster in the latest season of True Detective. Uh, someone is going to die in Civil War. They actually confirmed. Um, Goliath probably isn't going to be in the show. Oh, Josh, uh, I didn't see that you were you were going to head out for a little bit. Um, we will see you soon. Don't worry. We're still going 24 hours. You ain't going to miss nothing. <laughs> but, um, let's see. The U.S. version was done by the guys that did Community Season 4, also known as The Worst. Yeah, that's that's kind of why. The the original It crowd or IT crowd was, uh, it was really fun, man. For those of you who haven't seen it, it had... Um, Nick, can you tell me what the what the name of the uh, what the main character was? He he does a bunch of work now. He was in the latest Thor movie, actually. Um, Thor: The Dark World is Jane Foster's like would be boyfriend. But um, yeah, that uh, you know, it's about these guys that do IT work, and I'm I'm familiar with that because I've also done technical support for many many years. Still do from time to time. Feel free to ask your technical computer questions to me, and then maybe I can help you out with that. But um, yeah, dude, like it's about these guys that that work in the basement of a giant building, and they're underappreciated, and they barely see the light of day. Uh, Chris O'Dowd, that's right, Chris O'Dowd, great actor. He was actually in um, a play. Uh, is it a play with James Franco? Believe it or not, <laughs> you, you're not. You're gonna shit bricks. Um, of mice and men, he was he was actually in that. Isn't that something else, dude? He was in of mice and men with uh, with James Franco. He's a hell of an actor, you know. He doesn't just do comedy. Burn, baby, burn. Hmm. But yeah, tech people know what it's what it is to be underappreciated. <laughs> And know what the pain of life is. Do either you, uh, any anybody over there in the chat, do uh, do any technical support work, any any uh, computer work, things like that? Yeah, Richard Ayode. Uh, Richard Ayode is really cool. I've been uh, compared to him quite often because uh, my hair is actually like super curly. Uh, especially if I just wash it and I don't brush it or comb it or anything like that and I just let it dry in the air it gets super curly and super afro-y um, you'll probably see that if you guys keep watching in the next few months my hair is going to outgrow its length right now it's going to get super long and pretty fluffy mm. computer and electrical engineering Longster is going in for yeah, man, uh, that's that's good work. That's really, really good work. It's going to be in demand for a long time. Uh, there's a lot of jobs in it. You can pretty much work anywhere. Anywhere will require a computer or electrical engineer. Uh, you can work for pretty much any phone company, any um, any uh, like uh, any cable company, any internet company, stuff like that. It's, it's good work. It's it's you know full benefits, and they they take care of their people. So. You also get a fucking cool truck you get to drive around in and, you know, maybe smoke cigarettes in the back if you do that sort of thing. <laughs> um, so Nick V was a project trainer at a call center for five years. That's pretty cool. I mean, when I say cool, I mean, like, that was probably brutal, but cool as in, like, oh, that's a, that's an interesting position to have. You don't hear that every day. It's a, it's a you know, it's a, it's a job of, of somewhat prestige. Uh, because it's kind of unique, it's a new type of job that didn't exist 10 years ago, when you think about it, you know, or, or 15 years ago, even. But, uh, yeah, man, tech support and, and technical support, anything like that, it ends up being a real tough thing, because you always have the client 
that calls you all the way across town. This shit used to happen to me all the time when I was a tech support guy. Here, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna continue playing a little bit while I kind of munch on chili and talk to you guys. But uh, I used to be a uh, technical support guy in the city, and like I, they would have me travel all the way across town and like take trains for hours and hours to get around the fucking city. And I would get there, and I'm like, oh, my printer or my monitor doesn't work, and then I go behind it, and the fucking surge protector is turned off. You know, like that would happen so often, more times than I like to admit. You know, that these people simply forgot. Oh, look how much fucking loot I got! This is awesome. I could just farm loot all day over here. Oh shit. That's deadly though. Alright, let's let's put the firecracker over there. But yeah, man, I, I would go all over the place and, and fucking do shit. I remember my buddy, uh my buddy Joey. We're we're not really friends anymore. It's a little bit of a falling out. And you know, I miss him. I still miss, you know, even friends that you have falling outs with. There should be an eventual point where you're just like, you know what, our little fight, whatever we were arguing about was stupid, you know. But anyway, this this close friend of mine used to have uh, all kinds of computer problems with his laptop, so he decided to get a new one. So we go ahead and uh, after he gets a new one, we pop open the old one to see if we can salvage it, if we can take anything out of it, if we can make it work again. You know, because he has the backup, we don't have to worry about fucking up the old machine. We open it up, and I swear to God, man, there were fucking cockroach eggs all throughout it, and like carcasses and stuff like that. The thing was just packed to the brim with roaches, like that can really happen. That is a real thing that happens apparently rather often. So, you know, if you got roaches in your house, make sure you, you get some dust off <laughs> and dust out your computer for roach carcasses. Oh shit, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh god. Yeah, I'm fucked. I am so fucked. No! No! Damn it. Ugh. Alright. That's what I get. That's what I get. Mm. Yep. Roaches. Ew. I never forget it. This guy, like... He's a good friend of mine. But he was just so messy. He, you know, like, I, I would go to his apartment, and we'd sit on his couch, and we would watch movies. We'd watch, like, Commando. We'd watch, um, we'd watch Universal Soldier. You know, we'd watch, like, classic 80s movies and get drunk, <laughs> essentially, and just bullshit about it. And I, I mentioned the fact that we got drunk because that was essentially the only way, I think, that I could have ever tolerated this dude's house. Now, again, this is one of the sweetest people I, I knew. And, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a falling out, which I'll probably tell you about inevitably after, you know, some time. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, he, he would have roaches crawling around living in the couch that we were sitting on. And it took me a while to figure that out to realize that the nest or there was a nest inside of the couch the very couch that we sat on and played video games and watched movies on and the couch that i would crash on if it got too late or whatever yeah man his house was alive i think there were i think there was like probably living things every few inches of the house you know like if you were to look under the floorboards and use like an x-ray it was pretty crazy shit I also remember this time, here, I'm going to go ahead and put on my webcam. Um, I also remember this apartment I lived in, uh, where was this, in Ridgewood, I guess, like Middle Village area? And it was a basement apartment, and it was my very first apartment. I think I was like 17, turning 18 or something like that. I had just finished up with high school, and I was getting into uh, the Institute of Audio Research. I actually, I studied engineering as well. I studied audio engineering. Um, which you probably can't tell because of the, the low quality of the audio in this broadcast, but, you know, it's just sometimes, sometimes it's better to just do it than to make it crystal clear. It's kind of like a, an audio thing. It's like, you know, sometimes you spend too much time in perfecting it and it loses the magic of what it is, you know? That's a whole, like, audio philosophy thing. But anyway, I was going to school, and I was working at the same time, and I, I lived in this basement apartment, 
And it turned out that this basement apartment that I rented, uh, there was a fucking septic tank in my kitchen. That the septic tank for the co-op that was above me, the, the you know, house, which the family, the renter, stayed in, the, the fucking, it was leaking sewage, human shit, into my kitchen where I cooked my meals. So, um, luckily, I, I didn't live too far away from my mom at the time. And I was like, you know, mom, do you mind if I crash your place or can I do laundry? My place smells like shit all the time. It's disgusting. I can't cook there. Blah, 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 blah. It's just a total mess. Eventually, uh, they, they came to clean it with a wet vac. They cleaned it out with a wet vac and some fucking bleach, okay? <laughs> cleaning out with a wet vac and some bleach. So my apartment is once again hospitable, at least for two weeks. Till the stench returns. And that two week period, which was the longest time I had spent in that apartment, okay, a fucking $1,100 basement apartment in Queens, okay, two weeks was the most time I spent in it. I started getting these roaches that were like this big, like fat fucking New York size roaches, like giant, you know, obese. Eating way too goddamn much, can't stay off the sugar roaches, you know? And I had a Red Rider BB gun, which is illegal to have in New York. But I can talk about it now because I don't have it anymore and I don't live in New York, so whatever. But I had this BB gun, and at night, I would fucking load in those brass pellets and fucking pour the shit in. And I'd take those sons of bitches out because if I turned on the light and I ran over to slap them or to hit them with, like, a shoe or something like that, they would fly. They were like flying roaches. They would scurry. They would just... And I couldn't hit them. And to be totally honest, they creeped me the fuck out. Like, I didn't want to get close to them. You know what I mean? Because, like, I had dealt with roaches before. I'd grown up with roaches living in New York City. However, these motherfuckers were, like, super size. These were, like, way too fucking big for your normal. These were, like, rad roaches. These were, like, like Fallout 3 rad roaches, okay? So I would shoot them with the BB gun. And um, it was fucked up because, like, I would shoot them, I would go out, I would take a piss, I'd go get some water or something like that, and then I'd go back into my apartment, I'd go back into my bedroom, I'd go to sleep, I'd wake up in the morning, and the carcasses would be gone. That's right, these motherfuckers are cannibals. They eat each other, dude. They fucking eat each other. How sick is that? This is it's some next level shit, I tell you. I tell you. No respect, no respect at all. Where's the hot loots? Oh, shit. Um, I forgot what we were doing. I don't know what the mission is. Uh. Sorry if I'm making too many chewing sounds. I'm trying to keep the show going while having a little lunch here. I gotta have some lunch so you can lick her up, right? <laughs> Oh, this show is going to get very interesting later on. <laughs> it's come to my attention, I, I cannot see the chat. Let me go ahead and get my, my tablet, see what you guys are saying over on the YouTubes. And if you're over there on twitch.tv slash golden vision, uh, let me know that you're watching. Let me know that you're there. Let me know that you're hanging out, because we got a bunch of people over here on YouTube talking, but not a lot of people on Twitch. But apparently, we do have people watching on Twitch. So if you don't have an account, you can sign up with your Facebook account and start having a conversation. Man, I'm taking questions. I'm, I'm asking you questions. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys are, are, are wanting to see out of D23 today. Uh, if you're excited about... Uh, you know, Captain America Civil War. Come on, talk to me. Let me know what's going on, baby, baby. All right, I got me tablet. Mm. 
shit, it's getting dark. That's right. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Peace, motherfucker. I don't know how hitting a, uh, how hitting an oxygen tank with the fucking, with the spiked bat makes it explode, but I'm okay with it, you know? I'm willing to suspend, uh, was it suspend disbelief? Yeah. I'll suspend disbelief for that. It's cool enough, it benefits me in some way. I think you should always be willing to suspend belief if it benefits you. <laughs> Just believe. Fuck it, man, where do- Can I get to the safe zone? Damn. Is this a safe zone? Yeah, okay. Good, because I'm really- I just want to eat chili. Oh, Nick just wants to eat chili. Oh yeah, in case you guys don't know, my name is Nick, so. There's that. Everyone calls me Goldie and Goldman and shit. No, my name is Nick, dude. But for today, I'll be Goldman because Nick V over there in the chat is going to be our resident Nick for today. He's going to be Nick number one. I will be Nick number two. But we're, we'll just go for Goldman Vision today. And uh, I don't know where the fuck Goldie came from. Like, do I sound like a Goldie? I have a deeper voice than fucking Benny. That, you know, my voice is, is, in, is in the same register as Rob, or if I, you know, kind of calm down a little bit and begin to talk lower, it's it's kind of in the same vein and in the same register as a Rob. But, um, you know, I, I don't know where the fuck Goldie came from. I mean, I'm glad that anybody is watching my shit and calling me anything for that matter. The fact that they are around to call me anything, they could call me dickface, but, you know, I'll accept it. I'll accept it because they're watching, they're interacting with the show, even if they claim to dislike it and troll me, the, I'm still giving them some sort of entertainment of some sort. Now, luckily, I haven't had any trolls, man. I've had some really fucking awesome, cool, supportive fans, man. Nick V over there has been watching since day one. Uh, Long Tar is there hours before the 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 performance, before the show. You know, we got Josh Haley who just stepped out. He said he's going to be back in an hour. He he let us know that he was having lunch and that he would come back in an hour just because he's having such a good time hanging out with all of us, uh, hanging out with me and you guys over there in the chat. It's a good time, man. It's a good community. It's something I like to be a part of. And I'm glad that, you know, I can, I can entertain you and I can facilitate this conversation amongst each other. Um, I think I might fire up another game pretty soon, but I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide. Uh, we can continue playing this game, um, Dying Light and having this conversation, or I could fire off another game and we can play that. Maybe an SNES game or maybe, like, uh, another game on Steam or something like that. You, know, you let me know. Let me know what you guys want to do. You know, mi, mi casa es su casa. UV, you son of a bitch. You don't like it so much, do you, huh? Come here, you fuck. Come here, you motherfucker. I'll beat your ass. 
I'll beat your ass sideways. And then I'll glue it back on upside down, you motherfucker. Don't fuck with me. You know who I am? I'm Crane. Apparently. Yes, Nick, we do all need our sleep. Old and young. The youngsters like to pretend they don't need sleep. But then when they fucking have attitudes in the morning when they're serving us coffee... <laughs> they want to wonder why they need sleep. Why they don't feel so good. Why they feel upset. Because they should have gotten some fucking sleep. So I don't blame you, man. You have some good sleep. I hope we don't uh, give you any nightmares. Me talking about zombies. Uh, playing playing this video game about zombies, talking about me shooting roaches in an apartment. I do hope you had a good time. But the broadcast will continue, and with all luck, if all goes according to plan, you'll be able to check us in the morning when you wake up and still see us fucking for some reason playing this game or playing another game or doing some show. But yeah. So, I, I want to see the chat heat up a little bit, man. What do you guys want to talk about? What are you guys thinking? What's on your minds? We talked a little bit about uh, Civil War. We got any Star Wars fans in the house? Anybody uh, excited about TFA? Not TNA. Not to be confused with TNA, but TFA, The Force Awakens. Eye zombie. Is that show any good? I kind of feel stupid because I didn't know that was a comic. I was completely unaware that that was a comic book property. Oh, apparently my new name is Dickface Goldilocks. I don't know if I approve of that, but I didn't pick it, so it's not up to me. an airdrop. Oh shit! That airdrop is really close. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Come on, baby. Oh shit, not this fucking asshole. Get the fuck out of my way. Ah, damn. That sucks. Guys, we gotta stop fucking around at night. We keep getting blackout drunk and running out into the fucking darkness, trying to fight these volatile zombies. Okay, fuck, Mary kill, Leia, Xena, or Daisy Johnson. Um. Well, I mean, the funny thing is, like, I don't really get fuck, Mary kill because if you get married, then you're probably gonna fuck. I don't know. Maybe not. I, maybe we shouldn't assume that. Some people stay abstinent all throughout marriage, but... Uh, alright, if I had to fuck, marry, kill, uh, fuck Daisy Johnson, marry Leia, and kill Xena. Because Xena, um, she's way too dangerous. She's way too dangerous, man. If I fucking upset her one day, I might find a fucking throwing knife right through my hand. Um, yeah... Huh. JDF1217 says that iZombie is only iZombie in name. It's only based on the comic in name and that, that, that it has zombies. That's unfortunate. Is iZombie uh, worth reading? Is that is that a comic worth picking up? And if it is, what publisher is it on? Because I, I really don't know anything about iZombie. I saw, you know, the CW promos and I was just like, oh shit, okay. Fucking zombie show. Looks kind of dumb. <laughs> Looks like fucking, you know. Looks like Smallville took a shit and someone stepped on it, you know? Yeah, throwing circle thingy. I heard that they're rebooting Xena. I don't know why you would ever do that. When I was a kid, I used to kick the shit out of my uncle. 
watching those shows. You you put on Hercules and I'd punch him in the back of the head. And then he would put on Xena and I'd throw shit at him. I'd throw frisbees and shit at him. Yeah, it was fucked up. <laughs> it's a Vertigo book, I Zombie. Yeah, Vertigo does some good stuff, man. Anybody a fan of Savage Dragon? Anyone familiar with that comic book? Savage Dragon, really fucking awesome thing with this green dragon guy who can, like, he gets his arm ripped off and it can grow back and, you know. It's basically like a mortal in that sense that if he loses a limb, it just grows back. He heals kind of like Wolverine, except um, he can regenerate limbs. Really fucking cool book. Yeah, Xena was awesome. I really don't know why they're rebooting it. You know? There are plenty of other characters that they can turn into a TV show and have be really fucking cool. You know? Like, Hercules had Xena. And then Xena became a spin-off of that. So, why not just spin off a character from that show? Like, the adventures of Gabrielle. You know? Gabrielle was like her, her life companion that followed her around and used a, a staff, like a bow staff, and kicked the shit out of people. She was pretty good. Near the end of the show, she got more, you know, stronger and stronger. She got uh, tougher and tougher. She got really good at fighting. She became less afraid of uh, villains. So, you know, it was a good show. I liked it. But, I mean, I feel like there's plenty of comic book characters, plenty of uh, properties that go based. Like, where the fuck is our Red Sonya movie? Where is Red Sonya? Red Sonya is nowhere to be found. Hercules did not suck. You you fucking take that back. <laughs> you take it back or banhammer. No, okay. <laughs> I love that fucking show, man. But it's at the same time, the only reason that I love it is the nostalgia factor. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 end up with these sh terrible shows as your favorites. But the nostalgia factor just keeps you coming back and wanting more and more. I know there was a Red Sonja movie, but there's been talk for a reboot or a revisiting uh, to the property. A sequel, as it were. But I don't know it, what happened with it. I don't know if it's just, you know, if it went stale. On a bookcase, he said. Or, okay. Um, okay, I don't know what I'm looking for. Um... You know, it was supposed to come into fruition, but it just it went dark. I don't know if the project went stale, if they are staying quiet on purpose because there's we're way too much competition. Perhaps they're waiting for like a little God. quiet moment during all of the comic book movie releases. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not sure. But if they wanted to turn simple tricks to get the chicks, DVD player, user manual, big book of death metal. <laughs> nice, big book of death metal. Um. The falafel diet. Oh, that's, I like that they have all these books. That's really cool. Oh, statue. Nice. Um, you know, I, you, they could have made a, a movie out of fucking, or another movie out of Joan of Arc. They could have made another TV show out of Joan of Arc. Another miniseries. They could, there's so many other characters to do other than just fucking rebooting shit over and over again. And there's plenty of women out there like, hey, fucking Guinevere. Bam. Do, do a show or a movie on Princess Guinevere and make her cooler and more interesting and more relevant to the times than, you know, Xena could ever be. That's what I say. Stop remaking f shit. Stop remaking shit. That's it. Stop remaking shit. Thank you. Ah. All right. So, got some supplies. Oh, that's sad. There are some children here. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Like there's more than I should be getting here. Yeah, there we go. Eh, energy bar. I don't really need it. I'll take that anyway, though. Satchel. Ooh, picked up glasses! I need that! There's a quest where I have to go pick up the glasses. That's great. Fine for everyone. Diploma. Okay. Um, is that it? Is that all we needed from here? 
There has to be more shit. Oh yeah, there's a downstairs. I knew it. Yeah. Of course there's more shit down here. Oh, dude. Thousand one banana recipes. Wow. There are a surprising amount of things you can do with bananas. You can flambe, you can fry, you can batter, you can bake, you can fucking saute, you can do all kinds of really yummy banana things. Ah, more books! How to look good over 40. Do it yourself a horse head mask very 2013. Big butt bonanza, nice. See defeat a couch potatoes guide to vegetable guy. That's the one. Yeah, that's that's a good book to have. Day of the two. Day crew. Prehistoric overkill. Killing Cloud. <laughs> Look, it's the Fantastic uh, Two movie. Fantastic Four Two movie with uh, Galactus, the Killing Cloud. The giant fart cloud that was Galactus. So now that uh, Fantastic Four is out, and it's a colossal piece of shit, do you guys, uh, do you guys appreciate Tim Story's Fantastic Four a little bit better? Later, uh, later, Nick. It's been a pleasure. As usual, we will see you next time. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the show. Sleep well, my friend. Okay, I, I'm going to sing more Cindy Lauper just for you. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> love you, but no, I'm not, not, not. I don't love you that much, man. <laughs> All right. Let's continue with our mission. What's up, Dudley? Cigarettes. Nice. Not nice, actually. Don't smoke, kids. Unless it's the apocalypse in which, fuck it, you're gonna die anyway. Go get your fucking shine box. Sorry, that was extra violent. So Longster says that he appreciates the Incredibles movie more as the best Fantastic Four movie ever. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, the Incredibles got the characters uh, mixed up, their powers, but hey, they still did. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not really the Fantastic Four, but... Yeah, no, I think they did a damn good job. I definitely like what they did. I think that, um... It makes me think that, you know, or wish even that... More comic book movies and more comic book properties were animated films. Versus doing the live-action route. But you know how that goes. It's like, you get the fucking cartoon movie and then everybody wants the live-action movie and... Yeah, you know. You know how it goes. You can't please everybody. What do you guys think about Gal Gadot? Wonder Woman. What do you think about the Wonder Woman movie that they're going to be making? Wow, that was cool. Airdrop. Drop. Um, Gal Gadot. Uh, Longster says she's not buff enough. Well, I mean, look at the comics, though. You know, she's, it really depends on. I don't know. It, it really depends on the 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 portrayal. You know what I mean? The the person that's drawing her. Sometimes she's more buff than other times. Sometimes she's, you know, sometimes she's she looks like a normal human being. Thank you for coming to um, and sometimes she looks like a fucking underwear model. Um, I think that Gal Gadot is probably going to look fine in the role. I'm more concerned with like an accurate portrayal of who Wonder Woman is. I'm not the biggest Wonder Woman fan. I'm not like you know huge on DC other than Batman and uh, 
handful of other characters. But, uh... Oh, I got a little tweet. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not really hot on the DC universe as much as I am with Marvel. I respect it, and I really love Batman. But at the same time, um... I, I feel like Gal Gadot comes off as a little flirty in the movie so far. But again, we've only seen her for like 10 to 15 seconds. Let's see, she doesn't have that strong female presence either. Yeah, no, no that's the main thing. That's the main thing. And the, like, uh, it, it's, a, it's, it's a difficult matter because you want to treat everyone equally and, and not judge books by their covers and say like, oh yeah, of course this person could be tough and this person could potentially whip my ass and this and that and the other thing. But, but, I think there are so many other actresses better suited for that. For that, like, oh shit, she walked in the room and I think that she might kick me in the face if I, wa if I don't watch what I say. You know? Like, um, Scarlett Johansson has that presence. You know? Uh, who else has that presence? Um, Angelina Jolie has that presence. Uh, Jessica Chastain has that presence. Emily Blunt has that presence. These are all actresses that have that presence when they walk in the room that everybody shuts the fuck up and listens and pays attention, you know? Julianne Moore is another actress, obviously a little bit too old and, and not the type of actress that you would, I hate saying that, she's too old, but like, you know, I, I, um, she's definitely not the type of actress that you would see in an action, you know, superhero movie as, as a hero. I just feel like Wonder Woman's casting could have been better. Many other people that could have played it you know, um, I, I recant my statement regarding that, you know, I thought that uh, Gina Carano would have been a great Wonder Woman because, you know, she's not an amazing actress. So while she can play a supporting role quite easily, I don't know if she could, you know, hold a lead role, which requires her to, you know, display a wide range of emotions and stuff like that. I just, I don't see it's possible see it as possible. Uh, Zoe Zeldana surprised you as Gamora. Yeah! No, I think she did a great job as, as Gamora. I think the fault of Gamora's portrayal honestly came from James Gunn. That was the error. Um, James Gunn, fantastic guy, but in order to make Gamora believable, in order to make her on the same level as all the other heroes, they had to, like, depower her a little bit. So she's not super strong. She can't, like, leap 20 feet straight up in the air or anything like that. She's just a, a really skilled assassin that might be a little bit stronger than your average person, but not necessarily stronger than a weight builder. So, yeah, I mean, Zoe Zeldana, Zeldana uh, I mean, amazing actress. Fucking fantastic actress. Uh, I want to see more out of her character uh, and, and not necessarily, like... You know, a love story. I don't. I don't want to see her just become like a sexual object. That's for damn sure. You know. We got somebody over there in the Twitch chat. Let's see who's uh, who's chatting with us over there in the, on the tweets on the Twitchers. Uh, pay a visit. I'm gonna just take a little break here from playing. And just sit back and talk to you guys and gals for a little bit. I think that would be fun. That'd be nice. Uh, hello everyone on the Twitch stream. We're simultaneously casting this on YouTube as well as Twitch. So we're talking to some people on YouTube. We're talking to some people on Twitch now. What's happening, man? How you doing? Malik. Malik West. How you doing, brother? Glad to have you on the show. We are playing some... What is this game? Dying Light. And my throat is getting fucking hoarse, man. I am. I have just been talking and talking and talking. I'm hogging the conversation. And I'm not really, uh, I'm not really letting you guys talk. <laughs> yeah. Josh there in the uh, YouTube chat says she was... Oh, I'm sorry. She wasn't whoop-ass enough as Gamora... She was good, but not badass. Yeah, I think they had something going when she fucking chops off Groot's arm. And, you know, she kicks, you know, um, Star-Lord's ass. I thought she had something going, but come on, man. Like, 
Gamora probably could have killed everyone in that prison single-handedly in the comics. So the fact that they made her kind of like a damsel in distress in the prison scene, I thought that was kind of redonkulous. I thought that was a little silly, you know. But again, man, I'm not going to knock fucking James Gunn. James Gunn is, a, is an awesome writer. Um, you guys may not have known that he wrote uh, the uh, day, not sorry, Dawn of the Dead remake. The Dawn of the Dead remake was, was uh, yeah, James Gunn. Fucking awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, Zack Snyder. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to take a short intermission here. I'm going to go hydrate. Rest the vocal cords for a minute. We'll be right back in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of music while we wait. And that music, my friends, is going to come in the form of Death from Above, 1979. This song is called Virgins. It's a really cool track. I hope you enjoy it. I'll be back at about uh, by the end of this song. Enjoy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so that was Death From Above 1979. Virgins. I'm going to go ahead and play one more Death From Above 1979 song. It's called Romantic Rights. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty groovy song. It's really funky. Hopefully uh, Twitch doesn't shut us down again for playing it because they shut us down for 24 hours a couple days ago. That's, that's kind of 
why we are doing a 24-hour broadcast. To, to say, fuck the man. We're, we're back in action. We're going to stream for 24 hours. That's what we're doing. So, yeah. Enjoy the song. That was Death From Above 1979 with Romantic Rights. We are playing this game Dying Light in our 24-hour broadcast. We're coming up on hour four, I believe. I think we're like, um, I think we're three and a half hours in, which is a fucking long broadcast, man. Hella long broadcast. Uh, we've made it nighttime. We're gonna make a nighttime run right now. We're gonna try to, to make it to the next objective. I want to say hello to everybody watching over at Twitch and everyone watching on the YouTubes right about now. Uh, there have been some people that have tuned in a couple times and dropped out to go eat lunch and come back and stuff like that. Remember, this is an all-day broadcast, so you can tune in anytime. You can turn it off and you can turn it back on. We'll be broadcasting until 1 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, we're even gonna be broadcasting all night. In which I'll probably show you some some videos and shit like that, and you're gonna have like a little slumber party, as it were. It's gonna be a blast, man. So just wanna take that time to say hello to everybody. And uh, you're seeing correct that the show will return momentarily, even though this is technically the show right now, and you're watching me run through the night. Um, I am still taking a short break. I just wanted to give you cats, uh, cats in the chat that are being very patient and very kind. Uh, you know, just something to look at. Let's have to look at real quick. Keep you entertained while uh, we're handling some business. 
We were talking about Gamora a little while ago, Gamora from the MCU, and how she's kind of like a little underpowered. Um, oh shit. Something just blew up behind me. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is problematic. Oh shit, I don't know how to get inside. Oh my god! Okay, I'm panicking a little bit. I'm panicking a little bit. Um, I'm taking your questions. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see, what you guys want to know, what you guys want to talk about. What's on your minds? I want to know. I want to talk to you. And you and you. All of you. Oh, fuck me! No! Holy shit! Oh my fucking god! No, 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 not today, not today, not today! Oh god, no! Oh shit! Get the fuck out of my way! Oh, damn it! I'm dead. All right, guys, taking a short break. I'll be back shortly. Thanos didn't fuck around, man. I'm not kidding. He fed those kids fucking lead and they shat bullets. Remember when my grandpappy used to feed us bullets? World War II vet. 
He does fucking bullets. And we'd shit out victory. Uh, Alright. So, we're back in business, I think. Yeah, you know, I was... I was supposed to get a call from my guys. Or let's chat. Am I missing somebody? Am I missing, like, some communication here? Oh, shit, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> so, let's talk Batman versus Superman, shall we? Who do you think? Who do you think? wrote that note. Is it indeed Jason Todd? Is it the Joker fucking with Batman, pretending to be the ghost of Jason Todd? That's what I'm curious about. Do you think that the Joker has already killed Jason Todd? Do you think Jason Todd still exists in this world? Do you think that they're gonna swap out possibly Jason Todd for Dick Grayson? So that way it's a little, you know, more accessible to, uh, you know, to newer fans. So Longster there in the chat says that Joker is Jason Todd. I'm curious about that. Why do you think that, that Joker is Jason Todd? And how do you think that could work as a film? Because I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not, but I'm not saying it is either. Holy shit. Something just fucking exploded outside of my house, dude. What the fuck was that? Okay, I'll be right back. Something, yeah, something serious just happened. Wow. Holy fucking shit, yo. So, apparently, um, it wasn't an explosion, it was a light, it was a thunder strike, but the thunder strike was like, maybe 200 feet away from my apartment complex. Holy fu- Oh, and now it's fucking raining in the video game, that's so cool. That is so cool! Yeah, no, we're, like I said, it's in- I live in New Mexico, and it's just- it started to rain. Like, a lot. It's it's raining very frequently, and it's a little worrisome, because it ain't supposed to rain like this in the desert. Yeah, no, I am lucky we didn't lose power, because that has happened before. We have lost power. Yeah, New Mexico's hogging all the rain, man. We're at this high elevation, and, uh, you know, we're just sucking up all the rainwater. Um, I like what you're what you're saying about uh, Jason Todd is complicated. If they use him, I hope they don't fuck him up, because he is amazing. And it, it, it's true, because, like, he has been used quite often, and he's constantly uh, misused. They constantly fuck him up. They constantly ruin the stories. His his books haven't really sold all that well for a long time until recently, uh, and the, the the potential is there for him to fuck him fuck up the character. Um, to be totally honest, man, a lot of people are really excited about Suicide Squad, and I'm not. I'm not really excited for it. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I need to read more comics. Maybe I'm a hack. Maybe I shouldn't be doing my job. <laughs> But really, man, like, Suicide Squad just is not doing it for me. Um, the whole fucking, you know, what are we, some kind of Suicide Squad thing? Ah, it's bullshit. I don't fucking care. I don't care, Will Smith. I stopped caring a long time ago. Go back and do fucking bad boys. That's what I say. 
Speaking of, what do you guys and gals think about uh, Bad Boys 3 and 4 coming out? It has been announced. It's official. We know that Martin Lawrence is returning. We don't know if uh, Will Smith is returning. says that he likes to team up with, uh, with Arsenal because they both have chips on their shoulders. <laughs> Interesting. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> What, uh, what DC Cinematic Universe film are you guys most excited for? What do you, what do you want to see? Personally, I, um, I'm kind of, I know this is crazy, but I'm kind of excited about Ezra Miller as The Flash. Because Ezra Miller is a really good actor. He's a, he's a very, very distinguished, very capable actor. And, um, you know, Barry Allen is a, is a, is a comedic, funny character. A lot, of, a lot of dimension to him, you know? Uh, I'm excited to see what they do with it. What do you guys think about Ezra Miller as the Flash? And uh, what what is your most anticipated Marvel movie of the year? I want to know. Can you tell me? That's that's my best. Uh, uh, fucking, the, you know, I think I, from Genesis. <laughs> Oh no, it's a sploder. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Fucking everything is broken? Damn it. Uh I need a I need a weapon, man. There we go. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam. Yeah, that's gonna be fucking cool. It's gonna be really, really fun, man. Just, I mean, I just want to see The Rock actually have superpowers. Because right now he seems to be human with the type of shit that he does. But I actually want to see him fly through the air. Don't you guys want to see that? Don't you guys want to see fucking The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, punch somebody through a fucking building? Yes, I accomplished the last break. No, get off me leg. Get off me leg. Oh shit, that's crazy. Wow, this fucking thunder is crazy. I really hope that it doesn't knock out my power. Thing, I'm trying to do a fucking, you know, Mother Nature. I'm trying to do a live stream here. Don't fuck it up. Josh Haley says Will Smith playing Will Smith with the superhero costume. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the concept behind uh, Suicide Squad. God damn it, this mission is hard though. Hey, you want to try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Calming down will work. Yeah, calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like... I got it, UV flares, continue. Wow. 
There is no continuum. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine. It's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find. I'm actually, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Golden Vision. I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? The fucking crazy storm that's happening right now. Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last ten seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh that's very funny. Ha ha, very funny, funny man. Maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way! You're freaking nuts, bro! Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. Hey, everybody on Twitch and YouTube I'm streaming right now. I'm actually on, uh, here, let's, let's go ahead and put on the, the show. We'll see, this is how I control the show. Let's enlarge that. And, uh, I think we can control our show with that. And just turn that on. And the show will resume shortly. Uh, so yeah, there's apparently like a really crazy rainstorm happening. right now you guys are hearing me through my microphone I know I'm walking around the house so I probably sound a little weird a little muffled or something like that but um, don't worry it's gonna start back up oh I have a sweet ass apartment thank you um, yeah no we we just moved in a little while ago and um, it's right now like everything is dark I have all the lights off because we were uh, you know I'm using the projector to play the game but yeah we just we like Christmas lights and we like funky lights and stuff and, I used to work in a museum, so I know a whole bunch of different stuff about lighting. Yeah, those are those are my lights from China. I got a bunch of those. Um, they were like eight dollars a piece, and they come with these really cool little remotes. Uh, you see, like that. Uh, I can change all the colors and shit. Orange. 
cool, huh? Oh, turn it off. Yeah, you can turn them off too. So, you know, you could do that. I, I like to have it on fade. Yeah, just kind of get a good range of colors. Um, which is, it's kind of good if you're looking at a computer monitor for a long time. You want your eyes to cycle through a bunch of different colors. See, this is, this is my front door. And as you come in for the front door, you can come around. And there's another remote right here, which I Velcro to the wall, just like so. And I can control the light. So that's that. Uh, I guess I could show you guys my studio. I'll show you the studio that I, that I do all the videos in. And here it is. That's it. See, there's a green screen. And uh, the outside is our printer where I print all the uh, multi panels and things like that. I'm all over there. Just a little wizard who wants to get to a lost camera. And uh, All right, the periscope is over. So, uh, shall we shall we get back into playing this fucking game? I want to play this game. I'm down. I'm so down. I'm down like a clown in Chinatown.
I'm back. Booster Gold, what's up, man? How the hell are you? Yeah, they did make a fucking Steel movie. That Steel movie was so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That movie was god awful. I wanted to like it too. I want to support Shaq. I want to support him in everything he does. I want to support Steel. I want to support fucking Shaq Fu. You know what, guys? We should actually we should play Shaq Fu later. That's what we should do. We should definitely play Shaq Fu later. You guys want to play Shaq Fu? Who's down with Shaq Fu? Oh! Booster Gold, tell me. You down with the Shaq Fu? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're actually doing a mission. Okay. We are going to this waypoint, which is 120 meters away. We're gonna do something for somebody, and we're gonna get something else on. Uh, the chat agrees with me that that movie was fucking terrible. Um, you know what? What if we started remaking bad movies instead of remaking good movies? What do you guys say about that? Do you think that we should remake a Steel movie and make it fucking good? Do you think it's possible to take good movies and... or bad movies and make them good? Instead of the opposite, which we're used to doing and taking bad movies and making them good? Never mind. I can't even fucking speak. I'm, I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> We gotta get up to the school. Live, laugh, learn, die. <coughs> Go. More than one way to skin a cat. There we go. More than one way to skin a cat. Comics, everybody, say hello. How you doing, bud? Trying to get a little chat going. Man. Yeah. 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 Let's you jump on the Skype. Let's have a little talk. We'll talk about uh, Civil War or something. <laughs> People are asking for you by name, bud. So, uh, give me a heads up, everybody, there in the chat. Uh, how's the audio levels doing here? <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm in trouble, guys. Oh, gross. For <laughs> safe. <laughs> fucking asshole number one, fucking asshole number two. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. God, this is fucking nuts. Oh. <clears throat> Shit. Oh, fuck, man. I almost had it. Oh, damn it. So close. So fucking close. Let's go check on, uh, on our uh, buddies over there from Let's Chat. All right, guys, I'm going to have uh, Mr. Eric Baron von Comics jump on the line here. Just give me a moment while I set up the call. 
And uh, let me know your questions. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you guys want to talk about. Because, um, you know, you're as much of this broadcast as we are. Let us know. Hola. Hello. Hey. What's up? What's happening, man? How much, yeah? Um, uh, just doing a 24-hour stream, man. I lost my fucking mind last night and decided to do a 24-hour uh, stream. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> no, so seriously, somebody fucking called me Batman the other day because of like me streaming radio and doing all this shit, and I was like, ah, oh, all right. Not necessarily a challenge, but challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah, I go on those tirades too. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, what are you up to today, man? Uh, not much. I, I I went to NASA today. You went to NASA? Yeah. What the? Well, the <laughs> what Lyndon Johnson Space Center. Uh, we went on a little tour. We went uh, all sort of the like, little exhibits and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it was you, Longster, that called me Batman. That this, so this is all your fault. Longtar? Oh, here. This is Longtar's Star fault that I yeah <laughs> that, I, that I'm well, streaming now. Trouble, that guy. Uh, so yeah, did you hear about the uh, the Civil War trailer possibly coming out tonight? Like, there's supposed to be some footage coming out. Yes, and that's the cool thing about Marvel because DC would be like, well, someone pirated, and we're just going to keep it under wraps. But Marvel's like, well, I'm going to get in front of it and be like, show you guys. It was exclusive to D23, now we're going to show you guys at night. <laughs> That's the cool thing about Marvel. Yeah, I agree. Listen, I, I'm going to be right back in like two minutes, okay? Okay. Well. Just hold on. Hang on there. Or you can feel free to talk to the chat. Excellent. I can't even see the chat, but I'll talk to the chat. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> just yeah, you can you can see them in your mind if, if you try really hard. <laughs> and what? <laughs> I'll be right just back. rambling on. Uh. Does anyone else wish they were Alan Moore like me? Alan Moore's awesome. Yeah, I can't see the chat. I'm on my phone. Do, 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 shake, shake. I'm just gonna sing "Shake It Off." Shake it off, shake it off, uh, shake it off, shake it off. I sang a little "Shake It Off" because I can't see the chat. I assume people like it. J yeah, jump on the uh, jump on YouTube. There should be there should uh, be some YouTube and uh, chat going on. I'm pulling the old mobile trick on my phone right now, so... Ah, the old mobile trick. We're all familiar with that. 
Wait, oh, who's I'm gonna a, blame I'm... what on Hydra? Long, Long Tar says that somebody's getting blamed. Some Hydra's getting blamed or something. That's Marvel's move, right? When when it gets leaked, Marvel blames on Hydra. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, man, I'm excited for it. I, I honestly like I uh, I don't really know what to expect out of this version. Um, because like we go... all know what happened with Age of Ultron, you know the movie is completely yeah. different than the book. Yeah. Uh, so what I mean, what what are some of your predictions in the MCU version of Civil War? Things are going to be similar. We're going to get a really diverse cast because mm -hmm. three African American heroes right off the top I can think of: uh, Falcon, um, Black Panther, and War Machine are going to be in there. Yeah. You're gonna get some female superheroes in there too. This is, uh, this is, I think Marvel will not like trying to hold the the whole. Uh, well, too, it's a little too late, but they're they're starting to diversify their cast, which is really good. Uh, and yeah. they're not they're they're not forcing it because they could have forced it from day one, and it would have looked forced. And now it's kind of nice progression. It's it's progressing. It, I feel I feel like the Marvel universe is getting older and growing up. Which I is agree. Awesome. I mean, I, I think my, uh, I think I, I definitely agree with you when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, Marvel diversifying their portfolio, as it were, of characters. But um, I, I don't think it's a little too little, you know, too late or anything like that. I think that that uh, the no, new I, heroes I think that it's they perfect. have in are really cool. They're really exciting, and they they're starting to enter a realm. Uh, that they wouldn't have entered before. You know what I mean? Like doing Absolutely. films like Guardians of the Galaxy, doing films like Ant Man. Now we're gonna see like the Black Panther movie. Now we're gonna start to see characters that we've read books of, solo series of, but like never really got a uh, a movie of and never expected to. It's a really interesting time. Um, yeah. I feel that uh, you know Marvel could definitely to a certain extent, benefit from more diversity compared to, like, Avengers, but that stuff is just coming on naturally. Um, I actually yeah. watched a criticism of Ant-Man recently that was, you know, saying that uh, Hope Van Dyne was a yeah. very whiny, very, like, you know, stereotypical trope of a character, of a, of a you know, daughter uh, who's capable of doing shit. Like, you know, some people were saying that the movie shouldn't have even happened because you had Hope Van Dyne, who was capable of doing all this super heroic shit, possibly even better than Scott Lang. Uh, yeah. But then she didn't end up doing it because her father kept her from doing it. So, well, th well, that I mean, should be more critic. That? that should be a criticism of um, Hank than Hope, honestly. That's Hank just being Hank. Hank's a a, a stubborn asshole of a character. And that's perfectly in line of, you know, the comics. Yeah. So, I feel, I don't feel like she was whining, that whiny of a, I feel like her, when she whined in the movie was well deserved because her dad is one of the, <laughs> one of the worst, uh, not the worst superhero, just like one of these asshole superheroes that no one should like. So, mm -hmm. I feel, I feel, she was just a it's just the nature of the father and it kind of went with how much of a asshole Hank is yeah I mean part of me agrees a little bit with some of the criticisms uh, you know about the fact that you know Hope Van Dyne should have probably done a little bit more but at the same time I mean anyone who paid attention to the you know after credit scene realizes yeah. that it's you know it's building up to something big you know what and I mean? That's it's what, building that's up. That's what Marvel to, does. Marvel loves building up stuff. Right. So it's like not, I wouldn't I, be surprised if we see Hope Van Dyne appear in like you know another six pictures. You know what I mean? In like a bunch of movies now. She'll be sprinkled in, and then when the end of Phase Three comes, she's going to be there right along with the rest of the Avengers. Right. But mm. that's Marvel's thing. They love you know. It, not everything's a slow build in Marvel. Yeah. Unlike DC, where they have, you know, the unofficial Justice League movie, Batman vs. Superman. Just let's throw as many characters we can in there. Right. Yeah, I mean, but at the same time, I mean, the Justice League movie, it, it seems crowded, but when compared to a Marvel movie, they don't have nearly as many characters. And that's not necessarily a bad thing by any means, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, um, 
you know, but I, Marvel I think built that... Marvel it. Marvel built up to it, that's right. And now, I mean, like... Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm being attacked here. How many more characters do you think we're gonna end up seeing? How many in bandits movies? are inside? I only saw the ones in that went DC films? Here, yeah, sure like just kind more. of random characters that pop up that weren't we necessarily introduced in the trailer, introduced in, in um, you know, like do you think we're gonna start to see like odd characters like Cloak and Dagger just appear for a scene and then like not be in the rest of the movie? I, I don't think so. I think they're gonna blow their load in Batman vs Superman, where they're gonna have Essentially, the whole Justice League are scheduled to appear. Well, no, I was talking about Marvel specifically. Oh, Marvel? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? Pass once, once uh, the end of Infinity Gauntlet happens, I think with the inclusion of the Netflix uh, deal, you can see anybody. We're seeing Punisher. We're seeing Elektra. <laughs> we're seeing a bunch of people. We're seeing the Purple Man. Who right. would expect to see the Purple Man? That's in what I'm saying. Like Marvel all these, universe. like seemingly not necessarily throwaway characters. But really, like, underground, kind of indie, cult classic -y characters, non-mainstream characters are starting to really pop up in the MCU. But I'm starting to wonder if we're going to see, like, in Ant-Man, we did not expect to see uh, Falcon. We've been introduced to Falcon before, but we didn't really expect to see him in the movie. So, do you think we're going to end up seeing stuff like that, where we have characters that we weren't introduced to, that didn't have an origin or anything like that? Say, um, I, I don't know. Cloak and Dagger. Like Cloak and Dagger, see, yeah. I hope we see Cloak and I love Cloak and Dagger. It's a pretty good cool team. It's, it's a pretty pretty campy, but it's they're a pretty good team. But yeah. um, I think they're going to do it right. Like I feel like they're going to be... I think Netflix is going to be the starting ground for these kind of more undergroundish characters. Right. So they have a chance to flourish and gain popularity or or people just gain... You know, the general public don't know who Cloak and Dagger is. <laughs> Right, I think if we pull hundred people on the street just randomly, you're like maybe tw less than twenty five percent would be like, "Oh yeah, I know Cloak and Dagger." Yeah, and that twenty five percent is out of all the people that you ask that do read comics. It's not yeah, just like rant like it's it's actual comic book readers. They're hey, coming, you read they're coming straight out of a yes. comic book. Yes, twenty five percent they'll say, "Oh, I know Cloak and Dagger." Right, right. Yeah, uh, and I'm excited uh, for that because there's so much potential there. You know what I mean? Night? Like, I these MCU shit, like... movies are huge, huge vehicles to sell comics. They already are. You oh know? So, they need to stop going for the characters that you would normally buy in a comic that are already selling and start taking risks on portraying them <laughs> in the films. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody fucking oh my... read Guardians of the Galaxy. Especially in their current iteration. Like, oh, that didn't exist, you know, until recently. But now, Groot has its own book. You know, Rocket Raccoon has his Rocket own book. Like yeah. Peter Peter Quill has his own book, and the, a different team at, at is going to have their own book. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool. It's really cool, like, because Marvel is like, oh, man, we're going to put... At, at Kevin Feige loved Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's where that movie got made. Yeah. yeah. Like, and that was like a crapshoot. That's, that was like their their crap shoot. Like, oh, we might not make so much money on this, but it'll be a fun movie. And right. that movie ended up having giant success. And now everyone loves Root. Everyone loves Rocket Raccoon. Yeah. You know, it's, like, like, it's really reassur reassuring that a movie like that could yeah. could see commercial success. You know what I mean? Like, that's a damn good movie. You know? It is a great movie. It's it's not even like a super violent movie. It's, it's, it's like a nice summer like family film to go to. Mm-hmm. It's, like my little nephew loves Groot. He has the dancing little Groot, and, and he <laughs> dances along. Well, there he is. And that's when they're trying to put him in the tap. He's kids young. They're like, oh, Groot. Groot's cute. And you put him in a little boy, sings and dances. It's amazing. Yeah. But uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping for a Moon Knight series. <laughs> Oh, honestly, I love Moon Knight. He's one of my favorite characters. Moon Knight would just fit perfectly in in the uh, in the Daredevil universe. You know what I mean? Oh, Which is God. in the MCU universe. MCU universe. Just the MCU. Yeah. yeah. So Moon Knight would be great. You can introduce all these great characters that not a lot of people know of. Yeah. Which is excellent. I, mean, I think that Netflix deal was the best deal Marvel could have done. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, apparently, uh, JDF1217, I've been meaning to, to mention this, but I, just, I, I wanted to uh, fix what we were talking about first, is that um, 
they started production. No, I'm sorry, Longstar, Longster, uh, it said this that they started production or starting production on JL uh, in January. Another dead end. January. Oh. Okay. I'm attacked. Shit. You'll have to come in the way I uh, did. Sorry, I'm, I'm still I playing the yeah, game here. Yeah, I think have out if we have to. Head for the outbuilding on the roof. There we go. Okay. Uh, there yeah, sorry. For, uh... <sighs> Eric? I'm not surprised. I know, I know, um, Zack Snyder loves to shoot those movies back to back. <laughs> He's the type of guy that's like, who likes to film movies like Back to the Future. How yeah. they shot Back to the Future 2 and 3 right consecutively. Yeah, it, it keeps your, your actors in the role. It keeps the drama there. It keeps, like, you know, it, it, it helps it build up, I think. I think it's a good movie. I, I, I think it helps production, too, to have a nice flow. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. That. So. So I'm not surprised that they're shooting this early. Yeah, I'm. I'm it's kind of weird though because like you would imagine that they have so much other work to do. Like they'd want to do the Batman movies first. They'd want to do all this shit. I don't understand how. And this is this is my only real criticism to the uh, DC uh, cinematic universe now, is that you have all these characters introduced in one movie together fighting a threat that only all of them together can beat, right? Yeah. Then you have the solo movies, which is them fighting weaker villains, when they've already fought the toughest, most powerful villain that only all of them together could defeat. It it's just like seems if, like it's going backwards, and it, they're going to be smaller like in scale they start, as they go like down. They start off, yeah, it seems like if Marvel started with Avengers and then like went to Iron Man, it'd be like, well, what really? Iron Man would be destroyed in ten rings. What are you talking about? Yeah. He just fought four hundred and forty. It it it's funny. It's it's. Uh, I don't know how. That's my one big concern. Is that okay? Well, it's, it's going to be taken all over the place. It's like okay, let's fight. Let's fight Joker and Doomsday, and then we'll fight you know the Riddler. Because the railroad is so tough. He gives you hints on what he's going to do. And he has no powers. <laughs> it, it really makes no sense. Yeah. And that's probably going to be their downfall. Like the end of it, I, I feel like Batman vs. Superman and the Justice League movies are going to have major success. But when it comes to um, standalone films, of course, not including the Batman standalone films because Batman equals money. So right. I feel like... The, for example, the Wonder Woman movie is going to be in trouble because it's going to be like, oh, we just saw her fight Doomsday or Apocalypse. Right, who gives a shit about, like, whatever fucking, you know, minor villain that she's fighting? You know? Exactly. Yeah, that's, a, you know, that's, a, that's my only concern, is that where they go from there. See, Marvel has set themselves up for longevity. They've set it up so that, like, it makes sense for these smaller characters to have these smaller subplots that somehow tie into bigger things. Daredevil, even though they made reference to the Avengers, even though they made reference to the Battle of New York, it still felt cool, it still felt dire and dangerous. You know what I mean? It's, cause, it's because he's taking care of all the villains the Avengers don't take care of. Right. He's like, then, you know, he's like a street-level villain. He, he is a street-level uh, superhero. It's like a, He's like more of a public servant than to the Avengers, like, big government, if you want to make that comparison. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting because, like, it, I think that would work for Batman as well, you know what I mean? Like, anybody would go see a Batman movie, and, well, you know, much, you're dealing with... How much with... the Nolan movies make? A billion dollars each? Yeah. So, so it's like, Batman has the recipe for being amazing, and everyone's gonna go see a Batman movie, but Wonder Woman movie against, you know, a lesser villain when you're ready to face a big threat in Batman vs. Superman. It's kind of like, oh, I'm gonna see her face Tigra or something. Yeah. I mean, like a cyborg movie. Who gives a shit about cyborg? I don't know anyone that cares about cyborgs. Not one person. Gonna... I've met a lot of comic book fans since we started this YouTube shit. And I don't know one person that likes it. Uh, he's, he's gonna team up with Norton and they're gonna fight, uh, they're gonna be an antivirus team. He's gonna save <laughs> servers all over the world. 
Him and Webroot. <laughs> <laughs> I need to jump off, but I can jump back on. Yeah, definitely, man. We're going, uh, we're going all night, all day. Just, uh, yeah, give us a shout. Awesome. Have fun. Bye, man. Later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and Zenki robots. That was Eric Baron von Comics. Jumped on for a little bit to talk some Doomsday, to talk some cinematic universe yeah. we're talking about what we're expecting to see talking about our concerns if it's gonna work if it isn't gonna work what's gonna happen we're talking about more of that stuff <coughs> ah son of a bitch killed me damn that's no fun all right everyone i'm gonna go ahead and rest my vocal cords for a bit i have been talking now for several hours I uh, hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Please let me know what you think. Send us a tweet at Golden Vision. Shoot us a message in the Twitch and or YouTube chats, because this is a simultaneous broadcast going on both channels. And uh, I will talk to you very soon. We're gonna keep playing this game.
Time to lay low, people. Find a quiet spot to make it through the night. Stay safe. We we'll see you again tomorrow.
Hey everybody, good news. The Captain America Civil War trailer has premiered at D23, and we have uh, a report in from Comic Movie Guru, a uh, site that I work with through Nerdfeed. Um, we have the full description of what is in the trailer, so we'll be talking about that shortly, just as soon as our friends come back uh, for our 24-hour broadcast. Stay tuned, stay alive. Stay rocking and rolling. We're gonna have some coffee. Let me brew up some coffee while we wait for the night to pass and dying light. Our 24-hour live stream broadcast continues as I venture into this deep, dark cave, which is actually a school. I'm actually kind of scared. This, this is, this is spooky. I don't like going into dark schools with zombies running around it. That's not my idea of a good time. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice.
Okay, this is scary as fuck right now. Fuck it. I'm not I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fucking I'm just gonna John Rambo this shit. We got some chemicals. Some cigarettes, good. I'm gonna need them after this. Oh, this is gonna be oh, I know it. Okay. Ah! Uh, <laughs> they put a fucking skeleton at the end of the room to scare the shit out of me. Hilarious. fucking creepy. Like, I cannot stress this enough. This is fucking creepy. Ah! Safe? Okay, it's kind of safe. It smells in here, but it's safe. Oh, that's cute. Take that plastic, thank you. Eh. We're safe. Saving the game, which means something is gonna happen. Oh shit. I hate this shit. I don't like games like this at all. And I'm home alone. Right now. We don't have all day for this shit. And this is the last place I wanna be at night. Did any of you idiots think to check the basement? Of course not, because the key is still up here. Get your shit together. Okay, here we go. Guys, there's somebody in here! Turn that damn thing off! We're gonna have walkers swarming toward the school! We got somebody in here that don't need to be Find them and kill
motherfucker.
I don't know why he won't die, Jake. The son of a bitch needs to die. Because I'm pissed right now. I have to start all that shit over again, man. You know how scary this crap is? This is scary. Yes, we indeed have 18 hours left. Uh, we're just playing some, uh, just playing some Dying Light, and uh, we're kind of—I'm kind of terrified. I'm kind of pooped a little bit, uh, but we're streaming live, so I can't stop playing, even though there is poop in my pants. Um, yeah, 18 hours left. I wonder if we can finish the game in time. Get in there. I'm supposed to do now. Um, shit. Yeah, no. Uh, go up there. Yeah, there's no fucking vents. I can't, I can't find a vent to climb through. I can't, can't mighty boot a door open. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, here we go. Okay then. I see somebody. Oh shit. Yeah, 
Get him. It's always the thing that's not working. Oh, oh shit. No, you're just making me mad. God damn it! Done. That's how I do it in Brooklyn. All right. Uh, get two more guys down the hallway. I'm right here. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Stereo. That was violent. That was really violent. <laughs> Let's do some inventory management real quick. Yeah, this fisherman's knife can go. Is that my objective? Like, the thing moving around? I guess I gotta kill this guy. Medicine for the good people. For the good innocent people. Here it is. Jade, no luck with any antizin. Looks like we'll have to talk Shit. about that other option. I still have classroom C to search though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there. There we go. That was easy. Oh shit! No oh, time today! Oh fuck! Run! Ah, fuck! What the hell was that? Ah, shit! I don't like this! No! No, we exploded. We'd unblowed up. Oh, damn. Yeah, no, this game is crazy brutal. Oh, shit. 
Hey, JDF, uh, on the YouTube stream, uh, in the chat on the YouTube stream, JDF1217, um, it did not air yet online. However, the Captain America Civil War trailer uh, was premiered at D23, and I have a full report of what happens. Uh, you do see Black Panther uh, extending his claws, and he's in there. You see uh, Red Wing in there, who is a uh, robot drone. You also see uh, Bucky Barnes trapped in a cage. We also see uh, Ant-Man. We see Tony Stark and Steve Rogers having a debate. Without boundaries, we're no better than them. So, um, yeah, there's. we're just waiting for it to come out online. I'm just waiting a little bit longer so that we can actually watch it. It's, it's, it'll only be a little while. I'm pretty certain that it will be released online tonight in typical, uh, typical Marvel fashion. Me and Jake Lionheart are over there on the Twitch chat. And yes, this game is freaking terrifying. This game is really scary. And I am very proud of myself for playing it alone. Uh, it's it's really some nice Except my drop kick is, is ah! some nice shit. Ah! ah, fuck! No! Okay, not today, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god. Taking out our zombie problem. Good. Now we can progress along in this video game. Carefree. Oh, damn. Yeah, right. Whoa! Is way up there right now. Hello? Somebody down here? Hello? Going to the basement. Please don't fuck with me. Ah! Okay, we're good. Oh, it's water. Oh, this is never good. Ah! Oh, fuck! Ah! 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 Oh god. What the fuck, man? I don't like this jump scare bullshit. I'm not about that. Oh my god. And we got fucking killed by another exploder. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about the volume, guys. I mean, it's it this this is really scary. <laughs> this whole basement level. I actually I need to go grab my vape pen right now. I need to go. I need I need nicotine. This is so. This is really fucking scary. I'm glad that you guys are having a good time with me. That you're watching with me over there on on YouTube and Twitch. Oh God. Okay. Here we go again. I need to take a little break. Let's let's look at our inventory for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, load up my tobacco, my tobacco pen, and and just take a, a little break, take a little breather. Cause holy shit, that was tense. Woo! All right, Jake, what do you what do you think about the game, man? You you enjoying it? Is this something you'd play by yourself in the dark? <laughs>
Yeah, I'm just taking a little break here. Don't worry. We're going to start the game back up in a minute. I just... Oh, man. I need a smoke break. I need... I need nicotine. <laughs> Let's see what kind of toys we got in here. We got 12 cigarettes valued at 50 bucks each. So that's about uh, 500... That's about $600 worth of cigarettes. We have a bunch of coffee valued at $100 a piece. That's $500 worth of shit. Hmm. We got this brawler. Improves both damage. Improves both damage and handling to a melee weapon. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. Um, do I have enough six button? I do on this keyboard. Yes. All right. What am I gonna modify? Let's modify the pry bar. No, not you. You. There we go. Confirm the upgrade, yes. Oh my god. So, um, what are some of your favorite scary games? Jake, I remember that you were you were having a conversation with Tiff uh, from... Um, Tiff from Comic Pop. You were talking about uh, uh, Silent Hill, which is one of my personal favorite scary games. Uh, Silent Hill 1 and 2 I've played. I haven't played any other ones, but... I think those are kind of like the standout uh, ones, the important ones that you got to play, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, man. Load up yeah, load up some of this, uh, some of these weapons here. 38. That's terrible. Let's let's switch that out with something that does a lot more damage. Like the not the hook blade. How about this claw claw hammer? Yeah. Club hammer. I like that. Oh, damn. Give me a hand here, would you? Yeah, uh, sure. What's up, Jade? God, Crane, you're such an old. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. All right, seems like we're going to get into a big fight scene. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. What's up, you son of a bitch?
Yeah, where the fuck was she when I was fighting all the monsters? Goddamn useless, man. She wants my help. Unbelievable. Oh, there is no time to get right back in the middle. It's alright, I got this. I got this. I'm a gangster. Yeah, we're gonna take that, because that's a, that's a good weapon right there. Ooh, so is that. Okay. Uh, so what can we get rid of? Why don't we... Dismantle that. Okay. That'll be good. Take that sickle. Loot these fucks. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? This way. This way, this way, this way. Through the red door. Hey, what's going on, Eric? That's uh, Booster Gold, aka Baron Von Comics, over there in the chat. And yes, I am playing Dying Light, and this game is terrifying, man. This shit is scary. It's the scariest part of the game so far. Alright, now it's, it wants me to leave this pool. Now I can finally get the fuck out of here. I'm okay with that. That was really something else, wasn't it? Oh, what the fuck? What the balls is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? I... Alright. That's some next level shit right there. I'm not okay with that. We gotta go. We gotta go right now. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Whoa, right. what the fuck is that? All right, we're gonna beeline our asses back to the tower. I'm done with this shit. I'm going back home. I'm gonna lay in my bed and relax for a little while. Tammy's fast. up with them and kill them. You get a lot of experience for killing these guys. Oh yeah, he's mine. You're mine, motherfucker. You see, when the day comes, when the sun comes up, you're in my house. Motherfucker. Alright, we're gonna leave that. <laughs> You'll probably beat our asses anyway, even though it is daytime. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at him. There he is. Dealing with
you go. Hey, you are, motherfucker. I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Come back. Come here. Woohoo! Oh, oh, fuck. Damn. Alright, you win. Alright, you win. You get away this time. The next time I catch you fucking with my chickens, I'm gonna beat your ass. He's fucking with my chickens again. Got their donkey license revoked. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot hey, what's up, it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Longster, Someone on a wall. person. I've got enough Long trouble fellow. right now, but I'll Good think to see about you again. it. I'm gonna give my vocal cords a little bit of a break, uh, just for a couple minutes, but, uh, yeah, man, we're all here, we're playing the game, we're still rocking and rolling. Um, this is some really plot-heavy stuff that's about to happen, so I'm just gonna shut up and let the plot play out, and let you hear the dialogue of that stuff. It'll give me a good op uh, good opportunity to drink a little bit of tea, drink some water, and hydrate my vocal cords. We have 18 hours and 27 minutes ago in our live stream, I hope you're enjoying it thus far, uh, Owen likes comics will be joining us later on as well as jake lionheart and eric and the whole team they're going to be jumping on and off uh, earlier we were joined by baron von comics and we'll be joined by more special guests as the evening and the day goes on so i'll talk to you in a little bit enjoy the show There's a lot to be done around the tower. Hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Hey, you've got my glasses and the book? Ah, that's great! Good lord, my glasses are filthy! What have you been doing with them? No, 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 never mind. It, it doesn't matter. Here, let me give you something for your trouble. Dude, this guy just gave us a thousand dollars cash.
Ukraine. Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go. And now it's possible, but, but if it gets but done, I'm doing it on my own. It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lena. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Good work taking out that Antizin lab. You've saved a lot of lives. Now it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. The danger is all those empty Antizin bottles out there. People throw them away, and then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. You better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? Hm. Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her, because of her voodoo hocus-pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched, at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. I saw some people in this school. Gotta wonder what they were doing there.
is one of my favorite bits about the game, the whole modification and the blueprint screen and stuff like that. I really like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> to be totally honest, like, I kind of wish that uh, there was a little bit more customization. Like, you have to find the blueprint, and you can build these items, but you, you know, you can only really choose, like, what things you put in the item slots and, like, you know, what power you're going to put on it, like, what we're going to build the blueprint out of. So, in a way, it kind of behaves like Dead Island, which was a really good uh, Xbox game, Xbox 360 game, and they recently put out uh, a sequel, Riptide. Um, but, you know, the game got really old really fast. Uh, this one seems to get more interesting as it goes along, which is really cool. But I do wish, like I said, that the crafting system was a little bit more expanded. Apparently, there is supposed to be some DLC coming out, or at least a, uh, uh, you know, a half sequel. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, um, you know, I, I want to be able to build weapons from the ground up, kind of like they're doing what they're doing with Fallout 4, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully, we get to talk about that relatively soon as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue playing this and building shit and killing things. Talk to me. Let me know what you're thinking in the chat. Let me know what you want to talk about. Let me know what you want to see in the future. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for our Civil War coverage. No, not, not the one from the 1800s. We're talking about the, the Marvel movie. Yeah, that one. I have not yet played Fallout Shelter. I've really been meaning to. I'm so excited for uh, Fallout and Fallout Shelter that, like, I'm shitting bricks practically. But no, I actually, I haven't downloaded it yet. I know it's been out for a couple days, too. I've been really into this game, uh, Dying Light, and I wanted to do the 24-hour stream today. Uh, ever since we got, you know, our 24-hour ban on Twitch, I'm trying to make up for it with, you know, 24 hours of... Oh. You know, programming, in, in my way of saying, uh, fuck the man. Even though I'm really grateful for Twitch, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I probably wouldn't know a lot of you awesome people that I know today, um, that I'm talking to right now on YouTube and on Twitch simultaneously, uh, if it weren't for Twitch. So I appreciate that. But yeah, this is our way of saying, yeah, fuck the man. We're gonna, we're gonna broadcast for 24 hours. We're gonna broadcast for as long as, uh, we were banned. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, but yeah, no, I haven't played Fallout Shelter. I'm really excited for it. I've watched uh, some playthroughs of it because that's what I do when I can't get a game and I can't play a game. I just I watch other people play it on the internet, much like what you're doing right now. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for it. Tell me, what, what's really cool about it? What should I look out for uh, regarding Fallout Shelter? What are some, some tips and tricks that you guys and gals can give me? Let me know.
What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. How can I assist you? Okie talkies work much better. I wonder what happened. Bolters. Bolters appear at night and can be found at their feeding grounds, marked on the map. If you hunt for them, be extra careful. They're easy to scare and they run very fast. Bolters' feeding grounds are usually protected by volatiles. Use firecrackers to distract them. Great. Great. This sounds... This sounds like a fucking blast. This sounds like a good... Good, fucking wholesome, and safe time. Wonderful. Craig, you there? Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the fair station helping Morgan prep the barge. Strangest thing, he said he got shaken down by some young man who sounded an awful lot like you. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I, I, I gotta run. I'll talk to you later, Spike. Yeah, that, that was moderately inconspicuous. Whenever you're guilty of something and uh, someone asks you if you know about it, you're trying to deny it because you're a dishonest person. Not to promote being dishonest, but... Definitely don't fucking answer like that. That's stupid. You gotta be like, oh, yeah, listen, I had to do some double agent type shit. Um, you know, some sort of Robin Hood type thing. Basically, I had to make a deal with, uh, with Rise, Raze, whatever he wants to be called, whatever day of the week he likes to be called it on. Uh, had to do some, some tasks for him in order to give your people, you know, the medicine that keeps them from becoming zombies. So... You should excuse that, and I should be allowed to be honest about that, because, you know, I'm doing my fucking best. As a matter of fact, I'm actually outdoors right now, and I'm waiting until night so I can take some skin off a bolter, you dick. You really gonna shake me down? What an asshole. I was finished. Thank you, my friend.
money, 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 money. Yeah, baby, we're rolling in it now. Um, just trying to kill some time until nighttime, so that way we can get some, ow, get some skin off a of bolter. Because apparently bolter skin is where it's at, dude. You want a fucking good time, you get yourself some bolter skin, you get yourself a fucking electrified crowbar, and you have yourself a merry good time. Later, Jake.
JDF, to answer your question, I didn't actually see it there because I was in some serious, uh, serious, serious zombie action. Welcome back, Longtar. Um, I have not heard any graphic audios, uh, DC and Marvel audiobooks. Uh, didn't know that existed. That sounds pretty cool. I know that they did something similar to, uh, to that with The Watchmen, uh, and that was a really good thing. I, I really like that. I do love audiobooks. Haven't listened to an audiobook in a, in a hot minute. Um, you know, having having doing this uh, this comic book show, I find myself reading a hell of a lot more comics than I have in a, in a very very long time. But yeah, we're just we're I'm taking a short break here. We're gonna give uh, Eric uh, Baron von Comics a call. He he gave us a call before, so we're gonna go give him a call. Uh, but I'm just gonna take a short minute to uh, take a breather and stretch out the limbs. You know, just kind of stretch out a little bit. I've been sitting most of the day. And I think I'm going to change my environment. I might go and sit in the office at the chair. I'm not really sure. So, uh, yeah, just give us a minute and uh, please enjoy the music. Yes, that's right, music. Uh, this is, what, what group are we going to listen to? We're going to listen to Johnny Carbonaris. Good old Johnny Carbonaris. Our friends all the way from Greece let us use their music in our broadcast. Uh, that's usually all this cool surf rock that you listen to on the show it comes from johnny carbonara so here we go with uh with their self-titled album the awesome track hiastos i hope you like it uh, i'll be back in just a few minutes please enjoy
Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and sentient robots. We are just about ready for the next segment. I have just set up the, uh, let's see, I've just set up the steering wheel. Uh, we are ready to launch the next game. I think we're going to play uh, Dying Light just for a little bit longer. And we'll close out, uh, we'll close out 8 o'clock with Dying Light and then we'll get into Grand Theft Auto. We're going to do some driving with the steering wheel. We're going to talk to our buddy. Uh, Eric Baron von Comics. Uh, we got a bunch of different GTA games. I think we're going to play a little bit of them all uh, with the steering wheel setup. And we're going to be talking about like, Civil War. We'll be talking about some comic books. We'll be talking about comic book movies. We'll be talking about video games. It'll be quite, quite interesting. So please enjoy the awesome sounds of Johnny Carbonaris. Well, it's almost ready. The horse is just about to move into that starting gate. The weather is perfect, and we're just waiting for a fine horse race. <laughs> I asked you what your predictions were for Batman versus Superman 
and the decision is unanimous. Muhammad Ali is the winner. Who do you think is the unknown threat that's coming in the Batman vs. Superman film? Is it Doomsday? Is it Bizarro? Bizarro! Bizarro! Or is it... <gasps> Aquaman? I want you guys to vote. What is the worst, and I mean the worst comic book movie of all time? Is it Catwoman? Is it Green Lantern? Is it Batman and Robin? You decide. Let us know over there in the chat, either in Twitch, TV slash Golden Vision, or YouTube.com slash Golden Vision slash Live, whatever the, whatever the hell the Golden Vision Live channel is. Go there and let us know what you think. At about 9.30, we're going to be showing a video, which I've done a little while ago, but it's, it's something that we're going to talk about later in the evening, the state of the MCU Infinity Stones. That's right. We're going to go ahead and watch the awesome video. Now, I'm not calling it awesome personally. Other people have called it awesome. There is there's probably about 1,800 views on it, something like that. We're going to show it to you guys. And you decide what's up with the Infinity Stones. We're going to review it. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to think. We're going to put our heads, like, in in a vice and just squeeze out all of that brainy goodness 
and figure out what is going to happen with the Infinity Stones. We've been told that Thor Ragnarok is supposed to be the big deal, right? Thor Ragnarok is where everything goes down. We see something happening. It's supposed to be the most important movie leading up to uh, leading up to Infinity War. So we'll see. We'll see. We're going to lay our speculations there down on the line. We're going to be taking bets. Whoever wins gets the pot. That's right. <laughs> so about 9.30, we're going to show that. In about five minutes, I'm going to be giving Baron Von Comics a call. He's there in the chat right now on uh, YouTube. He's Baron Von Comic Network. And on Twitch, he's Baron Von Comics, all one word. Um, he, as far as uh, his Batman versus Superman predictions go, he's, uh, he's voting Muhammad Ali. He's putting all his money on Muhammad Ali. And I think he might be right. I think he's going he's gonna to whip, whip everybody's ass. I just had a brilliant idea. Uh, first person to tweet me uh, at Goldman Vision, hashtag uh, let me on the fucking show. That's hashtag let me on the fucking show. We'll be on the show for about, uh, you know, five, ten minutes. We'll have a little chat. We'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. If you want to plug something, you can plug something. Remember, you have to just, all you have to do is tweet me at Golden Vision, hashtag let me on the fucking show, and you're on the show. Skype in talk to us maybe you do google hangouts maybe you do facebook chat whatever it is we will talk to you once again send us a tweet at golden vision hashtag let me on the fucking show uh aaron bess over there in the chat hello sir how you doing good to see you again it beats civil war but not without a good fight batman versus superman going up against civil war we know that uh, the, the film was actually slated to come out pretty recently, uh, Batman vs. Superman. It was supposed to come out, like, last week, and they put it off for whatever reason. Uh, now it's it's definitely not in competition, uh, or now it, is, it will be in competition with Batman vs. Superman Civil War. Uh, what do you think is going to be the bigger box office draw? Do you think that Civil War is going to make more money, or is it going to be Batman vs. Superman? I know where my money is. I want you guys to vote. Let me know. Don't forget, send me a tweet. At Golden Vision, I'm not gonna say the hashtag again. Not, not gonna do it.
Вот и сказочки конец. А кто слушал, молодец. И я там был, мед пиво пил. А у сам текло, а в рот не попало. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, sentient robots. We're about to give Eric a call, as promised. If we can find him. There we go. Let's give him a shout. Let's see what he's up to. Eric? What's up? Eric? What? <laughs> What's going on, man? Not much, not much. So have you, have you heard about the uh, Civil War trailer? Have you read about it yet? No. Well, I kind of want to watch it instead of reading about it. I kind of want to be, I want to live in that moment where I see it for the first time instead of having it a little spoiled. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's amazing how difficult it is to uh, avoid spoilers nowadays. But then at the same time, it's like, you know, are we doing our job if we, you know, we're, we're not allowed to enjoy shit if we do our yeah. job properly, you know what I mean? I, I did get to read all the Doctor Strange things, though, so. There's a, there's a Doctor Strange thing going on? Yeah, they they put out some promo art. They put out uh, some little 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 tidbits well, about that. Uh, I'll be damned. Yeah, I saw, I saw that, and I saw the Civil War. I was like, what do I want to click first? I was like, Doctor Strange. <laughs> I, lo I, I love Doctor Strange, so it's amazing that this movie's got even made. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, from what I hear, it's going to be a really cool film. It's going to be all psychedelic. You know, yeah. it's been compared to, uh, to what is it, uh, Fantasia, you know? Like, it just, it sounds like it's going to be friggin' insanity. It sounds like it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Because the tagline to the article is, um, <laughs> girls, explosions, and uh, multiple universes. <laughs> sold. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm uh, so You know, I'm actually, uh, I'm really interested to see, uh, what, what's the actress? Tilda Swinton. I'm really interested to see what she's going to do with this role. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big Benedict Cumberbatch fan, so... I don't know. I feel like he can do no wrong. A lot of people disagree with that, but... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> essentially, he's supposed to be an American, so I understand some people have criticisms about that. You know, he's supposed to be, like, this cocky American dude, but... You know, he can still be a cocky British dude just the same, and it doesn't really change the mu that much about the character. You know what I'm saying? 
Exactly. Isn't Andrew Garfield knighted a teenager and uh, British? Yeah, he's, he's in his like, <laughs> mid-30s, and he did just fine. So, Considered yeah. the best Spider-Man, as a matter of fact. And there's been many incarnations. You realize how many different people have played Spider-Man when, once you include like the animated stuff, too? A lot of people. Oh, shit. A lot of people. Because we have, we have at least three from the 70s, one of them Japanese. Yeah, we have then like the the knockoff films, like that Turkish film that um, <laughs> that Owen loves. <laughs> that Owen loves so much. Owen loves knockoff Spider-Man films. That's what <laughs> changes channel too. Can you blame him? Really though. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just talking earlier about how like I just have a soft spot for like shitty movies. You know, you have to appreciate shitty movies as well. I enjoy shitty movies, but when movies are men are trying not to be shitty that's when i draw the line mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like for example fantastic four <laughs> yeah i don't know if anybody goes into a picture though and this has been said many times before but i don't know if anybody goes into a movie saying like yo let's make the worst fucking movie we can make and i'm the people that do say that we're gonna make the worst movie we can fucking make it ends up being Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I, I feel like that's Kevin Smith's uh, ideology on oh, yeah. movies. It's Just like, one second, Eric. Uh, let us know in the chat uh, how, how the audio levels are doing, because I'm, I'm still playing Dying Light, but I'm also talking to Eric. I want to make sure everybody can hear us okay. But go ahead, Eric. What, what were you saying? I feel like Kenny, Kevin Smith has that ide ideology, uh -huh. where it's not like, okay, I'm not going to be making Citizen Kane here, so let's have a good time, you know? And, you know... It's going to be a shitty movie, but let's try to make the best shitty movie we can make. Right, right. As long as you're self-aware, you know, you know what you're doing. Like, I think there was at least one time in Clerks, the original black and white Clerks, where, um, where they look into the camera at yeah. one point. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that happens at least once. It at definitely happens once. in Chasing Amy. Or, no, 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 it happens in Jay and Silent Bob more than once. But uh, with one of the characters from Chasing Amy. Uh, ben yeah. Affleck, actually. Batfleck. Oh, no, that's the that's not Ben Affleck. That's the manager of Fashionable Males. <laughs> no, 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 no. He was fired and arrested. <laughs> that's right. He went directly to jail. Uh, so you were talking about uh, not Banky. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's the? He's not the anchor. No, he's like the artist, and then there's the anchor, which is kind of funny because that if if you didn't like Chasing Amy, which a lot of people didn't. But if you didn't like Chasing Amy, there's at least one thing that you have to appreciate in it. And so the fact that they bring attention to, to uh, you know, that there, there's illustrators and then there's inkers. There's pencil guys <laughs> that draw the shit, that sketch it out, and then there's inkers. And the inkers are also important, but get yeah. no recognition. <laughs> I know. I know. It, it, it's really cool. It's really like this crazy movie that kind of breaks the wall of comics. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean they were they were talk they they went to cons, you know, they were doing conventions and that and shit. They were they had like little sit downs and meetups and, you know, signings and shit, which is really interesting, but uh I don't I feel like no one ever sees Chasing Amy as that type of film. It's like, "Oh, it's a it's a love story. A guy falls in love with a lesbian." Oh, boo hoo. It's like, a lesbian movie, right? So much more than that. <laughs> so much more. So oh, much more. Yeah, man. Ben fucking Affleck, Phantasms, Chasing Amy. Look where he is. He's no, no, no. Uh, Phantoms, Phantoms. 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 Yeah. He's he's fucking Batman now. That's insane. Yeah. And it's fucked up because like, he's he's probably like in his mid mid to late forties, right? Yeah. Like he's in the best fucking shape of his life. I can tell <laughs> he you. He looks like a I... shrimp when he was a kid compared to now. You know. In fifteen years, I'm not gonna look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Not happening. Oh my god. So I'm I'm feeling that D23 is taking over as new Comic Con type deal. It's it's a it's just another convention. You know the the bottom line is that Comic Con is too small, and uh, a lot of people have been complaining about uh, the fact that they just don't have enough space. That they're not opening it up. Like, do you remember like when you lived in New York? Did you go to like some of the first New York Comic Cons? Uh, the earliest one I went to was like 2007. Yeah, that's like that's a year after it started, dude. Yeah. So that's like super early, but you remember like it was not as big as it was now. 
Oh my like, god! Like it was like one floor, and it was like there was just a few banners, and like it was just shitty lighting. Like yeah. it just didn't and, have the, you know, and the most presentation of it was blocked that you have off, now too. It was like, this is for you, and we're having another event in half an hour, or so. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you guys get. We're gonna pack you in and then cut you off early. Yep. Yep. And now it's just you know. It's fucking Dude. days long, and it's multiple floors, and you have huge vendors, and uh, it's just, it's fucking crazy. You it, know? it is crazy. It's ridiculous in size. Uh, you know, people, I don't think people understand that. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it wasn't always like this. And when you look at San Diego Comic Con, you know, it's not really expanding in the way that New York Comic Con did. They understood that, okay. We have the Jacob Javits Center, okay? Yeah. We can pack this shit for three fucking days. Four so let's days. let's open it up. Let's let's build some extra shit outside. Let's let's really make this big. Let's, let's make it into up. It's like a New York experience. Yeah, yeah. They have the uh, the Walking Dead run that same week. Oh really? Yeah. That it's was been a while. I like yeah. I went last last year, and it was like the Walking Dead run was like that Saturday, like that Saturday morning, and then you yeah. just see a bunch of people. It was like it's it was like a it's a it's a mini mini marathon, and then you see all these people, like <laughs> just all zombies walking in together. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best thing about cons, just seeing a bunch of weirdos walking around in fucking costumes, you know. Like I was, I was on um, Kevin Smith's website. Apparently, um, our buddy Sal and the Comic Pop Gang they managed to get on uh, one of those uh, Smodcast podcasts. Uh, that's fucking made awesome! I'm really they happy for them. They made it. Yeah, they fucking made it, dude. <laughs> so anyway, I'm on their on their website and I'm checking out some some of their stuff. Da 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 da. I'm like, you know, I've been uh, I've been checking out a lot of their stuff ever since I discovered that Josh Trank did an interview on Fat Man on Batman. Kevin Smith, Josh Trank, one room, two microphones. It's an amazing interview. Like, it will change your perspective of, like, what happened with Josh Trank. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm looking at it, and they have, like, a, a picture of them. It's, like, a promotional photo. It's the comic book men, and they're answering questions at Comic-Con. And it's just, like, all these superheroes, like, raising their hands and, like, trying to, like, <laughs> squash each other and shit. And, like, stand on top of each other to answer questions. And that's got to be insanity, like... To be an actor, right? Um, buddy of mine is an actor. Yeah. Could very one, uh, very well one day end up there. Type of shit that he's doing, right? Yeah. Couldn't imagine being an actor who's in a movie, right? You wear a costume for like 23 days to 30 days. It's it's a short shoot usually with these types of things. You know, total, you're only, you're only on set doing that type of stuff for that long. Yeah. And uh, you go to Comic-Con. And you have 30 Supermen asking you what it's like to be Superman. <laughs> you have 50 Batmen asking you, yep. you know, hey, are you going to, what do you think about Harley Quinn in issue 58 of like, um, why is Why is your suit a little uh, grayer than the suit in Dark <laughs> Um It's a, it's a kind of an off gray and it's not exactly <laughs> the same color, but uh, what's, what are you going for? Yeah. You know, I actually wonder if they, uh, do they, like, vet people? Do they go through and ask people, like, oh, okay, what's your question? Or, like, you know, do they have pre-selected oh, you know, no. questions it's or something first, like that? It's first come, first serve, the oh, craziest. It's amazing. Because <laughs> uh, I was watching, uh, not, uh, it was Nerd HQ, E3, and there was this woman that jumped on there just fucking asking the, this, it wasn't even really a, a question as much as, like, just a statement you know, a uh, proclamation, uh, a declaration of love for the host, you know, and just like, you guys have gotten me through everything, and, and luckily I've lost 20 pounds, but I'm going to lose more, and like, just, oh, shit, oh, no, oh, take um, the mic, oh, I'm happy for you, lady, but, you know, share that with your family. <laughs> I just play Arrow, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did they tell you that I got fucking I got embarrassed by uh, by Steve Amell? Oh no, that, that's great. <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah because like what I do is like I go on like live shows and stuff like that, and um, you know, oftentimes the the chat um, 
you know, they're asking questions and the hosts are not answering the questions as fast as, as they can, and, you yeah. know, or as, as they, as, as they're being, as they come so, in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they come in rather. So like I try to help out and, you know, I give times, especially if there's a live show, I'm like, yeah, it'll be on in 30 minutes. They just did this thing, blah, blah, blah. This person's coming up next. So on the nerd HQ thing, uh, that was outside of, uh, San Diego <sighs> comic-con, um, <laughs> Fucking, they're about to have Steve Amell, and this guy comes on, on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. His name on YouTube is Steve Amell. And everybody starts bugging the fuck out. And I'm just like, yo, you realize that Elijah Wood is on right now, and this guy is, like, catfishing the shit out of you, right? <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, catfishing means that, like, you have a picture up on a, on a social media profile, and you pretend to be somebody else. I don't promote many MTV shows, but watch Catfish. It's the greatest show ever. <laughs> so anyway, I'm saying like, yeah, this motherfucker Steve Amell, he's not really Steve Amell. He's catfishing you. All of you are jokers. And yeah. He's like, oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a fucking joke. He goes on Twitter. It takes a picture of himself holding a sign saying, yes, I'm on YouTube right now, asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> excellent. Luckily, he didn't name me, which was pretty cool. But yeah, I, I meant well. I was just trying to defend the honest people from getting catfished. Yeah. Because yeah. next thing you know, it's like, yeah, join a private chat with me. I'm Steve Amell. Give me your credit card number so I can fucking wire you some money. Like, you know, because that shit really I'm, does happen. I'm the prince of Nigeria. Yeah. I have a <laughs> for you to cash for me. Enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, how is Arrow? Do you watch Arrow? Have you have you checked any of that out? I'm a big fan of Arrow. I, it, It's weird because... I understand, like, last season was kind of lame, and I'm going to probably get bashed for this, but it was kind of lame. Because, a lot of people said that. But it's, like, I was watching an interview with uh, Stephen Amell and the creator, mm -hmm. and they were saying they were supposed to do this big Suicide Squad arc, and it was supposed to be the whole season long, and it was supposed to, you know, Harley Quinn and all these names, and DC uh, ripped out the Suicide Squad because of the movie. That's what always happens to these television shows. I would never want to do a television show based on a comic property or something that's going to be a movie property because yeah. like, that's what always happens. And yeah, so it was they, they planned out this whole big Suicide Squad arc, and like last minute, it was like, oh, you guys can't do that. We're gonna make a movie. Uh, you gotta kind of figure out something. Thanks, and, jerk offs. <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> And it ended up being the Raza Ghoul, which it was kind of cool. Um, but it may, but you get people who compare Arrow to uh, Batman, like the Batman show we want, instead uh, of Gotham. Not that, uh, so it just kind of ingrained it, like, oh, it's more like Batman because of Raza Ghoul. Right. So I, 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 I kind of gave a free pass to that last season. It was good enough. Um, to keep my interest into the show, but... I really felt like some of those sword fights, like, it's funny, because we were talking about Hercules and Xena earlier. Some of the sword fights that I saw in Arrow felt very much like that. Yeah. Am I wrong? It did. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> it really did. Oh, we're hitting a video game plot point here. Let's see. Red's all I had left. Anyway, you here, so I did the job. Give this envelope to Aziz at the bazaar. Blah blah blah. Give this envelope to this guy. Okay, no problem. There's <laughs> <sighs> all these fucking fetch me missions, you know. I wanna, I wanna do something cool. I wanna like blow up the hive, you know, like cool crazy shit. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we were talking uh, Arrow. Some of the fights seemed like they were straight out of Hercules, but uh, Ra's al Ghul, good villain, bad villain? Because Marvel is always uh, criticized for not having decent villains. However, DC, not so much. Not so much. Because every villain's a major villain in DC. Mm. Because how many times are you can have the Justice League fight Dark Side? Yeah. Now they have to superpower the Joker with, you know, Bane Toxin or everyone's oh, everyone's superpowered in the DC universe. That's what I feel. Even Scarecrow, if you guys played the recent Arkham game. He's like yeah. the super, super villain. Like normally, you know, half hour TV show, Batman can take him down. Yeah. He has Scooby Doo take off his mask. He's that fucking silly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I mentioned earlier the whole Riddler thing. Riddler's a joke. He's a joke villain. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? Honestly, one of my favorite episodes of the animated series featured the Riddler. 
which is when the Robin was stuck in that game. Video game? Oh, Dude, yeah. that was so awesome, man. The art style, the music, the... Oh, man, it was, it was a really cool episode. But at the same time, it really was a novelty episode. Not necessarily a joke episode, but like a novelty, you know? It is. And yeah. the only time... That's, that's probably the only time the Riddler really got one over on Batman because he trapped him inside a video game. Yeah. Oh, no! Minotaurs! My only weakness. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, Riddler wants to be cat caught, and it's kind of weird. And they write him very weak. Yeah. And, like, that whole Hush, if you've read Hush? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Like, he knows Batman's identity. And he's like, well, then it wouldn't be a riddle. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm not going to tell anyone now. <laughs> you got me, Batman. Wow. Yeah. Really? This is Sorry, a crazy... I'm, I'm trying, I was trying to escape some zombies here. Trying to progress along. The show has to has to have something going. You can't just be two jerk offs talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some, you know, some fucking, you know, someone dancing, some some sparklers on their head, you know. This is a crazy game. Yeah. No, it's it's uh, spooky as hell, man. I was playing with uh, Jake was watching before. Uh, we were we were talking and like, yeah, man, it's it's terrifying, man. You get in some of these dark places and. Zombies are coming out of nowhere, and there's some scripted elements. You don't know when shit's gonna happen, but I really do like the parkour elements. It's kind of like Mirror's Edge with zombies, yeah. you know. Yeah, there are. Uh, there's actually another mode of this. It's a multiplayer mode. Oh really? Uh, yeah, which you should never play multiplayer games while you're streaming live. Never, ever, ever <laughs> do that. Ever. That's a but, big uh, no-no. That's a big, big no-no. Oh, Jake's still watching. Cool. So, um. Yeah, no, no, it's <laughs> there's a game mode where you play one of these like creeper zombies, like with the guys that uh, that have these mouths that open up, you know, tendrils and shit, and they can yeah. actually shoot and swing along buildings. And the gameplay, I swear, man, it makes me want a Spider-Man game in first person. It was actually an Xbox game a long time ago uh, for the original Xbox, Spider-Man the movie game, where you can okay. unlock first person mode and uh, swing around to Spider-Man. Ah, oh, really fun, man. I never get. I never get far. I get never get far enough games to unlock stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a hundred percent completion guy. Honestly, yeah. I don't. I don't have time for that shit. I play the story through. Maybe I'll do some side quests so I can get the big special gun. Yeah. You know. Oh, I just leveled up. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't really do the whole like you know hundred percent thing. Like I. I think the only game I ever hundred percented was uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City. What? That's. Crazy. City. Or Vice City. The Vice City, I'm sorry. Yeah. Vice City? Yeah. I don't think I've ever even broke, like, 10% on a Grand Theft Auto game. Yeah. Well, I technically, kinda... I had help. Like, my cousins came over a lot, <laughs> and they played it as well, so I had their help. When I fell asleep, they'd keep playing. They'd so keep there's playing. that, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I get so, like, side... So, like, ADD on... Uh, the, the, those games, like, oh, I'm just gonna drive around. I'm gonna just run into people. Then you yeah. get shot or get caught by the police. I'm like, ah, I don't want to play anymore. Then you just play. Oh, I'm just gonna drive around and steal cars. Never, never, never. If don't finish missions in that game, I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I ever finished. Uh, actually, no, I did. I, I finished um, Grand Theft Auto 4. Like, I finished the stories, but I just don't care to go and do all the side missions for all the people. Like, There's I'm kind of with of you. Like, I, I unlock just enough to get cool shit. Unlock Not... a suit. Unlock a car. Unlock yeah. a bazooka. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm cheat code guy. I'm like, yeah, Cheat fine. code guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to forget the cheat codes. Yeah. Like the, I, I bought uh, Arkham City late. I got, like, the, um, the complete edition, like, when that came out. Yeah. So, I was like, oh. I want all the suits. Just went online, got all the suits. I was like, okay, I don't have to really beat it now. I'm right. just gonna fly around Gotham City. Oh, shit. Yeah, what systems are you playing on? What, what uh, do you have? Right now, Xbox One and PS4. Oh, so you're yeah, you're next gen guy. You're, next you're gen guy. Yeah. What do you? What would you assume is better from uh, from having both? Right now, do you do you like uh, Xbox One or are you digging uh, PS4 a little bit better? I'm liking PS4 a little better. Uh, Xbox One's 
tried too hard to be like, oh, we're a multi-platform. We can control your TV. We control your volume. We control everything. All right. But we're not going to have super HD games or <laughs> right. have an expanded library or... So I kind of they kind of dropped the ball on that, but I, I like PS4. Even though I'm, I I love my favorite system of like the next like the newer newer consoles is got to be the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. I, I love the 360. Yeah, it's such a versatile system. I mean, I still use it at home right now. Yeah. Um, I don't even really play games on it. I actually just use it to run YouTube. Like I I can uh, punch in a YouTube. Uh, yeah. video on my phone and have it stream to my TV. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much what I use it for. I use it for like Netflix and shit like that because I'm more of a PC gamer now. But I mean, all these years later, we're talking about that. That system came out in what, 2007? Yeah. Yeah, like, right. damn, dude. <laughs> no, nothing beats, nothing will beat the Super Nintendo. I'm a Super Nintendo guy. I love Super Nintendo so um, much. Yeah, Super Nintendo had a really great library of games. Personally, I liked uh, the Sega. Uh, Sega. Because the, the Sega had this sound chip that, uh, uh, the, the reason that um, Moonwalker came out for Sega and not SNES is because of the sound chip that was on okay. Sega. It had a really cool kind of like distortion and echo kind of thing. It had multiple effects that yeah. it could process at the same time. So you get these really funky sounds and, and really cool soundtracks and shit like that. That's what I really dug from the Sega. But other than that, I mean, the SNES has it beat on graphics. It has it beat on games library. It has it beat on controller design. In every fucking aspect, SNES <laughs> is the king. I, I, made the, I made the choice to get a Sega Saturn after getting the um, SNES. And it was a weird decision because, like, it didn't have many games. Mm. And it didn't... It, the library was actually kind of horrible, but the cutscenes, oh, yeah. like the cinematic value of the each game, was way better than anything you've seen to that point. Yeah, it and was just kind of they had live action cutscenes and a lot of stuff, and a lot of like actors in it too. Yeah, like, Mark Hamill was in one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see. that's another thing, guys. Like, if you haven't checked out any of Mark Hamill's other work, Mark Hamill is. He's the Joker, and yes, he's Luke Skywalker. But he's also done a lot of other shit, mostly voice acting stuff in video games, like in the uh, in the Wing Commander series. Yeah, uh, just a ton of really awesome stuff. Definitely go check it out. He's a great voice actor. Yeah, very. A lot of people don't know that. No. Just, that's that's where you should. Did you did you see the new uh, photo of Luke Skywalker in a uh, Entertainment Weekly? Unfortunately, yeah. Because, yeah. like, we weren't supposed to see that. There was supposed, like, you know, it was totally ominous. You didn't know whether or not Luke was going to be good or bad. And now it's he's definitively good. He's wearing the fucking Jedi robes, you know? Yeah, he's wearing the Jedi robes. So, like, it's just, I, I don't know. Do you think he's going to be in a large portion of the film? Or do you think they're going to they're gonna fucking put him in the last five minutes like everyone's speculating? I think he'll be in a good 20 minutes of the film, 15 minutes of the film. Just is he going to fight the big bad, or is he just going to appear and say, Hi, I'm Luke. <laughs> I, I what's feel up, like guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? I feel like you're gonna, he's going to have like a little uh, kind of catch up in the beginning. Hmm. And then um, he's going to show up to kind of help save the day at the end with uh, Mr. And Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Solo. Yeah, my, my bet is that, you know, Han Solo is going to be in a, in a large portion of the movie film. He's going to be our, like, you know, our Obi-Wan character, essentially, in this film. And then once they get up to Luke Skywalker, he's going to have, like, you know, he's going to have the big finish. He, yeah. You know, the shit's going to start rumbling and, like, rocks are crushing stormtroopers and shit. And everyone's trying to figure out what's going on. And boom, it's Luke Skywalker. You're going to see a big, massive stormtroopers get pushed aside and it's going to be like, what's going on? Like, there he is. Yeah. He throws an X-Wing at him, is what he does. He finally <laughs> figured out how to pick up an X-Wing. X-Wing. <laughs> Yoda would be so proud, finally. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Drake Drago? Draco. Drake Draco. There we go. That's how you say your name. Oh, I've been killed. Damn. <laughs> but, um, oh, man. I am parched. I am I'm, so thirsty. I need to drink I'm, some water. 
it, Star Wars is one of the few films I'm super excited about this year. Super excited about. It. I can't. I can't believe it comes out this year, Eric. It com- it's coming out this year, dude. I know. Can you I've, fucking believe it? <laughs> like this film had like so much impact on me growing up. Like I've always watched these films. Yeah. Like just the thought of like the original, like most of the original cast coming back to do a new movie. Yeah. Is like mind bending. Oh, I mean, you know, the whole cast is coming back. Like you know, we don't. Lando's not there yet, but you know he will be. He's gonna be. We've already he's seen gonna... seen fucking uh, what's his name? Nibyub. Yeah. Nian Nian Yub. I forget his name, yeah. but he's he's the weird. Um, he looks like he, he, you know, he's got gills in his face kind of. Yeah. Guy. He was on the Falcon. He's back. So if they have him back and they have fucking dude, they have Admiral Akbar. He's back. It's a trap. It is, it's it's a trap. It is a trap because Luke Skywalker's not gonna be in this fucking movie. <laughs> There's gonna be so many people like, ah, oh, I can't believe this shit. Cause you know, you know that people need to have at least one criticism, one major criticism about the film, right? Yeah. Like some some asshole just has to shit on it. Has to shit on it. There's always there's always people who like to shit on movies. I like to shit on movies. <laughs> I like to shit on movies, but I mean, like, at least your your opinion is worth a damn. Like, I wouldn't have you on the show if you shit on movies that just didn't to shit on, deser- just to shit on movies. I don't shit. Yeah, on movies that didn't deserve to, to be shit, shit on. on. <laughs> like, I can't believe I sat through that whole Fantastic Four, man. Like, oh my god. Like, people, like people. It's really true how bad it is. Yeah. Like, it's like watching. It's like watching just a. First, it's like reading a first chapter of a book, and that's it, and th- and then skipping to chapter thirty to end the book. Yeah. Out of nowhere, like you'll be reading in mid page chapter thirty, like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other twenty nine chapters? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a familiar feeling. You know, I, I you know I, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but you know who, who I feel is like really drastically overrated. Who? Oh. Stephen King, I love I love Stephen King in in regards to like what he's done for the world, you know. Because I realize that a lot of films wouldn't have been made without Stephen King. A lot of uh, directors, a lot of writers wouldn't have been inspired by Stephen King. Therefore, wouldn't have created all these different things and like, these yeah. projects. But Stephen King, I uh, maybe I just haven't read the right books. But from what I've read, near the endings, it just kind of always falls apart. And like it just wraps up a little bit too nicely or just too, too nice suddenly, thing. you know, like the like Dreamcatcher. That was a fucking crazy book, man. And he's like stabbing his eyeball with the fucking pen in the car and stuff. <laughs> really crazy scenes. But then at the end, you know, just it's over. Oh, yeah. Tied in a nice bow. All set. Next yeah. book. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, no, uh, that's uh, Jake is saying. You know, he's cool. It's blasphemy. No, I agree, dude. That motherfucker is cool. I wish, I wish I could do what Stephen King could do, you know? Because I'll definitely trade like thirty awesome trap chapters for you know, for that one shitty ending. One shitty ending. Yeah, yeah. I don't. You know, whatever. I can. I, I. I'm comfortable with taking things as they come and appreciating like what's good in things. You know. It's very weird. Stephen King's had a weird career. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. He's awesome. And, like, I'm from New York, but I'm a big New England sports fan. Mm-hmm. So I find, I, you know, I, I, I respect him. He's he's a great writer. You can't deny that he's a good writer. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things that will not, would not, would not have happened if he didn't write all these books. Exactly. Yeah. But... He's, he's, some of those books end really weird. <laughs> it makes you like one, like not like a good weird where you're like, oh, he got me. Just yeah. like, what the f is he thinking? Something. Yeah, like there's this other book where like the there's a cellular signal or like a, a the signal that drives people fucking crazy. Yeah. That was another one that just ended like, what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? F are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. He's a, he's 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 an interesting guy. He's like he's like I feel like he's kind of like Stanley, in the fact that you know, 
He's 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 done more good than Can bad. The fact that he's a fucking thief. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting to that point. Like, is that, <laughs> that enough good things where you're kind of like, okay, he gets a pass because he's Stanley or he's Stephen King. It's one of those one of these few people that like, okay, he can have his you know questionable moments and oh maybe he didn't create all of this, but you know what, we'll give him credit anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta give, yeah, you gotta give him a pass, you know. Yeah, he's much one of these few people who just gets a pass. <laughs> like J.J. Abrams, I can excuse him for what happened to fucking Lost. You know, you're a busy guy. You can't, you can't be on the floor writing everything with these guys. I imagine that J.J. Abrams' reaction to the Lost ending was probably similar to ours, which is like, dude, I had all this shit going on. I built this fucking, oh man, I built this boat. And it was fucking floating, and it was sailing, and it was picking up speed, and you guys fucking dropped anchor and ripped a hole in the fucking bow, and now it, all everybody's pissed off. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't happy about that. And maybe he was, but, like, you have to understand that, you know, he was doing Super 8. He's trying to work his way up to doing Star Wars now, yeah. you know? And uh, he's, he's doing a bunch of other projects, so he can't have the hands-on attention that everybody else did, you know, like uh, Damon Littleoff. Blame Damon Littleoff. You I have can, to you can blame I Damon Littleoff for everything. I was just about to say that. I was like, I was gonna, <laughs> there's a name on that you can blame. <laughs> it's, it's his name. And Carl Carson? Carl... Car, what's it? Carson? Who's the other guy? Uh, yeah, him. Him. <laughs> F fuck those guys. They are 100% to blame. J.B.J. Abrams is totally cool. Like, he built the... You know, like you said, he, 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 had, he, had the, he had the layout of the boat, and they were just like, let's just use uh, paper. Let's use paper mache to make it. <laughs> and that seems like a good idea, right? No, 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 it's okay. We'll use two-ply. Like, yeah. two <laughs> like uh, we can go get the nice stuff, or we can cheap out for the last couple of beds. Uh, let's, let's, let's get the cheap stuff. Yeah. No one will know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll blame it on CB. We'll blame it on ABC. They won't allow us to do stuff. It's pretty crazy, like what they were able to accomplish with that with the two hour series premiere. It was like, that pilot. Yeah, man, the fucking plane exploding and like, dude, there was a guy walking around without an arm. Like, <laughs> that was on primetime television. Holy shit! Why isn't the guy John Locke in a lot more things? I was gonna say Terry McGinnis. Terry McGinnis, yeah. Why is wait? He... Is it Terry McGinnis or is that Batman? <laughs> that's Batman's song. That's a... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Batman Beyond. Is Terry McGinnis, but Terry Terry O'Quinn. Terry O'Quinn, yeah. Terry, Terry O'Quinn, Mc... that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I got killed. That was funny. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. Terry O'Quinn doesn't do shit. Like he was in a really bad, uh, really really bad ABC show after that. Was called yeah. like Hotel Six 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 or something. Something or, weird. Yeah, he was playing like the devil's advocate or some shit. I don't know. Something and the name was Carlton Koss, by the way. Carlton uh, Koss. Yeah. Has, what is he? What is, has he done anything else since then? Let's go to good old Wikipedia and find out what he's done. <laughs> Carlton Cuse. <laughs> Carlton Cuse. Uh, he did. Yo, know, he's doing Bates Motel right now. Yeah. I enjoy Bates Motel. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then you can understand like which aspects he donated to Lost. Yeah. Dude, Damon Littleoff is the one that always has to have everything end in this epic, like, look, it's <laughs> the it's the classic Clash of the Titans and the the protagonist against the. That's always his he's, thing. He's he's the M M Night Shyamalan of the group. The Sham Hammer. He's the, the Sham Hammer. The Sham Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Lost got Sham Hammered right away. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh shit! Did I receive a phone call that I missed? No, that's you. Okay, good. We're talking to you right now. Yes. Oh, uh, oh excuse me. But uh, yeah, that's Lost was a gen for the most part a great show. I was I was late to the Lost party, mm -hmm. but uh, I had surgery and I was like out of work for two weeks, recovering, and I was just in my bed like just pretty much recovering. I was like, I'm going to binge watch Lost on Netflix. You got to, you got to, yeah, you get to binge yeah. it. That's really good. I'm marathoning it because like, let me tell you, man, waiting weeks 
Oh, it sucks. For the fucking, you know, for the show to return, sometimes, like, they'd have a special. Because you know how ABC is. They always have fucking special events and all this crap. Yes, so yeah. sometimes you would go two and three weeks without a fucking new episode. And you'd, you'd wait the next week, and you'd, you'd get an episode, and it's like, oh, fuck, it's a fucking repeat, son of a bitch. Ah, and then you had no. to wait a second week. But, yeah, so you, so you got to binge watch it. But, yeah. But it was awesome watching it straight. I think I watched the first five seasons straight there, through. Mm-hmm. And then I watched the sixth season week by week. And let me tell you, those first, like it made the first five seasons like awesome. Because it was like, I could just watch next episode, next episode, next episode. <laughs> like, fuck this shit. I can, I can just power through this whole thing. Yeah, season three. Tell me not, man. Season three just got so crazy. Like when they, when they, I think that's when they introduced the freighter. The freighter, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they started doing the real, like, uh, you know, the time travel shit just got really crazy. Really Actually. weird. Not Penny's boat. Penny's not on the boat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the next level shit, man. Poor Charlie. Poor Charlie. Poor Charlie. He's not doing much either anymore. He actually has a show where he goes around and fucks with poisonous animals, like dangerous animals and shit. Isn't it like on the Travel Channel or something? Yeah. I've seen that show. And He's I was like, fucking wait a with tarantulas, like, no! <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> Isn't that... You see, uh-huh. you, see uh-huh. Steve, you see Steve Owen. You know, he, he fucking... He did a bunch of shit, and I'm gonna try to do the same. <laughs> just, just try to die prematurely. Because I got too much money, don't know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around the country and fuck with animals. <laughs> fuck with animals. I'm gonna pull my thumb up its ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was gr- that's gotta be gr- that's gotta be a great like problem in your life to be like I have so much money I just I'm gonna start a TV show to fuck with animals that's my next project yeah. fuck it because he but came up like if you had an unlimited budget Eric like what would you do uh, what, what, did- what would you produce I'm gonna try to move my mic over so uh, I, I could still hear you but I, I'm gonna be silent for a second but tell me what what would you make if you had unlimited budget on any network to make a TV show. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking good <laughs> it'd be one of two things first thing would be uh since i went to culinary school i would just go out on the streets and fucking challenge people to cook-offs like not even like professional chefs like average joes and just be like you suck i went to culinary school it'd be a mix of like <laughs> kitchen nightmare and you like you can't cook what the fuck i went to school i don't approve it <laughs> but i don't i've never cooked anything in my life like, yeah I but do you want to win fifteen thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> it's like i know how to microwave stuff does that count <laughs> <laughs> i think that would be fun that'd be an ego boost throughout the week <laughs> challenging strangers yeah, because because you need an ego boost, my friend. Or or I do a I would do like a catfish television show, but I'd be the person catfishing people, and then be like, "You got catfished." <laughs> you would you would do your killer impressions and call comic book fans as Alan Moore. Alan Moore. <laughs> catfish starring Alan Moore. That would be the greatest show of all time. <laughs> Like I'm not even interested in you. You look like a crazy old man with giant beard and hair. I'm Alan Moore. Do you know who I am? I wrote the killing joke. The definitive Joker story for Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I'm 18. <laughs> I don't know what that story is. <laughs> I have no idea what you're referencing. You old crazy creepy man. Oh shit! Listen. Uh, why don't you give? Uh, why don't you add Owen onto this call? He wants to join us. Uh, that crazy Brit. That crazy British prick. He wants to join us. I'm going to go ahead and put on GTA and have some fun with that. We're going to take a little stroll. We're going to take a drive around town. Da, da, da. Owen, Owen dislikes comics. You know, I, I, sometimes I question, does he really, does he, do you really like comics? Um, no. <laughs> I, I've never do you played. really like comics, Owen, or is, is it a front? I think it's a front. Well. <laughs> Uh, the truth is, I've never actually read a comic book in my life. There you go. Truth <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I, I only read manga. Oh, I don't understand manga. Why would you, if you're going to import manga, why wouldn't you flip the book around? It doesn't make fucking it's, sense. It doesn't make it's sense. It's authenticity. It's the same reason you eat sushi with chopsticks. No, I, I, I don't. No. You pick it up with your hands and you eat it. That's how you eat sushi. God you know how you damn eat it, sushi, Eric. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Um, am I live? 
Yes, yeah, we're are. live. This, I mean, yeah, okay. it's it's twenty four hours live, man. I, yeah. Uncensored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we jump, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Owen, you're not live. Go right ahead. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, minority, I don't like. Oh, we'll find shit. out next week. <laughs> really? No mutants. I'm not They're too fond good. on mutants. I hate those mutants. <laughs> Any anything owned by Fox? <laughs> you work for Fox. First, I hate you. <laughs> first of all, why are we doing a 24-hour live stream, guys? Um, because fuck the man is why. Because we got banned okay. for 24 hours, and I, I know, need to I need to kind of reestablish that we do actually play some games on Twitch you occasionally. Know what? <laughs> yeah. You know why? Because uh, Empire Records rules. That's yeah, right. fucking Empire Records. Fuck the man. Yep. Okay, second thing good movie. I missed yep. is I've been out for the last eight hours without my phone on. Good. <laughs> well, that's it's, the way America should be. Yeah. Get away, get rid of smartphones. Um, did anything phones? happen? At, what happened at D23? Has anything happened? Yes. Mickey Mouse now wears pants. Breaking news, oh, right? Does Donald Duck? No. He doesn't need to. But he wears a towel. A per what a pervert. <laughs> Another thing that really grinds my gears is that Donald Duck should be wearing pants if he wears a towel out of the shower. But what grinds my gears? There isn't enough Hans Mole Man in this room. <laughs> right? <laughs> Are we going to do some Hans Mole Man trivia? I'm working on it. I'm working on it, I promise. Let me find some Hans Mole Man trivia. Uh, this is going to get really weird really quick. Yeah, let's <laughs> tread lightly. Okay, 32... Okay, BuzzFeed has published 32 signs you're the Hans Molman of your group. <laughs> <laughs> is right. Hans Molman Bart from Real Dad? Oh my god. Hold. Structure. It's all about yeah. structure. Okay, 32 signs you're the Hans Molman of your group. Oh god. Okay, you're constantly getting hit in the groin. Yeah. That's, Does that's uh, watching Fantastic sense. Four get count as getting kicked in the groin? <laughs> that counts as putting so. your groin in a microwave. <laughs> uh, number two, you never dress your age. Okay, I'm probably number Hans Moment. And you don't, and you don't look your age either. The quote is, "My name is Hans. Drinking has ruined my life. I'm 30 years old." <laughs> <laughs> and, and, everyone's on. And Nick's at the wheel, challenge. everybody. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm about to go driving. I definitely should not be driving right now. Number eight, number eight and no one's gay for you. <laughs> this is getting super weird. Yeah, this, just so you know, this is a, uh, that, that was a uh, Simpsons reference. Yeah, I, I feel like we always have to preface that. Yeah. <laughs> and remind people, Maybe we no, should it's from a cartoon joke. show. It's from a cartoon show, though. The Simpsons did it. It's okay. The Simpsons did it. That's right. Simpsons have done fucking everything. Because they've been around forever. Yeah, like 25, 26, Six 27 hours. years, yeah. I have heard that there has been some sort of trailer, some sort of movie that stars some sort of dude who likes the American flag and some dude who likes dressing like a tin of beans. Yeah, and, and some dude on our 24 hour of... stream doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Does Eric not want to talk about it? Does he want it to get spoiled? I don't want to. I'll talk about it. I, every good thing, everything gets spoiled. I'll, I'll see a tweet at two o'clock in the morning today. It'll be like, "Oh, I've got to click this," and it's the fucking trailer. So <laughs> I can't find it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's no, I, the trailer hasn't been released, but I do have some documentation on it. Uh, essentially, uh, Black Panther's revealed. They show him, uh, you know, unsheathing his claws and ready to fucking attack somebody. Um, we also see Black Widow fighting Hawkeye, asking, are we still friends? And Hawkeye says, it depends on how hard you hit me. Uh, what else do we see? Um, yeah, right, that sounds kinky. Kinky. Yeah. <laughs> His wife's not going to be happy about that. Yeah, um, just... What else do we have? Uh, let's see, it's Tony Stark and... Uh, Tony Stark and Steve Rogers arguing. Are they making Obviously, out? you know. Uh, we see Ant-Man seem... fanboying out. I think that's that's all, right? Yeah, I think that's all we have. Oh yeah, Bucky Barnes is in a cage. Okay. Leave Brittany, leave Bucky alone. <laughs> so, I Owen, what what are some of your alone. predictions for for uh, for the movie? This movie isn't going to be Civil War, is it? Not quite. No. It, it can't be. Like Civil War. I, yeah, it's it's too early for a proper Civil War. Civil War would have been the perfect thing after Infinity War. No, 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 no. Infinity War gets everyone back together. I think this 
Civil War is just the kickoff. No, because the problem is, the problem is, Infinity War feels like the big finale, but you know that Marvel isn't going to end the cinematic universe. Oh, so man. what's the point? You know why? Because they're going to have the rights to Fantastic Four out there, and they're going to be like, oh, <laughs> Galactus is coming. <laughs> No, real, like really, this is yeah. just a kickoff. I think uh, Rob from uh, Comics Explained said it best that this is going to be a slow burn to Infinity War. This is just kicking it off. Oh yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, but if you're doing a side story to hold off to Infinity War, why are you doing one of the best-selling comic books of all time? Because it's going against away? Batman vs Superman. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going against Batman vs Superman, regardless, they're not going to beat it at the box office. Civil War no. won't beat Batman Superman in the box office. Sorry. It'll make a billion dollars. So if you're doing that, they'll both make a billion dollars. But Batman and Superman is, we're talking Avengers level of money. But wait a minute, though. Let's, let's consider out, something. Let's consider out, something here that. Out, at a certain apart. point, that there has to be like a peak. There has to be a pinnacle at which like everyone has seen the movie, right? So let's say we have sales coming in at like, let's go fucking crazy high. Let's say this film breaks records. $1.5 billion. Gigawatts. Right? It's fucking huge, right? That's pretty much everyone in America that's going to go see a comic book movie. That's pretty much everyone that's going to go see that type of movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So at what point do we have the audiences who are going to see a comic book movie? Everyone has gone to see Captain America mm -hmm. Civil War. Everyone has gone to see Batman. So that therefore... There can't really be competition because you've already like hit the pinnacle. Does that does that make any sense? Both movies will cap the market, and that's the point where it's going to stop at. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what's going to beat both those movies? And it comes Squirrel out. Squirrel Girl. I wish. Yeah. I have, hell yeah. Squirrel Direct, Girl's going to fucking kill it. Directed by Quentin Tarantino. Dude, that'd be such a trippy, awesome movie. Floored. <laughs> but uh. So. There you go. But uh. You know, movie's gonna be both those, and it's coming out Christmas Day this year. You know, a little a little oh. franchise called Star Wars. That... Warcraft. <laughs> Warcraft, yes. Warcraft Can is. Can we just? Why? Why have they changed the name of Rogue One? They did. Because... They've tweaked it from Star Wars Anthology Rogue One to Rogue One: A Star Wars Story. Do you know the problem with that is because it's anthology reminding me is of the Christmas special. Because anthology is a of Star stupid. Wars story. Yeah, actually, I see Wait, it. I see it up here. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. No, I think anthology is, is my... bad, not only because no, it's I just, just a lengthy title and it makes it it's kind of confusing. Um, I think that it's it's simplified for kids. You yeah. know what I mean? They want kids to be able to go ahead and sit and type in you know Rogue One, Star Wars and they story. realize that Rogue One. There's too much shit on the internet. Rogue One, so they go Rogue One anthology, Star Wars. It's too much shit. You type in Rogue One Star Wars, it's too much stuff. Rogue One Star Wars story. It's easy for kids to remember. It's easy for kids to spell. Every fucking kid has a book that says story on it. Yeah. You know? And guess um, what? They can sell geez. stories a stories with that movie. They can sell... Right. I'm just looking at the cast. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Jesus. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker. Chris Holy. But <laughs> yep, Forrest fucking Whitaker, man. The crazy eye killer. <laughs> crazy eye killer. <laughs> Can we just watch Curve Your Enthusiasm for 24 hours? Well, we should do that. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Okay, what, what is that's planned next, for tonight? That's the next 24 hour stream. You should. Why have you let me on this stream? <laughs> I'm very drunk. Let's to kick you off. <laughs> oh shit, nice. I, We're gonna go driving. I'm heavily. I'm heavily intoxicated. Oh my god. Sound like you hold your liquor just fine. Oh man, there's so much going on in the chat, and I've been neglecting to check it out. What are, what are you guys talking world about chat over world. there? Let's see. Owen Ooh. likes manga. Owen loves manga. You eat manga. sushi like a burrito. Thing needs to wear pants. Better yet, one trillion dollars. Every, everyone needs to wear pants. Yeah, Tales should be... of, of Wars of Stars, Rogue One. And freaking Donnie Yen. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Do you know what, what movie I want to do see? Not, do not antagonize our fucking viewers, Owen. No, that's, that's what I've named it. That's what I've named people who use the chat. Fucking chat. The chatterboxes. <laughs> no. They're, they're the that they're, means something different in the fucking US, man. <laughs> they're, the, they're the golden group. 
<laughs> the golden group. Just uh, like the golden girls. They're the golden group. Yeah, a chatterbox is someone that, well, never shuts up. Thank you, Urban Dictionary. Uh, anyway, Spaceballs 2, The Search for More Money. Let's talk about that film. Why? Because... <laughs> Is that, that announced? That could be an episode of DHD. No, they announced it in the first film. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, was, I was a little excited because I could totally see that happening. Well, down with he's inter still interested in doing it. He's still interested in doing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, what's his name? Rick Moranis is not budging of coming out of retirement. Damn, that's unfortunate. I mean, dude, why? Like, his fucking... His kids are in college. He's he's writing for the New York Times, for God's sakes. He does, like, editorials and op-eds from time to time. You know what because, I mean? Like, Because he's smart. He's like, you know what? I made a couple good movies. I'm done. I don't need to drag out my career like other people. Yeah, but it's not a... Oh, man, I don't know. I I, I guess... Maybe it's about more about being like, inter selfish, like, it's integrity, integrity than, you know, making a couple extra yeah. bucks. I'm yeah. sure he's well off. True, true. Um, you know what we should do tonight? <laughs> while while we're all here. Okay. S'mores? No, I think, because we're doing a special stream, I think we should do a special show. Okay. And give me an hour to prep it. Oh, God. <laughs> and we will have ourselves a very special edition. Oh, and what do you mean give you an discussion. hour? Not only is it like, hold on, what, what, let's see what time it is. It's fucking, f oh, Jesus, it's 4.30 in the morning. You want a fucking <laughs> hour. Just got back. And you're drunk. Okay, you're not going, you're not going anywhere. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see. So, wait, okay, you want us to give you an hour. I, I'll give you, I'll give you one well, hour. I'll, give him, I'll be, give I'll him 45 minutes. <laughs> Let me just find a film. Okay. Give him 35 minutes. I don't know why I can't run this game. Give him 10 minutes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hire Godot. Oh, no. no. Well, he's already hired. You can't hire someone who has the job already. Well, <laughs> hire him for every job. It's just, yeah, you want... Okay, can we, what, can we at least watch 3 Dev Adam tonight? <laughs> We're playing games. Oh, I need to see Spider-Man <laughs> fight Mexican wrestling legend El Santo. This is a gaming channel, dude. Longster, I only need yeah, one. We don't, we don't do that shit anymore. We don't. Like, this is all gaming all the time. Twenty-four hours of gaming. All right, one day. Um, Did anyone see Straight Outta Compton? Is it out yet? Uh, I think it came out this weekend. Yeah, yeah I think it's just. I haven't out. seen it. Straight Outta oh. Compton. Longstar said it best. He's drunk. He needs two hours. <laughs> I'll give you two hours, buddy. Okay. Damn it. Right. I can't get this if I don't, thing. Yeah, one, one of those hours will be spent falling asleep. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to fall asleep on. <laughs> that happened okay. once. We were all on the phone, right? After a show, we are just bullshitting, <laughs> you know, hanging out. Some of us are having beers oh, or whatever. Oh, this oh, motherfucker falls asleep on the phone yeah. like, it's, like it's middle school. <laughs> it was like 6 a.m. <laughs> Whose fault is that? <laughs> Yours? I fucking worry keeping me. you, man. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know why I can't get GTA Five or GTA Four. You guys were listening to me sleep. We didn't even know you were gone. That's no. how little we like you. Oh, <laughs> don't, I don't need you guys. <laughs> yeah, your shit's blowing my up, man. You don't fans. need us. Owen, oh, actually, out of out of all of us, out of all of our uh, our little group of YouTubers here, Owen has the, the most viewed shows. Really? Yeah, you have, you you definitely have the most views on your. On it's because it's because well, he's British and he has pretty hair. The girls love that. I'm annoying as shit. Exactly, you have your British accent and you have pretty hair. Girls yeah, love. Yeah, in the in the UK maybe you know, over here though, only fucking you're like, hey, you're the one, shit you're, up. You're the One Direction of this channel. We're gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Everybody oh, wants a piece of my girl. Right, Owen. <laughs> I'm gonna break out. They're not even. They're not even the words. I know. I don't know the fucking words to One Direction. <laughs> I'm a thirty-year-old adult. I don't know One Direction lyrics. <laughs> Are you sure? 
Okay, so what have we done tonight so far, then? Dick. We've done dick. We've done nothing. <laughs> mm. I've been playing a video game all day, reestablishing the, the fact that we can stream, which is, what's pretty cool is that we're dual streaming uh, to, to both yeah, YouTube and, got... and, and Twitch, so that's an accomplishment. Indeed. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Children of all ages, gather round and let me tell you a tale in one hour. <laughs> I'm still wrong for like, this. You're going to need two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> I, okay, I, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's, when you, that's, the, that's the first tell of you not knowing what you're doing. You're saying, guys, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic line. You play a... Flight Simulator? <laughs> Do you want to play, play Goat Simulator? Let's play Farming Simulator. Farming Simulator. Game. I don't have that. I've uh, played that game, and I was very good at it. I was watching a stream of that, and I thought I was going to just end my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is really boring. <laughs> Not like the people on it, but just like the game. It looks yeah. very. So, in the... so, Nick, did you see the Civil War trailer? No, I didn't. Uh, I haven't really looked for it, to be totally honest. I've been tending to the stream for a little while. <laughs> He's um, doing a little because... something on YouTube. <laughs> Let's see. Civil... Was there anything Spider-Man related? Yes. Um... <laughs> Aunt May. Aunt May. I, see, that's what Civil War's over, because both Stark and Rogers want to get with Marissa to May. That's, that's why they both... Yeah, yeah. That's why they're both trying to get Peter on their team. The other way in Civil War, they're both trying to get Spider-Man on their team. It's the same thing because they both want to date Aunt May. Who doesn't want to write date Marissa to me? What the fuck? I'm going. <laughs> Dude, I'm watching the trailer right now. If this is the real deal, this is fucking cool. <laughs> oh. Long, long, long stir again, quote unquote, guys. I know what I'm doing. Oh, in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. Right? I'm starting to get quoted now. Oh, shit. If, if I can have that on a gravestone one day, I'll be quite happy. Okay, let me start writing the script. <laughs> Yo, I think I, no think I just saw... Uh... Uh, you want to link that into a private chat? <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I just, I wanted to make sure that it was a real deal. This is indeed the real deal. No one can recreate these shots. Um, where is the Skype window? All right, we're gonna get in a lot of trouble. We're gonna go ahead and, and show this on, on the air. What? Uh, oh, let's, snap. Let's do that. And we'll do like a little trailer review. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and robots, we're gonna do a trailer what? hunter right before your very do eyes. That's right. Do I have to watch it? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one second. Trailer hunt. Uh, let's add that in there. No, this isn't this isn't real. Yeah, totally is real. That's, that's not No, it's not. It got uploaded in June. Oh no 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 no. That was uploaded in June. That's not real. Oh mother. The first comment Fuck, is, see? The first comment is this is the best fan made trailer I've ever seen. I fucking told you, man. See, I was trying to just trying to watch it through and make sure, but yeah. No, it looks pretty fucking real, man. Yeah, this looks like an awesome trailer. It's God an awesome trailer, damn. but damn. Like, the gun even has a fucking Hydra logo on it. Like, holy shit! The attention to detail. How about this awesome news that, There's uh, Iron Spider? Oh, man. <sighs> fucking balls. All right, go ahead. Sorry. The best, the best news didn't come out of D23 today. It, it came out of uh, Amazon. And the official Bob's Burger cookbook is coming out. <gasps> oh, shit! If looks could kale burger, I can now make it at home? Yeah. Motherfucker! <laughs> I, I pre-ordered that That's motherfucker. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Hi guys. This, this trailer ain't happening. Sorry, everybody. It does not exist. Got... No uh, crowd. No crowd cheering. Gone. No crowd cheering because it wasn't. It wasn't shown in front of a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Listen, guys. I'm gonna be right back. Feel free uh, to take the reins of the show. Uh, don't uh, say anything that Rob Jefferson wouldn't say. <laughs> Everyone okay, gets the so, band hammer now. <laughs> okay, so who has better boobs? 
This is the this Jean Grey <laughs> or Emma Frost. Uh, it's an Emma Frost hands down. But Power Girl what is about the best. I... Power Girl is the best boobs out of them all. But what about Nineties Sue Storm? Um, you know With what? The cleavage. You know what? I'm gonna retract my statement and say She Hulk has the best boobs because they grow. Yeah, but the, gr- yeah, but the green. So they grow when she gets angry. <laughs> Your point? Who cares about green? She looks like the green giant from the broccoli advert. And you know what? If she feeds me broccoli during it, that's fine. Jennifer Walters. Oh, Jen. She could be my lawyer. I'm like, I'm like, she could be she my like lawyer. She could She could be my lawyer, too. <laughs> How life, life, life can get better than that. Wait, didn't she hook during the Fantastic Four at one point? Everyone was a member of the Fantastic Four. Was it, Iron Man? It was an easier, it's an easier membership to get than a uh, Costco membership. Well, now they'll, let, well, now especially they'll let anyone in. <laughs> no, now they're all gone. No, there is no Fantastic Four now, is there? El Cheapo Comics says, "Don't trust us." Who's he? El Cheapo Comics. I don't even know who that guy is. Yeah, I'd ban him. I don't know him. <laughs> Block. <laughs> <laughs> flag I wanted Herbie we didn't get Herbie in that movie that's why it wasn't any good if Herbie showed up you, then did, it would have probably won an Oscar did you see the Fantastic Four yes <laughs> and I, I may or may not have purchased a ticket for that specific movie oh I didn't I'm, I don't know if I have no fucking shame saying that I bought a ticket to Ant-Man and I walked into Fantastic Four I may also have done that. Because you know what? Fuck Fox for screwing up one of the greatest superhero teams of all time. Herbie Hancock. Damn right. Come El on. Santo Saturdays, yes. El Santo Saturdays. Let me write the script. El Santo Saturdays with uh, El Cheapo Nerd and Owen Loves Comics. Who's Owen Loves Comics? This is a cheap imitator. <laughs> that's, my new, that's, my, that's, my, that's my new YouTube tag. <laughs> I'm going to sue this guy. So when people get confused between you, you liking comics and loving comics, they go to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Also, Herbie would have made a ten times better movie. Absolutely. I'd be fully loaded. I can, tell you, I can tell you maybe in five to ten years we'll get an, a director's cut of Fantastic Four. No way. Absolutely. They're gonna lose so much. No they're gonna lose so much fucking money on this movie. They're gonna to have to put it out, and I don't. I, I don't think they will. And we'll see a crazy, or at least we'll get the bonus scenes in that cut, unfinished. <laughs> Owen, Owen. I think I should direct the next Fantastic Four movie. No, you shouldn't. Well, do you want to produce it? Oh yeah. Okay. Giant spider. Okay. There has to be a giant spider in it. No. John Pete is Fantastic Four. My my my, t- my three rules: giant spider, bad guy. You can make. More- all man chilling on top of a giant spider. Uh, number two, no comic, no uh, comic uh, costumes because they're lame, and uh, no flying. My three rules of the movie. Okay. Bless you. Thank you. Your your idiocy made me sneeze. <laughs> my idiocy made me sneeze. Are you allergic to my talking? I'm guessing John Peters really liked Man <laughs> of Steel because he got the. Um, but he got the tentacle scene. There was there was flying and cotton a suit. So no, he didn't like it. Two of his three rule. Fantastic Four: Rise of the Mole Man would be an awesome movie. Long star. Fantastic Four. No one loves Mole Man. No one loves Mole Man. Mole Man presents Fantastic Four getting hit by football. <laughs> I think when uh, on my cast with uh, Nick and uh, Kamaguno, when I said that they should just. If Marvel gets it back, they just throw them in like they've never, like they were always a part of it. Is the best way of going, and then and start off with a, a, a single Doom movie, because you could tell a lot about Doom's background in just a Doom movie. And you, I would like to see a Doom movie, especially if we get his actual origin, where he's a sorcerer. Yeah, where his mom, the monks, the mom, his mom gets brought down to hell with uh, Dormammu, and um, yeah. You get the whole 
sorcery and why he leaves Latveria, and then you can end the movie with him meeting Reed Richards at, at, mm-hmm. at college, at university. Hey guys, I'm back. That said, I, I hear you. Whoa. I was listening to your conversation, and um, I, I think that it's really like essential. It's super fucking essential for Doctor Doom to be a magician of some sort, or some sort of mage, or some sort of sorcerer, because he has to oppose Reed Richards in that way. I mean, like, let's let's have some fun with this right now. I'm still setting some things up. I'm trying to get GTA running, but um, how? I mean, we spoke about this before. How could we? Work the Fantastic Four into the MCU seamlessly. Ready, right here. Just a Doom, a, D- a Doctor Doom Netflix series telling his origin, and then do, 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 and and have the Fantastic Four always be there, teaching at uh, Tony Stark's school for gifted youngsters. And they don't even have to have powers too? yet. No, nope. you know? they can. Not I mean, they do could have powers. They d- it doesn't matter. Tony starts funding well, in this the school. comics. Do you- you have to remember, in the comics, they didn't get the powers till they were in the mid-30s. Exactly. So you, you, right. you establish Doom and Reed's relationship at the end of the Netflix series being what it should be, that Doom is second best to Reed, and him despising Reed because of it. And then you have Reed Richards getting this job at Stark School, and finally Reed and the Fantastic Four, quote-unquote, get the funding through Stark, to go on their sp- space exploration. Ooh. And that's how you introduce them to the MCU. So you establish Doom already in his own Netflix series, like six episodes. It doesn't have to be 13 episodes. Six episodes of him and his mom and the whole history. Because it's a great history. It's an essential story. Because Doom is such a, such a huge character that overflows into the whole MCU. He's mostly associated yeah. with Fantastic Four, but he's this powerful cosmic being that is on the same plane as Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. So you establish that, you know what, he is a accomplished sorcerer, and, you know, him and friggin' Reed Richards have this meeting and be like, oh, meet Reed Richards, my lead scientist, one of the best in the world, and Doom going, wait, I'm the best in the world. And that, that tension starts right there. Because Doom hates that Reed Richards is a little bit smarter than him. Yeah, I like it. I like it yeah. so far. I mean, I think I, I would watch the shit out of a Doctor Doom series just because it's so interesting to to root for the bad guy. You know what I mean? And in this miniature universe, like in a mini series, like if they were to do a, a one season Doctor Doom MCU series, you know, we it would be such a short thing that you know. He's not trying to conquer the world. He's not trying to do this. He's just trying to obtain power. And I don't think anybody, you know, will would be against that. It wouldn't be hard to get behind that. Whereas, like, if Doctor Doom is trying to destroy the world in this series, it may be difficult to get behind him and see him as the protagonist in the series. You need, you need, you need him to be identified with the loss of his mother and this right, right. issue that Reed Richards is smarter than him, and he hates the fact that he's smarter than him. Because, you know, yeah. he, he's the guy who had to struggle. But if we through, establish oh, that in this in this series, you know, you like feel for why Dr. it would upset him, why it is so important for him, this to boy be, from Latveria, to be an established, successful scientist so maybe he can bring money to his loved ones and to his entire country. You yeah. know, it, it may be important in a larger regard. So to see that in the show, they could they could definitely, definitely pull that off. And I saw a comment by Aaron Bess on Twitch right now. They they don't even have need to have that news alert. That that could come later. That could come midway point in the that phase they're introduced in, where st- at the end of whatever movie they introduce them in, where Stark's funding everything for them, mm-hmm. they can have like you know Ant Man or someone read a newspaper saying, oh, just you see a big splash page of space exploration gone bad. Yeah. And you can name the the space the space exploration because that's what they do, the fan, the fantastic mission. Well that's a um a cue from the what's it is it eighteen oh two. Eighteen oh two, yep. And yep. and they can where they go on the ship and they are known as the um the ship that they go on is known as the Fantastic, fantastic. and they have the Fantastic where, Four that go on the ship. Did you see um, Max Landis, you know the guy who wrote Chronicle. Yeah, 
he published on his Twitter, he wrote a Fantastic Four fan fiction script. He published the first like six pages, and that is exactly how the film starts. That's it starts uh, um, like police, like police teams in New York evacuating everyone. Yeah, like everyone out the city because the ship's crashing down. It's gonna land in the city, and you hear like the police chief on the intercom with Reed Richards as he's trying to like steer the ship to land. Yeah. Then the ship's called the Fantastic. But you can't have a standalone Fantastic Four movie because there's been so many bad Fantastic standalone for standalone movies. You kind of want them sprinkled into other movies to have them established, and then we'd be like, okay, full go on the Fantastic Four movie. You don't need an origin story on anybody because that, w- that would be the the coolest thing too. That would be the smartest thing to do, Erica. Like because you you have these characters, as you said, that have been really poor in standalone movies, but now. You know, maybe instead of the Fantastic Four being a vehicle for all of Marvel, which they were back in in the 60s, maybe, you know, Marvel can do Fantastic Four a favor now. You know what I mean? And kind of sprinkle them in all of their films. Because, like, I really like what you and Aaron Bess are kind of tossing back and forth here, considering that, like, you know, this spaceship is, is, uh, you know, it's like a, a space shuttle disaster. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, what if they portrayed it like the Apollo 13 mission? Like, we lost exactly. communications. Like, and, and it's it's an ongoing thing. You hear a little bit in Jessica Jones. You know, you hear a little bit in, um, it, what's the other one? Luke Cage. Luke Cage. You know what I mean? Like, you hear the sprinklings. Uh, Aaron Bass was saying you sprinkle bits and glimpses in, like, newspaper articles and stuff like that. That's what I want to see. I want to see, like... And, you know, this this sprawling epic where you get these, like, little teasers here and there, the way that they built up the Avengers, the way that they do the one-shots and shit, you know? And Doom, the Doom series can take back, it could take place back in the past and work up to the current timeline and, you know, be like, you can have, like, in the background in the news articles, and well, him and Reed are, in that final episode, are kind of trying to best each other. You know, NASA wants to start exploring so-and-so, the new Fantastic Rockets being built. And you can have that set, and you can have them be the pilots, the four of them. And you can have, you know, Doom could be that guy who gets thrown in there, and he's kind of like, you know what, I'm a genius. You know, you, you Putting Reed on that ship's horrible. It's like, you want to go on? We trust you. Go on. And yeah. he's along for that mission. Oh, and we haven't yeah. heard from you too much. I, you, what, what do you think about all this, about, like, possibly portraying it as, like, a, uh, like, kind of a sort of disaster and ongoing uh you know dramatic I think that'd be thing. interesting well what if because obviously the fantastic four was originally um it was set in the 60s the original books mm. what if you made the fantastic four a period piece which would explain why the characters aren't around in current marvel what if you say if you, they were active in the 60s working with an early shield and you can introduce like hank pym can show up in it that's interesting. It, it would be it would be unfortunate to not see the the current iteration of the Fantastic Four kind of like you know essentially creating the Illuminati and stuff like I'll that. I'll tell you now. But what I'm I not, what I really want to see is like, um, sorry, what I really want to see is kind of like, uh, hmm, I don't know. Sorry, go on, go on. I'll be right back. It's um, it. I'm not so. Like ex- I'm not so um, like going to jump at the idea of seeing the Fantastic Four in the MCU, but I will jump at the idea of seeing Reed Richards. And seeing how they handled the Hank Pym character, I wouldn't be against them doing something similar to Reed, in honesty. How would you do that? How would you- um, what we could do is we could say that Fantastic Four are active in the 60s working with the early S.H.I.E.L.D., and say Reed's been say they've been trapped in the negative zone for the last thirty years, and that Reed's the only one left. Okay. Mm, I think I feel like that's kind of going out on a limb a little bit. I mean, if it were to be a period piece, what I would want to see is like, you know, he's working with Hank Pym, he's working with um, Agent Carter, because it's apparent like if there was if Hank Pym was around. In that dark period in between Agent Carter and the, uh, you know, the Avengers movies, there had to have been a shit ton of more superheroes. So that is kind of like a good vehicle for having superheroes that they didn't have the rights to now, but did then, you know, like perhaps a Namor 
period I, piece. You know, Ant-Man and I, Namor would be kind of interesting. I think you can have the original uh, Human Torch. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Invaders. Um, I think it'd be kind of a stretch to have the Fantastic Four take place in that time period also. Just because you would want to use them in your current continuity and, you know, you, you don't want to cast old for them. You kind of want to cast, like, 30-something. Yeah. Yeah, like Maybe I said, I mean, I want to see I want to see the Fantastic Four interact with the with the Avengers now, you know? Yeah, I want to be want them to be part of the current because you're gonna have a lot of people swapping out their roles because our, our yeah Robert Downey Jr. is not gonna be around for much longer just because age wise. Same with um, Chris Evans because you know he's been around a long time and his contracts excuse yeah. me his contracts almost up and um, you're most definitely not probably gonna uh, have um, why is his name not coming to uh, Chris Hemsworth around that much longer either which you can which you can easily do and have Thor get killed and um, in Ragnarok and have Jane Foster or someone else take the mantle of Thor yeah even Beta well, Ray, think the, even even Beta Ray Bill Chris Chris awesome. Hemsworth though he signed on for for Infinity War like he's coming back so I don't know if we're gonna okay. get a Jane Foster Thor yet well maybe they I think after, I can see after Infinity War Marvel switching some of the all new Marvel lineup yeah. Except with Bucky as Cap sure. instead that's of the, Falcon. That's the whole thing, yeah, man. I think they're gonna tie it, try and tie it more with the um, new Marvel universe in the comics. You know, it'd be cool if they have a She-Hulk in there. Yeah. I think you can also because you can also tie She-Hulk into Daredevil. Yeah. She's a rival lawyer up until this point. Yeah. But um. No, it's it's awesome to do these what if, but mm. you know, it's very scary to think that Infinity War is coming up in a couple of years, and it's gonna kind of be their big reboot point, and what this landscape's yeah. gonna look like. Because mm. that's what it is. It's a big reboot point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little worried, too. I mean, like, uh, personally, I, I love the Fantastic Four, and, you know, it, it, it's kind of like one of those things, like, you know how, how you know, some of us have our dads, and our dads like something, and our dads make us like something because they like it as, you know, kids or whatever, and just, like, yeah. it's passed on. Well, Fantastic Four was that thing for me, where, like, everybody's like, Fan- Fantastic Four is lame or whatever. Like, yeah, my dad likes it. That's the thing that we <laughs> like, and blah, 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 blah. And, like, yeah, you know? We, we go back, and I just actually gave him, like, a fucking omnibus of, like, the old Fantastic Four, like, the classic stuff, and he oh, loves nice. that. But, like, dude, like, I, I'm a little worried that they're not going to be around to have these, like, really crazy things. Like, you could always rely on the Fantastic Four to completely change the landscape of Marvel. And the fact that they're changing it again, and in a way removing them, I mean... Maybe they're going to do it awesome. Maybe they're going to pull it off in a way that, like, Doom faces off against Reed Richards and they cancel each other out. You know, they, they ultimately nullify each other in some realm <laughs> or something like that. But still, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss them, man. Like, I, I know they probably won't be gone forever, but I just feel like it's, a, it's not a, the smartest move. You know, what you, what you would want to do, I feel, if you're a Marvel, is make them fucking awesome. And mm-hmm. just remind people that, hey, you know, if you like this comic, it's made by Marvel, and we also have Marvel Studios, so, like, if you want to see a really good movie, then let us have the fucking property again, you know? So, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a funny con- yeah. it's a funny contract they have with uh, Fox, because they own all the marketing and all, like, the toys for Fantastic Four, so that's why you don't see any Fantastic Four toys, because mm-hmm. Marvel owns that. <laughs> it's it's a really weird deal, and you have the you, yeah. you have Marvel that owns the TV rights for uh, X Men. Yeah. So like, there's a lot of ball that can be played in the upcoming. You not know couple that's of- also why in the kind of Marvel television shows now, you know, like Earth Mightiest Heroes and Ultimate Spider Man, you don't really see X Men or Fantastic Four that much. Yeah. They kind of avoid them. Well, Wolverine's in there, sprinkled. Yeah, in. Wolverine, Wolverine and Deadpool kind of show up, but that's 
kind of it. And that's only because they're so popular yeah. on their own. In the words of Deadpool, you can't kill Wolverine because of his popularity. <laughs> but, um, that that's his secret healing factor, his popularity. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. That movie was so bad, though. Like, <laughs> just so bad. Like it's it, just. Like they had to test screen that. They had like four locations in the whole movie. But like, who approved that? Like, really? If if you're just putting out stuff to put out stuff to keep the rights. The fact is, Fox knew that the film wasn't good, which is why they put the embargo on it. Oh, they knew the film was crap. I think they knew the film was was crap while it was in production with all the problems that they'd had on set. Miles Teller demanding reporters <laughs> to cut up his food. All that fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, Aaron Best. That would be a pretty cool idea to have Iron Fist cool. to, in, in, um, to invest in the Baxter building. Ooh. I could I could see that. Have him invest in no project to send Reed Richards to space. But I think it would make more sense to have Iron Man do it just because popularity. Yeah. You could even you know the way they kinda went in the oh well, this is gonna be not well received. But in the um new movie where it's more of a government funded thing. You can't have the government funded thing. You can't. What what if it's um what if Reed's research you know that he's doing the on the cosmic rays? Is working for Shield. They can't. What if Reed's what if Reed's research is he's working? He's not a, he's not a Shield official, but he's working with them. With them, you can't have that. Yeah. Can't. They're supplying. Say Just, they're funding his research. But the whole the whole sad story is that you know Reed doesn't want to go to the government. And this is like freelance scientists. He's a freelance yeah. scientist. Squirrel girl all the way. Fucking keep Squirrel it. Girl finds them. Fucking keep the Fantastic Four Squirrel Girl franchise right now. <laughs> Who would win a fight, Miles Teller or Josh Tank from Long Longster on YouTube? Um, I think I think Trank would have won. I think Trank would because he got he looked, the age and height on him. Because no, no, because he would have been drunk, and he looks like a mean drunk. He does look like a mean drunk. He looks like a drunk guy. From what? I'd hang out with him, drunk. He seems like the guy. From what I can gather. He was drunk the entire time the film was being made. He must have done if he made that film. You know what it is? It's probably Fox going, "Oh, you got you can't do this. You got to do this." And he's like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna hang out and drink. Screw this." Fuck if it, you guys, fuck it. where's the Jack Daniels? If you guys, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna control the movie, fuck it. I'm just gonna sit here and just steer on like autopilot. That's exactly yeah. probably what went on. Because Chronicle was amazing. I, yeah. fin- I finally saw it, uh, like this morning. Um, but for but Aaron Best, have you seen the Fantastic Four movie on Twitch? Because the whole thing, <laughs> the whole that whole we're last no, scene. Is no, the, what? I'm just looking at the um, the comments. Jake said, "Winner, winner, chicken dinner." Come down to Texas and get chicken fried steak. It's the best. <laughs> Win a winner, chicken just, fried steak. It's just the fact that now we can't get to see Michael B. Jordan in a Marvel movie. You know what? I think we're better off. I think he's too going to be no, too, he's a, too, too big of an actor. Well, that's why you. That's why you get him down. That's why you lock him down to a ten film deal now. No, he's going. He's going to demand some major bucks. You got to go almost unknown. That's why they go unknown. Unknown directors. Unknown. Yeah, unknown, you know, like Benedict Cumberbatch. He's probably one of the biggest acts in the world right now. But you know what? You need him to drive that movie. Not many people are familiar with Doctor Strange. You need him to drive that movie. You needed mm-hmm. a big name for that movie. Yeah, definitely. So that was a smart move, like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but well, yeah, same with Guardians of the Galaxy. They brought big names in for that. They brought. You know. They brought some. They brought. Oh my God, Andrew. Zoe Saldana. Yes, they brought um, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, who's on the way up. 
then they store them. Yeah. He, he, well, he's he's almost at that peak. Okay. So they brought him in full, full time Oscar nominated nominated actor Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Um, Vin Diesel. Vin. <laughs> You know what? We laugh, but Vin Diesel probably makes so much money from. He's probably made more mon- money in movies than all those people. Could oh find. yeah, yeah. You know, what, uh, I, and you got you got the likes of Josh Brolin, Benicio del Toro. Yeah, that was a star-studded cast. Oh yeah. Um, what's the name? Oh. Um, I can see him plays. Look it up. <laughs> Gotta look it up. <laughs> fact checking. Fact checking. Fact checking. And let's you... play the fact checking song. Do, do, this... Karen Gillan. Karen Gillan, who from Doctor Who fame. Yeah. I don't have a theme song. This is a placeholder. <laughs> Eric Show. <laughs> it's, stolen. What's it? What's it? it's stolen. It's Yeah, John. Jesus. Yeah, I forgot. John C. Riley, Glenn Coase. Yeah, Glenn Michael Rooker. Like. <laughs> Like big, big super names. Yeah, it just it is a star studded cast. Even Dave Batista brings in names. He's a massive he's in a, wrestling. He's a huge name. He brings in kids. Kids love Dave Batista. And as yeah, much I don't as think someone Batista bombs someone, <laughs> that would have been the best thing ever if he, he shows up and just rips his pants too. He has to rip his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he splits his pants when he goes down. I'm back to that. I, Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. I was talking with Nick earlier about um, kind of lesser name superheroes that you would like to see. Uh, my, my my three was uh, Cloak and Dagger, uh, Moon Knight, and uh, I, I have um, one pick, one pick only. Is it? Are we talking Marvel? We're talking Marvel. Yeah. Uh, this is going to surprise a lot of people, but I seriously love this character. And Hercules was my third choice. No, 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 no. But, but the rock, but the rock's Hercules. No, dude, the rock, the rock, the rock can play the Hercules. In he did. Marvel. It was great. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jeez. gonna go with Sam. I'm gonna go with um, Sam, Sam Alexander Nova. You know what? But that's not a, a, a small character. That's a it, giant person. That's a giant. He is as no, own. no, no. Richard Ryder is Sam Alexander isn't. But as Nova, Nova the character. Yeah, but, I would okay, love yeah, to see Squirrel Girl long star. But you know, we're... who who outside of geeky comic nerds knows who Nova is? I don't know. I only know people. I only know geeky comic nerds. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> let's 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 ask Lala. Does Lala know who know who Sam Alexander is? Uh, I know geeky geeky science, uh, geeky uh, comic nerds, and my girlfriend who knows nothing about comics. <laughs> okay, ask her. Ask her who. Ask her who Sam Alexander is. I can, superhero I, is. Can, I can ask her who Reed Richards is, and she probably wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't even know who Reed Richards is anymore. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, I, I want to see. I want to see Nova. I want to see Sam Alexander. But ha- you got to you got to establish the cosmic universe, and you got to that Nova can. We come, have established that Nova can come after the Infinite War. Yeah. We've already established the Nova Corps, though, in Guardians. Yeah, we did. So that's already set up. All we need to say is, okay, there was... Earth's one has gone missing. Now Sam Alexander's took up the mantle. Well, it does, you don't even have to introduce... Um, no, you do, because his dad's quite an important part of his backstory. Well... And, you, you, and you can, are, if you follow the origin, his first volume is origin book... The Guardians of the Galaxy play a massive part of that, and it's the current lineup in well, the movie. Well, well, Marvel can kind of rewrite their own history here. Yeah. So it could be Sam Alexander from the beginning. Well, it, it wouldn't work without his dad. Well, you can make Sam Alexander's dad. Well, then it's not Sam Alexander, is it? Then it's his dad. And his dad wasn't a very good Nova. Yeah, but, you know, comic book movies... That's what you get. I want. I want to see Jason Isaac play Sam Alexander. Jason Isaacs. Hmm. I, I I agree with that. That actually would be pretty. Just cool. remember the fact. No, just remember the fact that Sam Alexander's fifteen. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I want to see Jason Isaacs playing. Nothing more, nothing less. Jason Isaacs, homebred out of Texas. Jason Isaacs would have made an incredible Lex Luthor. 
saying that, he would also make an incredible Norman Osborne. Kate Bishop? Uh, Longstar is saying Kate Bishop. Mm. Nah. A Netflix Moon Knight would be amazing. And he would fit into the Daredevil world and be a perfect Netflix show, Alex Base. Absolutely. Well, they've already got the perfect source material there in Warren Ellis's one. <laughs> yeah, you just, just take that. Just, just do that. You take the first five issues of that past run of Moon Knight, and that's how you bring your Moon Knight in. You could literally just do Alice's run on Moon Knight. Exactly. That's the first six issues. Half the run. Yeah. Um, Hawkeye and Hawkeye? <laughs> the Hawkeye and Hawkeye show. Yes. Hawkeye. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Blade show up. Do you really? I want to see. Yeah. Under one circumstance, that it's Wesley Snipes. It's Wesley Snipes, and I think they have Wesley Snipes. Yes. Back. They signed Wesley Snipes again. I think he's on board. I want to see. Who doesn't want to see Daredevil, the Punisher, and Blade all fight? That'd be amazing. That'd blow any Marvel property out of the water right there. I'm kind of flipping through both chat rooms right now. <laughs> Hawkeye times two. Hawkeye to the second power show. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't mind seeing um, like a Hawkeye Netflix series. Snipes is essential there, El Cheapo Comics. I would love to see Snipes come back. He is coming back. I think they were, they're they going to do... Is it, isn't Blade now like a young woman? Uh, it's his daughter. And I think that's what they're gonna do. And Blade do bring snipes back. And and Blade is in that um what's it called role? The the teacher role. I think that's what they could do. Because Wesley Snipes is in his fifties. But he looks amazing still. He looks he doesn't age. He's well, ageless. That's what prison does to you. He wasn't in prison, he was in he was evading taxes in Africa. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. Yeah, because they're the kind of people Marvel like in their movies. He's, he's a good actor. He's a, he's a decent actor. And he, he has signed on for the Marvel something in the Marvel set of Yeah, that's just gibberish, I was just saying. The yep, Marvel you Cin- sure did. You heard it here first. <laughs> the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to pay taxes either. But I do. But... Yes, but you're not rich and famous and can get all over the news for it. Yeah, that's true. He is. Why t- Tay Diggs? Really? Al Cheapo no. Comics, I do not agree. Michael B. Jordan for Blade. No. 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 Jaden Smith for Miles Morales, just to annoy the internet. Here, here's 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 my, my special uh, shout-out to El Cheapo Comics. How about Tom Hardy for Blade? <laughs> no, because Tom Hardy is a powerful <laughs> actor. And he shouldn't be in any movies. Let alone. You know what? Have you seen the Have you seen the trailer for Legend? I did, and you know what? I, I think that looks awesome. No, f- I can't stand Tom Hardy in one role. Why would I want him in two roles? <laughs> double the screen time. Double the Hardy. The Hardy Boys. Okay, okay, El Chipo. Kanye for Blade. Agreed. Hell yes. Yes. Hell. yes. Agreed. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> Kanye. I want to see Kanye play Blade. <laughs> Will Smith for Blade, <laughs> and the best and the best part is you can get an all Kanye West soundtrack for Blade. Oh, the Pete and Youngo is um, the female Blade. Suck it! No, I will. I will watch anything the Pete and Youngo's in. I I, I respectfully decline El Cheapo Comics. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What about um, Captain Marvel? Uh, you're going to hate me for this, but I think Ronda Rousey has the look for Captain Marvel. Okay, well, how about we hire an actress who can actually act? Uh, are you going to tell her that she Stop. can't act? Are you going to tell her that she can't act? Because she'll probably... I will risk, I will risk broken bones. Knock the fuck out of you. <laughs> okay, she's, uh, she's also subscribed to the Tyrese Gibson School of Lobbying by posting fan art on Instagram. You know what? Because that has proven it gets you the job. Look how it worked for Tay T- T- Diggs. It works. I don't care about them. You know what? Yeah, but it's, Ready? I'm going to go yeah, on this is, crazy limb here. No one cares about Green Lantern since Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern film. He was Ryan Reynolds is awesome, but people don't know how to write a Green Lantern. DC has proven they don't know how to write a Green Lantern movie. 
Well, if they've gotten Jeff Johns to write the Batman film, why don't they just get Jeff Johns to write the Green Lantern film? First off, it's Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns. <laughs> and then, you know what? That guy, that guy is spread out more than toast on a bagel, my friend. He's, he's doing... Gonna, he's going to make some sort of euphemism. He's, he's, he's overseeing all the television and movie production. Well, well, get him... Take him off Batman. Get him to write Green Lantern. Let Frank Miller write Batman. I, you know, I have would love to see a fucking Frank Miller written movie. Just, just do um, did that sequel to Batman. V, just do sequel to Batman v Superman, Dark Knight Three, The Master Race. The Master Race. They were getting that. I just, just a, I want that. You, I can't wait to read that. It is definitely just going to be Batman and the Batmobile racing around Gotham. <laughs> He's going to be he. Here, I'm. T- I'm going to tell you the plot of that story. It turns out that Batman is the new Fuhrer of Gotham City. Batman <laughs> has to fight the guy from Holy Tower. Yes, that would be awesome. In fairness, though, have you seen the cover for Master Race? Yeah. It... Wait, I never. Wait, I didn't realize there's a bleeding Superman symbol. Yeah, that's kind of. Um, that was. Are sh- you gonna go like an, an injustice route with it? Do you reckon? Murray murder Superman. Maybe kind of balls. I don't like that. No, we're like Superman's the oppressive leader who's running this master race. Superman is always the oppressive leader. Especially in a Frank Miller book. <laughs> Frank Miller hates Superman. I hate Superman too, so... You know, yeah, but you don't write books about him. No, I don't. I write, I write fan fiction about crypto and his erotic tales, but... <laughs> Frank Miller hates Superman that much for most of the Dark Knight Returns. You don't even get to see what he looks like. <laughs> he draws him as a shadow. Uh, high, high Pression GT on no, that's Twitch. Not... Uh, I hope they don't screw up the next GL movie either. That'd be really bad because then they screw up two movies. JDF, says, Superman and Supergirl are going to take over the world, Miller making him the bad guy again. Pretty much. That's pretty much yeah. what's going to happen. Except swap Supergirl with Wonder Woman. No, they're going to swap Supergirl with uh, Wonder Woman and Superman's daughter. Because if you remember in uh, Dark Knight Strikes Back, they have a daughter. Yeah. I think they should just name them all after Star Wars films. <laughs> this should be a, your Dark Knight 3 Return of the Master Race. Return of the Master Race. <laughs> Return of Dick Grayson's head after Batman punched it off. Dude, that was crazy how that second story... That, that was a cool twist. It but was. Not only did it come completely out of left field, because in Dark Knight Returns, they teased that something happened with Bruce and Grayson. That some, they had some sort of bad fallout. Yeah. And that could have been an interesting thing to see in the sequel. And especially if Grayson was, became the Joker, that could have been really cool. But why didn't they make the book about that instead of Batman overthrowing the government, which is Brainiac, who is a frog? Brainiac's a frog. It's, a, that's the, it's better than a spider. <laughs> it's better than Brainiac being a spider. Dark Knight Strikes Again could have been really good. No, because they were using all no, that it, experimental art too, which took a, a yeah. lot away from it. So no, it couldn't have been good. Okay, if they use normal art and actually, see, this is why I I think this will definitely be better than Strikes Again, the Master Race, because you've got Brian Azzarello there to filter through. I'm telling you now, Azzarello's writing the book. As well as, I, I don't know. You're going to have yeah. cra- crazy, crazy Uncle Frank Miller by his side telling him crazy stories of the, Miller, of, of the Miller. left wing politics and uh, right wing. Oh, he hates the left wing. Ah, they're trying to get you, Azarella. I'm Frank Miller. <laughs> I <laughs> communists are coming. I'm the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> it's like the fucking Crypt Keeper, man. <laughs> he looks like a fucking Crypt Keeper. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Jake, I saw my Twitter. How dare you post the Tom Hardy tick there? I'm going to go hashtag uh, disband Hardy from America. Get him out of America. We want him out. We want him out. We'll We're, take him back. You take him back. He's only the films he makes in Britain are actually the best films he does. Like, Locke is incredible. Hello. You'd love that. He's the only actor in the film. Really? You know what? Yeah, it's him, it's him driving a car for two hours. He just chooses bad roles. Like, I don't think he should have been Mad Max. Honestly. 
honestly. He wasn't the worst choice. But he was Chris Pratt. He wasn't the best choice. And he, they, he played the role well. It was a you can tell that that's the same Mad Max that Mel Gibson played. But I kind of would want an older Mad Max with Mel Gibson, wouldn't you? That would be interesting yeah, well, Mel as hell. Mel Gibson is also a um, well a well renowned racist. <laughs> well, you know what? Then I would have if George Miller wasn't directing it. I would have liked to see Mel Gibson direct it. Yeah. But I'm glad that he got. Um, Miller back for it, and he did an incredible job with it. Okay, I got. Just, remember, just I got, remember, this is the guy that made Happy Feet. I got, I got a, I got a call out at Aaron Bess here on the Twitch chat. His son says that Superman is a bully, and Superman is a bully. He's the biggest bully of them all. Superman punched a shadow monster in Action Comics Forty Three. The drop wasn't awesome. That's why it made no money. If James Gandolf, no, if, it, if it, it wasn't James Gandolfini's last movie, it would have made zero money. I wasn't keen on it. It was it was hor- It was like, you know, there's a standard of like mob movies, and you, you see movies like The Godfather and Goodfellas on top, and like Scarface, for a reason yeah. because they can't make another good mob movie because it's everything's, I don't know, everything's just a parody of that. Yeah, and I totally agree that freaking Superman is a bully. No, he's not. Absolutely. The whole point of his character is that he sticks up for the weak. What he chooses to be the weak. Mm. He, you know what? I, I think he's Superboy funny. once punched reality and shattered it. Okay, Superman also wants to beat Darkseid by singing at him. Okay, let's let's let's. But it's supposed to be like a mobster type movie. Like, oh, we make mobster drops off at this. Oh, oh, forget about it. James Gandolfini, another overrated actor, by the way. Uh, as as an Italian American who lives in New York, who lived in New York, I was offended by The Sopranos. But it kind of justified the shitty state of New Jersey, though. I I enjoyed him in The Sopranos. I just couldn't get behind him. I couldn't. I never, I know, I didn't, I, I didn't see the appeal of him or that show. Yeah, I think it's a good show. I don't think it's as good as everyone makes it out to be, but I, I enjoy it. You, you, you can best judge that show by how it ended, a black screen. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that. I didn't, I didn't. Um, exactly. I know people I, like to. It's one of those people like to look too much into. I think they just didn't know how to end it. They didn't know how to end it. Uh, Aaron Best says on Twitch uh, right now, he says, Superman forces people in, in the way he thinks throughout fear of his powers equals a bully, which I 100% agree. But isn't that the exact same thing Batman does? Well, Batman's a bully too. He's okay, one of the, so isn't, isn't that also the same thing that Captain America does? Absolutely. a soldier? No, he doesn't. He does? Does not. When he basically finds out that the government aren't doing what he wants, he just basically just takes them down. He finds out that the government is a Nazi organization. Okay. That's trying to... The, that's, your that's, government that's, most that's, likely. That's, that is creating a Big Brother program that's going to pre-kill people before they become a quote-unquote problem. So, no. So, he's is not, that not... He's I, not think, I think that's pretty true to life, in all honesty. And he's not a bully. He's trying to fucking save the world. So, what's, what's the difference in Captain America's... Um, morale, like sense of reason, and Superman's. Superman tries <laughs> is forcing people to think one way through his fear of power. He's a superpower being, the strongest being on the earth. He's lo- looks like to a god, and he has no sense of, um, no sense of collateral damage. No sense of. Oh, okay. I gotta kill a bunch of. If I kill a bunch of people, but save a lot more, that's okay. That's not okay. That's being a fucking bully. You're a bully. You're with your. your no, bully he, with Superman your, tries not to kill, but he kills a lot of people in collateral. Okay. He he by trying not to kill, he kills and Batman too. He kills. He's a murderer. He's probably he. I think Batman and Superman should be thrown in jail. Honestly, if you want to go by like. You want it for a realistic? Just because just you want to see Booster Gold get a spot in the Justice League. Not even that. Really? That's I mean, the only way he'll get a spot. 
is if you put all the other Justice League in jail. I'm going to argue this point with you with Batman. Uh, how many times has Batman put Joker in jail? You would say a lot, like yeah. a lot of fucking times. How many mm-hmm. times does he escape and murder more people? Mm-hmm. Would you say every single time? Yeah. Okay. Bat- so if Batman, Batman is responsible for every one of those deaths. Every one of those deaths are in Batman's yep. hands. 100%. I completely, I completely agree with you. And he does the same thing with like fucking Simon Grundy and any name any Batman villain. No, I, I completely agree with you. But the fact is, if but he, Batman says himself... But if, if Batman determines... So Batman's but, a villain, technically. Yes, but also, would it not make Batman more of a villain if he did kill the Joker? Absolutely not. Because it's not his place to play the role of executioner. If he then goes and murders the Joker, but he's a murderer just as much. In a flawed judicial system where people like Joker, people like Joker get the death penalty ASAP. Yes, but <laughs> we, we do not. It's not our job to play God. Well, he thinks he's playing a God. What, what, by putting what on what right does it by, give? By putting on a mask and being a vigilante, he thinks he's a God and he can control the system. Yes, but what right does it give a man to kill another man just because he has killed a man? Should that man then be killed for killing a man? And if so, where does it end and why do we keep killing people? Batman is in, more in the wrong than anyone else, though. He, he, I think we're... Go on. Let's, 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 let's... We have actually a prime example. Uh, uh, Mordok? Oh, crap, I always screw up his name. In Kingdom Come. Magog. Magog, thank you. I knew I was saying it wrong and it really was bothering me. Steroid Loki. Steroid Loki, thank you. Uh, Magog. If Rob Liefeld drew Loki. (laughs) If Magog, I think Magog was in the right. He murdered the Joker after killing everyone in the Daily Planet building, including Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen. So So by him murdering, he was shunned by society. He wasn't. He was adored by society. No, he went to. That's the whole reason. He went into isolation in Kansas. No, I thought you meant Magog. Magog was adored by society. Superman basically said, "Right, yeah, if you want these fucking nuts, well, if they... you'd rather have these nutbags who are take who are taking the law into their own hands and are playing the role of executioners and just because how, they can." How, how is that different than Superman or Batman? Because Superman isn't killing people. Really? So killing an alien, another killing Doomsday, is not equivalent to killing someone. Else, killing a citizen. Okay, he didn't actually intentionally kill Doomsday, but he did. So okay, it'd be, it'd be, him. it would be it would be second degree murder, murder without intent. All right. Well, are we going to stand Superman on trial? Uh, yes, they should. So, in injustice, would you say Superman's in the right? He's more in the right than Batman is. I'm not saying he's 100 percent correct, but he's more in the right than Batman. Because after the, that's the, because I think what you're saying, the Joker does the exact same thing as he does in Kingdom Come, and Superman just puts his arm through him and murders him. Exactly. But you know what? He's a superpower being, and then he becomes the god of the world. Okay, that's, so does that not put him more in the wrong than he was if he didn't kill the Joker? Two people should have been held accountable for that crime. What Joker did should have been held accountable and should be uh, put to the death penalty, and after... Superman, without a fair trial, didn't just murder him. He should be put to the death penalty. How do you, how do you put Superman to the death penalty? You know, how do you? That's a good question. But but with your 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 argument is that he should be accountable for the murder of the Joker too. Mm-hmm. But but it seems to be the yes, but the, you don't punish the, the, the Gotham. Yes, but is it not? But in Gotham City and in Metropolis, the laws seem a little lackluster. You know. Well, aliens don't have rights. That's right. That's right, El Chivo. Aliens do not have rights. Is he a registered this citizen? Is, this is getting, they this should is de- getting deeply political. He should be deported. Clark Kent is. He should be deported. Does he? He has fake fake papers. He should be deported. To where? His planet blew up. I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> where are you going to put him? I'm not fucking here. <laughs> El Chivo Comics says, can you guys talk about something more better? I don't know. Better. 
this is a very deeply philosophical yeah, this is, segment. How about in the chat? And Any, I'm have, anyone else other than El Chivo Comics will enjoy this conversation? Oh shit, I meant to be writing the script. <laughs> yeah, we need you need two hours. Injection by kryptonite, death penalty right there. Injection of kryptonite. <laughs> are those morning birds chirping? Yes, they are. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh man. So, so uh, Longstar, what do, what, do we, what do you want us to talk about? Because we can debate about this a little further, or we can change out the topic. Or how about you, uh, Aaron Bliss? Because we're here for you, the people. No, we're not. We hate people. Yeah, that's why we do podcasting. <laughs> that is precisely the reason we do live shows three times a week. <laughs> El because Chivo, we hate people. El Chivo Comics says it's not a bad conversation, but he just doesn't care about Superman. So we should just talk about Superman from now at this point on for a little bit more. What if Tom Hardy played Superman? Yeah, what if Tom Hardy played Superman? We know, we know your love affair with Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy has to play Booster Gold. No, Owen Wilson would be the best yeah. Booster Gold. Um, like, no, really. Have you ever seen Booster Gold? They kind of just... look. They kind of look identical. I see it, but only if Ben Stiller plays Blue Beetle. That would be hilarious. You would not. You would not see that as a com like a comedy action hero film. I want to see. I want to see Blue Beetle and Booster Gold in like a buddy cop film. That, that's how. Bo Dur that's the perfect du Booster Gold. Exactly. Directed directed by Brett Ratner. <laughs> no, I think Brett Ratner could do that. Look at just do Rush Hour just with Booster Gold and <laughs> and Blue Beetle. What if Nick Cage played Superman by Longster? Uh, the world would be a better place. That's what ha what would happen. The world, the, um, the Mayan calendar would have ended and we would have died. <laughs> the apocalypse would have happened. But um, uh -huh. who... okay, I'm reading an article from ComicBookMovie.com, and it is the biggest lie I've ever seen. This says that Seth Rogen is up for the role of Blue Beetle. Yeah. And James Franco is up for the role of Booster Gold. That's bullshit. It also says that um, Tom Hardy is up for Guy Gardner. <laughs> I think he's more um, more of a Kyle. Johnny Depp will be Mr. Miracle. Oh my god. Is this just like um, fan casting or is this like legit sources? The the claim that they have a guy on the inside. Oh um, maybe? Uh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, just I just wanted to make I just wanted, you know who'd make a great booster gold and um El El maybe. El who, maybe. No, like a real good one? Forrest Forrest Whitaker. Todd Phillips. Todd the guy who directed Old School. Jason Bateman to play Booster Gold. I uh, see. I wouldn't mind that, but I think he's a little too old. Okay, Jason Derulo. Eh, maybe. Nick's been gone for a long time. Has he left the show? <laughs> he said. He said he's coming back. <laughs> he put maybe. a lot. He put a lot of trust in us by carrying it this long. <laughs> yeah. He knows that you're a loose cannon and I'm drunk. <laughs> That's what we can name our new show. <laughs> drunk Firecrackers. Drunk Firecrackers. Oh, should, we, should we look at uh, 1990s Justice League fan casting again? Let's leave it up to the chat. We're here for the people right now. Would you like me to look at um, people's ideas for 1990s Justice League fan casts? And me. All of them at some point will include Swayze. The director of The Hangover, correct. Let's just look at um, awful fan casting. Okay. Okay, this is... Um, what if Superman was made in the 1990s? It'd be uh, Nick Cage. Continue. No. Directed by Steven Spielberg. Really? Because Steven Spielberg would never do that. With music by John Williams. Just to get back. I want to see Randy, hold on, just, I want to see Randy Newman. Just, like, to, just to cut you off for a second, uh, I meant to say Adam McKay would direct the Blue Beetle Booster Gold, not Todd Phillips. I, yeah. 
Yeah. My my apologize. I apologize. I I, I see that. Right. Except Adam McKay probably want to direct a film that'd make money. I think that would make money. Okay. Honestly. Rob Lowe is Clark Kent. Rob Lowe is Clark Kent. I would no. I would not. Rob Schneider is Jonathan Kent. Sold. I am now sold on this movie. <laughs> Diane Weist is Martha Kent. <laughs> is David Jeffrey S- Johns? <laughs> Jeffrey Johns is Perry White. No, it would have to be Chris Farley as Perry White. Is Pe- Chris Farley as Perry White? Yeah. Guys in here, Clark. Oh my gosh. Chris Farley is maybe as Jimmy Olsen. No, David Spade as Jimmy, Jimmy Olsen. Young. David Spade. Courtney as- Cox is Lois Lane. Yeah. Courtney Cox? Yeah, well, I love me yeah. some Courtney Cox. She's pretty good in most of the stuff she's in. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, let's have a look. Michael Ironside is Dark Side. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now they're just casting people from the animated series. Yeah. Fancy Brown is Lex Luthor. <laughs> they're like, let's just take, uh, let's just take the animated like, series and put it into real life. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, JLA 90s fan cast. <laughs> Superman will be played by Billy Campbell. Billy Campbell, the Rocketeer? Yeah. I would, you know what? Sure. I like the Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Batman will be played by Keanu Reeves. Fuck no. He'd be coming right. Ra- no, what are you saying? Uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, Keanu Reeves would be coming off of what movie? <laughs> Bill and Ted at that point? Um, we're talking like Devil's Advocate Speed. Okay. Then maybe. Keanu. Then maybe. Yeah, then maybe Keanu, Keanu Reeves would be okay then. Um, Wonder Woman, Catherine Zeta Jones? Uh, no. No. Yeah, I, I, I think that would have been okay. No, I don't think so. Uh, Wally West, Mark Paul Gosselaar. Zach Morris for you people. From, uh, from Saved by the Bell. Yep. Um, Carl Rayner. <laughs> yes, this is the best. Oh uh, Austin St. John. Austin St. So Jason the Red Ranger from, pa- yep. from Power Rangers. Oh, this is the best. Ladies and gentlemen, This I need to see this as Aquaman. What? 90s Aquaman. I'm so Just get rid of Jason Momoa and bring this guy in. Patrick Swayze. Fuck yeah. They should I want to see. They should fucking they should get a get a shovel and dig up <laughs> dig up fucking Patrick Swayze and put put him in a fucking Aquaman costume and CG his face. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see that fucking Jason Momoa guy. No, Momoa will be a good Aquaman. Definitely Defoe is the next Joker. Hands down. Missed opportunity. Oh, it was a big miss opportunity. Even they wasted him with Green Goblin. Like he was good in the film, but you cast a man who looks like a goblin. Yeah. And you put a mask on him. <laughs> it's un. Yeah, uh, there was a miss opportunity all around. I I I love Momoa's Aquaman design though. I really do. I adore it. So. I think I think the next Green Lantern should be Alan Scott. No chance. <laughs> Why? Because DC he hates literally. G- DC hates no, gays. No, for one, he's not even a main continuity Green Lantern. Yeah, no, he's an Earth Two Green Lantern. I know, but it's called he's Green Lantern. Even- it's called Green Lantern Corps, yeah, but- though. So you yeah, can have Earth Two. Alan Scott isn't part of the Green Lantern Corps. But he can be since he's a Green Lantern. Yeah, but that's has it's literally the only thing that has in common with um, the Green Lantern Corps is the fact that it's called Green Lantern and he has a ring. He gets his powers from, like, nature. He's like the uh, the elemental symbol of nature. Did you hear about the, uh, I know this is a little off topic, but the new Power Ranger movie uh, character details? I don't want to. I don't want to. Why not? Because you're young. Because you're young and you didn't grow up with Power Rangers. I grew up watching the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, okay? Why, was that around when it got to uh, the UK? Okay, I love the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. 
And I, I even loved Power Rangers in space, okay? See you, I see, stuck see, around. See you later, El Cheapo. Is he, is he left? Yep. Good, now we can have a good time. I'm just joking, Jake. <laughs> I, I even stuck around for Power Rangers in space. But l l let me read you this uh, description of each character. Wild Force! Wild Force! Oh, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. That was awful. So, Lightspeed Rescue. That was awful. Power Rangers Time Force. That was okay. Power Rangers Wild Force. The best thing ever. Okay. I, I disagree, but I don't think I've watched any of those, but... <laughs> I think, I think Power Rangers Wild Force is the second best Power Rangers. But um, just for the theme song. Oh, uh, that's no fair. You just can't be like, oh, theme song's awesome. Well, that's the reason why the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is the best. Because that Damn. was one of the best theme songs ever. But uh, here, let me let me show you each description of each character, and you tell me: Are you familiar with the original? Yeah. Power Rangers. Okay. So Jason. Just Kim. Wait, does Kimberly show up? Yeah, I'm gonna get to okay, that. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go through the guys. We'll go through Jason first. Jason is described as the former superstar quarterback who lost his entire career and himself Fuck after, this. Out of a, after a car accident. Fuck this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The teenager, uh, teenager, <laughs> the teenager finds don't. himself regaining his self-conscious, self-confidence as he leads up the spandex Don group as he saves the world against the Putty Patrol. Nope. Okay, Tim, Kimberly now. I think you're going to have the biggest problem with this. And I think we all know why certain things happen. Is, it, is she played by Megan Fox? No, there's no actors associated with these. These are just descriptions sure. that the couple... There won't, there, trust me, there won't be. <laughs> so... She was a bit of a D-bag on this note. Tommy Oliver. So, so Kimberly, let's go to Kimberly. So Kimberly was a popular gymnast who left high school for six months. After she returns, is, she is plagued by rumors surrounding her absence, forcing her to be a rebellious attitude. So she basically got knocked up and had an abortion, essentially. That's what they're, That's the description. That, that's the description. So how do you feel about that, Kimberly? Hello? Okay, there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Why is my childhood being curb stomped repeatedly by Hollywood? Okay, Trini. <laughs> Stop. Trini. Trini's always the new kid as her parents constantly move for work. She's bright but mysterious. The lone teenager's. <laughs> I can't even Fuck read this shit. I can't even read this seriously. <sighs> You want to hear uh, Zach or Bill? You want to hear Zach or Billy next? Neither. Or we'll go with Billy. <laughs> Billy is a smart, nerdy, and socially awkward. So he's basically Sheldon. Um, <laughs> dis <laughs> describes, <laughs> describes the brainy teen as showing his emotions, understanding scar sarcasm, and dealing with it, his OCD in a constant challenge. So he is OC day. So he's fucking Sheldon from that stupid show. Uh, <laughs> he finds himself befriending the former star athlete Jason. So oh they, yeah. So they have a bromance. Oh, of course, of course they do. Fucking course. Ready and finally, last but not least, Zach. Zach oh. is a. <laughs> Uh, let me sh let me get some water in me before I cry. Uh, I'm having a breakdown. So Zach is a confident teenager. He is a party animal and an awesome athlete. He's described as a charming guy who never had trouble with one-liners, nor a lacking confidence around women. Okay. Is he played by Channing Tatum? Um, or I'm, Zach Efron? I'm not done with the description. You're going to hate this in one second. I, no, you're done. However, he I'm, I'm shutting your butt down. He, however, he hides the fact that he lives in a trailer park with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
So, uh, that was like the most random so, like, plot twist. I would love for him to be played by eight by Eminem. That would be the best thing <laughs> ever. If fucking Eminem reprises his eight mile role in this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds like a piece of shit. So that's the character descriptions. Wait, I didn't ask. Are we allowed to swear on this? Oh, we, we've been fucking doing it anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fucking, fucking <laughs> killing joke. How, how about you people in the chat? Do you like these? Do you like these descriptions? <sighs> There's no way uh, Hyper GT to find the Power Rangers episodes in order because Saban, doesn't, just so. Saban doesn't even know what order they go in. <laughs> <laughs> in fairness, you can watch it in any order. Yeah. Yeah, you really can. JDF, I agree. That is damn horrible descriptions. This movie is going to be a shit show. Yep. But you know what? It'll be better than Fantastic Four because it'll have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Guaranteed. Yeah, I, I like my films that have actually middles. <laughs> I like films that take place <laughs> in mo more than a laboratory. And Vancouver. And Vancouver. As nice as Vancouver is, Not I don't a... spend the entire movie there. <laughs> And as nice as labs are, I don't want to... the fact was that. Do you know what the worst part was? They didn't even build a set for that lab. Oh it was no! A green screen. Oh no! It's fucking horrible. If you're gonna spend the whole fucking movie there, at least build a fucking set. At least. The whole movie was shot on a fucking green screen. Uh -huh. And I bet that I bet that 120 million budget. It was literally just spent on Josh Trank's bitch fits. No, it was it was spent on Miles Teller's bitch fits. My, my, it spent on knives and forks for Miles Teller, and on his, <laughs> it was spent on his servants. <laughs> servants were cutting his food, <laughs> and, he, and he, all his little bells that he rings for them. <laughs> yep, he had a, he he was required to have a different bell every day, <laughs> or he was gonna fight. Uh, what's her name? Kate Mara. Wild Force. Wild Force. Wild Force. Are you done writing up your Wild little script? Force. Are you done writing up oh, your little well, script I'm... there? No. <laughs> okay. Because it's been more than an hour. Should I'm watching I'm watching the Twitch. I've been, I've been calling you out, Aaron. Come on. No love, man. I tried to send you some love. Where is the love? Patrick Duffy as an Aquaman? Also acceptable. Ooh. That's also an acceptable Aquaman. 100% agreed, man. Yeah. We're allowed to drop swear bombs? Like three F-bombs. That's right, man. Only, we're only allowed three. Per sentence? Nope. Per show. Oh, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, now, we're, now, we're, now we hit the limit. Oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> Come on. Decorum there, Owen. Decorum. Fuck decorum. <laughs> Uh, let's let's per peruse the internet of uh, crazy. Oh, want to talk about video games for a little bit? I'm down to talk about little video games. Do you play a lot of video games, Owen? Nope. Nope. Oh, this is gonna be a great conversation then. <laughs> well, you tell me. You tell me about video games. I literally play three games. What games? FIFA. Me too. Um, WWE. Okay. And Arkham Knight. Okay, great. The three games. The they are literally the three games I've played this year. Want to talk about WWE 2K16 for a little bit? Um, yeah, the graphics look incredible. They do look incredible, but you know what? Um, there's a man who um, cheated on his family and housed a baby with a with a maid that's going to be in the game that I do, I'm not I'm not liking. Can you guess? Who? Who that is? Can you guess who that is? You know what, Arnie? That's Arnie. Yeah. So, so you drop it. You just <laughs> I, I, I'm in the game now. I do you eat the i I'm a, I'm a, the Dominator. I'm a cop, you idiot. A wrong movie. <laughs> Fucking Arnie. Who is your daddy? What does, what he, does he do? Girls have penises. <laughs> Boys have penises. Girls have vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you seen who's? Have you seen the Kindergarten Cop too? 
Yeah, you know what? I'm okay. Have you seen who's been cast for it? I'm okay with it because Dolph Lundgren's in it. Have you seen the picture of Dolph Lundgren on set though? No, I haven't. Is the best thing ever. I think is it the set scene where he's like outside with the shotgun? No, he's in. He's in the. Um, he's in the classroom with the kids. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Honestly, it's one of the few sequels I don't mind seeing. I will. Um, I will place the image in our private chat where we. Where it's we not a tumor. That's right, Aaron. It's, it's not, not a tumor. It's a headache. Is it a tumor? That movie has such great quotes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cop, you idiot. I'm a cop, you idiot. You know what? I think uh, Dolph Lundgren's... He's, he's very underrated, man. Yeah. He has a master's degree in physics, I believe. Mm-hmm. And applied... applied to college. He's, he's a smart cat, man. I want to see a kindergarten film with Vin Diesel. That would be the fucking balls. Hey, man. All the... Teacher, teacher, why do you keep drinking Coronas? Fam- <laughs> Family. John Claude Van Damme when he just occasionally just busts out a cause light. <laughs> family, young kid. Family. It's all about family. It's been a long time. <laughs> this one's for my buddy. <laughs> What's my buddy name? Paul. What was his name in the movie? I don't even know. Brian, Brian, I think... You think I pay attention to the characters? I just want to see cool shit. Yeah, right? Uh, I don't... Those films don't have plots. They just have buff guys, boobs, and explosions. That's all I need. (laughs) I love me some buff guys in cars. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about the explosion. Thank you, Longsir. He has a degree in chemical engineering. He's a smart cat, man. Fucking. You will lose. Yeah, Vin Diesel did do a babysitting movie already, unfortunately. Oh, he did the pacifier? Yep. Yep. That was a cock of shit. But, uh. But fucking Dolph Lundgren's a smart cat, man. And I do agree, Aaron, that uh, Dolph's version of The Punisher is the best to date. Um, who played him in um, Warzone? It was Tom. It was Dolph Lundgren. Tom. Was it Ray Stevenson. Ray Stevenson. Yep. I liked Ray Stevenson's. But that movie. But Tom Hardy. But Tom Hardy would be better. Oh fuck you and your Tom Hardy! You don't really believe that. I think the trailer for Legend looks really good. Which movie? Uh, when he does. Bri- when he does British films, they're good. Yeah, but it doesn't do a lot of British films anymore. No. He fucking takes roles in the fucking Batman series as the most ridiculous character ever. Yeah, a character who is pretty shit in the comics. Pretty shit in the comics and really shit in the fucking movies. Yeah. 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 What can you do? You know, um, you know, what you yeah. can, you know, what you can do. You cannot see the movie and fucking not give these people money. That's the best thing. The best thing you could do. Honestly. Yeah. There's. I didn't know that there was a under Underworld Five coming. Hmm. I don't care about that. Yeah, it's something that you just don't care about. But let's talk back to game. We kind of trailed off the game conversation. Um, how do you feel about um, WWE 2K16? I think it's going to be a really fun game. There's it, was, it was definitely 2K15 was definitely a step in the right direction. But it, it, it felt like an incomplete game. Well, it was because um, basically when. Um, the act- when the 2K team actually sat down and look at- looked at the codes for the game, the game engine was running off um, PlayStation 2 code. Uh. Two generations old code, which was inco- a lot of it was incompatible with current gen. So they literally had to completely rip the code to pieces and start again, which is why the game feels incomplete. 
because they just ripped out all the coding that didn't work. Oh, shit. Which is why they took so many features out. Yeah, it felt like a very incomplete game. Well, that's why that came out a few months ago, and now for the new game, it's completely new. They've completely recoded it all. Because I was one of those dumb people who bought the uh, season pass and thought I'd be getting all the characters and didn't. Mm. Because there was an awesome like pack for like the WCW characters, an ECW pack. Like, that's my shit right there. Yeah, normally that's what season pass was, but it was a bit of a rip-off this year. Yeah, you just got like extra like story modes. Like, I don't want fucking story yeah. modes from my WWE. I don't want to play as Mark Henry. Right? Seamus. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck Seamus. Well, Fuck shape. A little segue here that we're going to be doing a live uh, broadcast ever SummerSlam ten, uh, on these respective channels. Uh, me and Owen will be doing a Let's Chat Wrestling podcast post SummerSlam show. So uh, you guys should definitely. Darn, darn tootin'. Darn, you've been darn tootin' watch. Because it's, it's going to be. Watch the gosh dang. The gosh dang stream. It's going to be two drunk people on that stream that night. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a sober person to help us get through it. <laughs> that we're trying out. <laughs> we, will, we will have a third guest who is named after two of the best teenage superhero characters of all time. Bruce. And we will disclose nothing more about him. He remains a mystery until, until the, show. the show. Or until we announce it. Which would be the show? Yes. Yep. <laughs> excited. Very excited. It'll be, it'll be, an, it'll be, a, it'll be a nice... Uh... It's, by the way, it's not like a wrestler. It's just a guy we know. Yeah. It's just a third guy. <laughs> Nothing special. We're not like promising like Lex Luger. Hogan! Hogan's the third man! Hogan's the third man! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Like, here's the deal, Hogan. You gotta throw in a racial slur every third and third sentence. That's the only way you get on the show. Well, I'm actually here. We go. Now I'm back up. I'm back up in here. We go. Good night, Aaron. Aaron's leaving. But uh. Goodbye, Aaron. Goodbye, Aaron. <laughs> Alan. Did someone say Alan? Do you hear someone say Alan? Oh, hi, I'm Alan Moore. I'm here. I'm in the chat. Oh, hey! Hey, Grant, is that you, buddy? Oh, buddy. Oh, I can't do that. We need Nick here. <laughs> Alan's still here, Alan. don't worry. Alan, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> he doesn't go into any of these people. It makes no sense. I'm shutting, I'm shutting your butt down. <laughs> you know what's awesome? We have no material set up for this. <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> and uh, uh go, we are Mr. terrible hosts. Mr. Goldman's been gone. It's like when mom. It's like mom. It's like when the parents leave, and we've done all He's the like, fire and, and ritualistic <laughs> side with the dog. And then and then we have nothing else to do after all that's done. <laughs> there, will, there will be a live developmental discussions once I'm done copying pasting <laughs> someone else's show notes. <laughs> Is the, oh, the sun's up. Oh, I think I should have got the taxi driver to take me to McDonald's on the way back. Yeah. No, you get you well, gotta you go to Taco Bell after drunk nights. That's the place. We don't have a Taco Bell. Do you have a White Castle? No. Oh, we have an actual castle. Not a White Castle, though. No. It is. It is. It was white, but now it's more like a limestone. <laughs> Good enough. We'll be playing games like Dying Light. Oh, I'm all. I had some awesome uh, Tex Mex food tonight. It's disagreeing with my stomach right now. TMI, baby. TMI. <laughs> oh, this is the. I, oh, I love doing this script. <laughs> I love the fact that you love doing this script. Oh, this is the best. So we talked about uh, the character descriptions for Power Rangers. Uh, 
Go, go, Power Rangers. Give the Power Rangers rights back to Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> if Batman, Superman um, flops, I literally go on every possible website I can and put give the rights back to Marvel. <laughs> That would be great if they they kind of just like started to believe everybody. Like, I guess Marvel owns it. Here you go. Are you are you psyched about the new Pirates of the Caribbean? Dead Men Tells No Lies. No, no. I have not been psyched about Pirates of the Caribbean movie since the first one. I haven't even seen any of them, to be honest. They're all like horrible. I've seen the first one and bits of the second one. Well, I must say, the first one was decent, Did, second one I walked out of. Yes. Did you hear about uh, George Lucas saying he's not apologizing for George R. Banks? I won't apologize for what I do to George Lucas if I ever met him. He looks like an Ewok. He is an Ewok. He, cr- he created his master race of Ewok-like people. He definitely sits at home and listens to the Gungan song. I imagine he sat at home with a guitar trying to work out the chords of the most out of his container music. Why have they not made, like, you know, you get like themed restaurants? Yeah. Why is there not a Mose Eisley cantina? Dude, they're really fucking shit. You know why? Because fucking. Besides nope. the fact it's like dumb. Let's be honest, now since Marvel has the rights, that might actually happen. Give, give Star Wars rights back to Marvel. Well, Disney owns it. Disney owns it. They already have the rights. I don't care. Get, take them off Lucasfilm and give them to Marvel. <laughs> here, here, George, take your rights back and just sell it back to us again. <laughs> Do you, you think they're going to make a hand... Sh- are they going to make a hand shot first reference in Episode 7? Absolutely. There'll be a scene where, like, Han shoots someone and somebody's like, but you shot first. And he's like, I always shoot first. I always shoot first. That would be, that'd Just be ask, fucking ask awesome. Greedo. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, you can't because I shot him. Are you, are you excited Disney uh, unveil, uh, revealed the new uh, Incredibles 2 movie poster? Yes. Yes. I just, I'm so excited that we're getting a good Fantastic Four movie soon. Right? And the, the first Fantastic Four movie, Incredibles 1, was amazing. There's, uh, what else did they, they revealed the, the Finding Dory, which I don't, I'm not really into. I will, I will see it, the, I'll wait for the trailers. Yeah, I'm, I'm not disowning it yet, but I'm just totally, I'm just kind of not into it. The Cars 3, which I'm totally not seeing. Um, I, Cars is literally Pixar's only bad film. Yeah, the Cars ones are garbage. It's a shame because other than that, they would have a perfect track record. Even Ratatouille was good. I loved Ratatouille. I thought it was a it's great. It's probably movie. my because I don't count Cars. It's probably my least favorite, but it's still a fun film. It is a fun film. Okay, what's your favorite Pixar movie? It has to be Incredibles. Yeah, but all. Oh. Well, I, I'd still say Incredibles. Up is number two for me. And then the Toy, Toy Story. Story. Toy Story 1, 2, then 3. I think 2 might be my favorite Toy Story. Uh, I like the first one. I, the second one's okay. No, I, I really like the second one. And by okay, I mean okay by Toy Story standards. Um, so amazing. So it's amazing. But um, I think I think it goes 2, 3, 1 for me. 2, 3, 1? You know what? I love yeah. I love the third one, but it was just so sad. Yeah, it was. It, it was like depressing to watch. It was. So it was, like, it was so good. Have you seen Have you seen the news about the fourth one? It's, I heard it's going to be a prequel. And it's no, a, they've now said it's not a prequel. I think. Really? Yeah, because at first they were saying it looks like it is, but now from what I can gather, it's not. It's not. Yeah. You know what is it? It's something that I'm going to watch anyway. Of course. So, like, I, I, I don't mind waiting for an official... It could, tra- be, it could be two hours of Woody's nightmare scene from Toy Story 2. Right, that's... You know, it's like, goodbye, Woody. Goodbye, Woody. That, will, that fucked me up for years. I don't want to play with you anymore. anymore. 
Uh, no one's gay for Woody. <laughs> oh my god, you can't say that. <laughs> um, Bill fucking Murray. Yeah, let's talk about Bill Murray for a minute. I love Bill Murray. Let's talk about Bill Murray and his poor decision making skills for a minute. What? Because he's in the Ghostbusters film. Because he's in that fucking Ghostbusters film. Yeah, but can you imagine Dan Aykroyd rolling up to his house with wheelbarrows full of money? <laughs> you know what it is? I think the studio has dick pics of Bill Murray, and they, they he doesn't want him released, and they're holding him hostage to shoot this film. Bill Murray's the Batman. That almost happened. It's definitely... Uh, that almost happened. JDF, I think it's just a, a, ca- a cash grab film. I really do. Because All films are cash grabs. Absolutely, but some films more than others. Every movie is a cash grab. There's no such thing. The only reason any film gets made is because the studio thinks we can make money off it. That's true. That's very true. That's a good point. I, I don't get the whole, oh, the movie's a cash grab. Every film is a cash grab. Oh, my God. That's really cool. I just saw this on... Uh, DC's going to have Looney Tomb team up, team-ups for variant covers. Yeah. That's really yeah. fucking cool. There's some, there's some really cool ones. And I think that's the same month for the variant Marvel uh, hip hop covers. Oh. So I really like the um, the bombshell variants that we got this week. I got the um, what did I get the bombshell variants for? Um, for I got bombshell variants for Action Comics, Batman, Superman, and Batman. The Batman variant cover is awesome. It's like a um, old time like private detective Batman. Oh yeah, he I looks like that. Johnny Depp. He looks like Johnny Depp, and he's in like a long trench coat, a hat, and like a bulletproof vest with a bat symbol on it. Uh-huh. And it's Bruce Wayne's detective agency. Uh, the Action Comics one is a magazine called Hero Life, and it's like an old fashioned strongman, and it's uh-huh. Power Girl and Superman. Um. And the Batman Superman one is um, what looks like Lois Lane and Batgirl. So that's quite cool. So, how is everyone tonight over in the chat? What are we all up to? As I said, I'm just finishing off the script for uh, DHD that we're going to do in a little bit. So that'll be really fun. Figured that we should, we should try to do one. So how is everyone tonight? What are we all up to? So, I'm going to see if I can find anything to do with the Civil War trailer. Yeah, that's a good question. Has anyone seen the Civil War trailer in the chat? Don't don't post links, but if you have, let me know if it's any good. You know, I, I like variant covers, but sometimes they're so... I, I always try and get the variant covers. You know, I like... like I, 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 I enjoy them. It's, it's hard for me to get... It's not hard for me. It's like I get so many comics a week. Yeah. I, I well, would, when I literally my pull list uh, is literally every single comic in in a store yeah. in my store. So like I'm already spending a couple hundred dollars on comics, and when you get these yeah. d- double like variant covers on I stuff, spent, I spent fifteen dollars, and I thought that was a lot for me. <laughs> Like just we spent like, the equivalent of three hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, like this week alone, I spent five hundred and thirty dollars on comics, <laughs> and most of them were shit. Most of them are shit. Like it's comics no, plus, no, I, I, plus plus a couple statues I bought this week too. What statues did you get? Um, I got a awesome variant uh, Wonder Woman statue. I've been collecting all the Wonder Woman statues they've been putting out because they're pretty fucking cool. Uh, I got a black and white Batgirl from the animated series statue. Oh. Um, do, I, do, can you move her legs? No, unfortunately not. Oh, so, so it's just so it's just like the actual Batgirl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you're going with that one, Owen. <laughs> that was that was what I'm gonna call my killing joke. There you go. That was your killing joke, man. <laughs> But I do like the bombshells, and they're they're. I have all the statues, and they're really cool. 
but I don't know if I can. Like, I don't want to get fucking two issues of Green Lantern. <laughs> nah, I don't want to get. That. Like, uh, yeah, seriously, JDF, that's that's my weekly poll. <laughs> okay, serious, serious question. What Shoot, is Nick. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I've been streaming for about two and a half hours right now. But, eh. but it's very weird. I love the bombshells, and I love all the. I have all the statues, and the bombshell series that's out right now is fantastic. Um, but I can't justify getting every single bomb because this is the second run of the bombshell variant covers. I don't. I can't justify that. Yeah. Like the hip hop, the hip hop, the Marvel hip hop co- covers that are coming out soon is are pretty damn cool. So I don't mind. Yeah, doubling up on that shit. Um, and I think these uh, Looney Tune variants in November are going to be pre- pretty cool, also. So we'll see. <clears throat> Squizzy. So uh, it looks like we're going to get a new a new mutant script coming out soon. Yeah? Yeah. That could be cool. By uh, Josh Boone, writer-director. Ooh. That's good. Well, um, I, I, will, I will be interested in that. Are you going to go with, like, the definitive New Mutants with Deadpool and Cable? And... Is, is it a TV series or a film script? Uh, let me double check. I think it's, I a, think it's... it's TV. I think it might be a TV script. Then, then there's no chance. Yeah, it's a TV. Yeah, they'll go with like B level characters. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. But then again, Marvel owns the TV rights to that. What are they gonna fucking do? Fuck knows. <laughs> it's like it's great that you guys are writing a script. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, that's, yeah, that's, that's nice. <laughs> that's great. You guys keep it up. Make sure you pay him double. You fucking idiots. Because I think, like, at least Marvel and Sony were collaboratively working on Spider Man back and forth. They had their rough, rough patches, but um, Kevin Feige produced one of the movies with. Avi, Avi, Arad, Arad, yeah, Arad. So, like, I'm assuming that their history was a lot more civil than what uh, Marvel and Fox's. Um, yes, yeah. As I, I did, as I said in the, um, I said it in some sort of video. <laughs> in a video, I did. I said it in our video. I don't remember which video. I think it was the video I did on how to say the Fantastic Four. I think so. I, I mentioned that, um, yeah, I think it was, that Marvel and Sony always had a pretty strong working relationship. They had a professional which relationship. Is why, which, is why, which is why Spider-Man was still merchandise as well. He still got his own, he still got constantly got new animated series and you know, yeah. he still pushed Spider-Man as the face of Marvel. Because they, you know, they, they, they had a professional relationship. Yeah, not only that, the fact that Avi Arad was also former head of Marvel Studios yeah. before Kevin Feige. Probably also helped. That it didn't hinder the relationship. But fucking Fox and Marvel fucking hate each other, man. Yeah. Like, notice all the toys out for the new Fantastic Four movie. None. There are no toys out. Can you imagine those toys? I I couldn't even. I couldn't even. Like that white girl meme. I couldn't even. <laughs> but oh my god it's just oh mommy look I want the thing he has no pants on I want the thing <laughs> no I'm not buying you a pantsless man I'm sorry they could also they could have merchandised the abusive older brother of uh, Ben Grimm <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's clobbering with clobbering action. 
<laughs> watch <laughs> watch Ben get beaten by his older brother. <laughs> like, there's so much wrong with that movie. It's unbelievable. No, there's not so much wrong. There's so little right. <laughs> we didn't even get the song, man. The only thing they got right was a, a, a fucking cameo by Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. Even that's, like, pushing it. Do, 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 do. Flame on. Is anyone in, is anyone in the chat? <laughs> is anyone live in the chat? I don't know. I know JDF is. He responded. JDF, JDF. What, what? Uh. So well, what are we protesting in this 24-hour chat? Oh, getting banned. That's right. Damn you. Fuck the man. Hold on. Let me pull up a little audio clip for everybody. Flame out. A little flame on for everybody. I kind of want cookies right now. I had such a big dinner, I couldn't eat dessert, but now I want dessert. It's just a bit of so late. <laughs> it's like I got to want dessert by default now. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, would it be PJ for me and Deity to mention the word bondage? Well, that's worth it's okay. If it's in the right context. It's literally talking about kinky bondage sex. Okay, then you're perfectly fine. Oh sweet. You're now thinking, what is he doing? Nope. I'm I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna listen to a DHD, so <laughs> you, you, you will find out why. The fuck? <laughs> what is that? Help, help, I need an adult. <laughs> Why is there a crying baby? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> no, seriously, what the fuck was that? Uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about, Owen? I hear nothing. What do you keep talking about? <laughs> help, help, I need to know. What actually happens with that? How did you get banned? Um, he got banned for not playing a, con a content associated with video games. But since we've been playing video games for like, I don't know, hours now. God damn the man. <sighs> Owen, why are you... What? Are you, what, what? Oh, get you. What are you talking about, Owen? I would actually sit and rather watch X-Men 3 than do this show with you. <laughs> it's, not me. it's not me. I'm talking. I'm talking to the chat. The gold people. I don't know. We have, we, we, we have to name the chat. <laughs> Can we call the chat chlamydia? Because they're nope. going. No. <laughs> that's not an No, we cannot. <laughs> so that's, that's not, be part of our chlamydia and watch the show. <laughs> Why? Why is that wrong? Yeah, that we, we can't have that. Why not? I need to find where this scene goes. 
Mm. Okay, that's where it goes. We're all intently watching Owen work. Or listening to Owen work. Okay, the, the kinky sex scene came earlier in the film. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Are, are you talking about um, James Cameron's Spider-Man? Because I think that's what you're talking about. I possibly not. <laughs> this is not a real answer. <laughs> uh, short answer is yes, I am. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Okay, I have been sent a contact request by Bluebird Bella Gurley three one seven. Something tells me that is not a real person. That is a real person. Is it you? No, it's not. But I'm pretty sure it is. A real person. Tough that is. shit. She is not getting accepted. <laughs> not her. <laughs> That's right. We should. Uh, I'm going to put myself over here uh, at Baron Von Comics on Twitter. And uh, Baron, Va Va Baron Von Comics Network on uh, YouTube. I think I think I'd probably do DHD well if I didn't change the intro every time I do it. I think that's perfect. You guys are basically I... listening to a staff meeting. <laughs> Except there's not actually as much um, profanities in our actual staff meetings. Sometimes. And you're not driving this time. Sometimes. Yeah, you were driving yesterday. Yes, I was. Oh, it's really sunny. <laughs> the sun's burning my skin. I have, like, stamps for nightclubs on my hands. <laughs> You're a mess. You are a mess. I am a mess. I'm still wearing the clothes I went out in. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. My makeup's run everywhere. What? <laughs> What's a joke? Right. You crazy Brit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not out of soft cell. <clears throat> Can you explain haggis for me? Okay, I'm not Scottish. Well, Even I don't understand what the fuck haggis is. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be safe to call you um, a closet Roger Goodell fanboy in your intro? No. It's not. It's, I'm going to do it anyway. It's... Completely opposite. What about Hans Moll? Do you have a poster of Hans Mollman in your room? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> so, Marvel opened D23 with Doctor Strange. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. And then they. Oh, I've heard that. I've heard it looks really good. Yeah. Hans Moleman. Alan Moore. I, uh, Alan Moore likes Moleman. Alan Moore loves Moleman. Alan Moore's gay for Moleman. Alan Moore is actually a Moleman. I am part Mole and part Man. How do you feel about that uh, new DC comedy called Powerless? I think that sounds so good. I disagree. It depends on who they nope. cast. It depends on who they cast in the show, but it's supposed to be like an office type documentary about an insurance firm. I love I love The Office, just as a side note. Well, I like The Office too. Like the original Office with Ricky Gervais. The, not... the British No, I don't like the British version. No? I, I really don't like it. I will, the American version might be my all-time favorite TV show, though. Like, the first, like, four seasons of The Office is great. And then it kind of starts yeah. going downhill. Yeah, but even when it goes downhill, it's still funny. <sighs> it has its moments, but it lost, like, the magic of the original first couple seasons. Yeah, I think as soon as um, Steve Carell left the show, it kind of just went downhill. Yeah. Did you hear that? Tom, did you hear Tom Baker might be in Star Wars? Who's Tom Baker? Uh, the fourth, Wait, the Doctor. The Doctor, yeah. <laughs> you just sound confused. I don't watch Doctor Who. 
Really? I'll probably get de- I'll probably get deported for this. Yeah, you're I'll, gonna. Get... I'll meet Tom Hardy at the airport. <laughs> you and Tom Hardy, <laughs> they're gonna do an exchange. You're gonna kick him out of the U.S. and you gotta come here. Well, like I think no, Doctor Who is actually really popular here in America, so. I think it's more popular in America than it is over here at the moment. They'd send you like Canada. Yeah. So did you hear that uh, Colin Trevor, uh, the director of... Colin Trevorrow, yeah. Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World, is uh, going to helm Star Wars uh, 9? Yeah, that is... I'm more excited about who's directing Star Wars Episode Eight, which is Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson, Looper. Looper, yeah. Which is the best sci- sci-fi movie I've seen this decade. Really? I thought it was kind of weird. Yeah, I love. I love that film. It's one of my. It's. There's been very few times I've sat in the cinema and just been in awe at the end of a film. Just. I think it's only ever happened twice. I, that I don't I'm just I, when the film ends, I I'm just left speechless. The only other time was, I think it was Whiplash. Whiplash was eh. No, it wasn't Whiplash. It was Birdman. Birdman, yes. Birdman was excellent. Hundred yeah. percent. I I saw Birdman in a small theater, like we have like little independent theaters that like house like thirty yeah. thirty people. 25 people yeah, way up in a theater. Yeah. And um, I saw it there in like fucking standing ovation. It was amazing. Do you think Luke men- mentions his aunt and uncle in the new Star Wars film? <laughs> uncle Owen. Uncle Owen. Where are you? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm Alan Moore. Ben Affleck turns uh, 43. Just yeah. today. I like how he doesn't smile anymore. He's yeah. definitely getting into the role. He's a grumpy. Yeah, have you seen him recently? He looks miserable as fuck. Yeah. All the time. That's why, that's why the, big, yeah. Yeah, the big split up between him and Jen. Yeah, because Batman is a full-time hobby. <laughs> I think it is. She's like, you're not even really Batman. He's like... It's not about who I am underneath. Oh my god. What I do that defends me. Oh my goddamn Batman. Will you stop talking like that? Oh my god. That's how it feels like. Hey. Batman, I'm leaving you. I have really That's bad. How it feels like. I have really bad allergies right now. <laughs> I'm going through a strange time in my life. <laughs> uh, JDS just pointed out that Johnson also directed Brick, which is an awesome movie. It really is. I didn't see I, Brick. Uh, I highly recommend I like Brick. Brick's good. Yeah, it's a very good film. So um, much, what was it doing? Between reading a bunch of fucking comics and watching a ton of fucking movies and having a day job and doing this, I don't get to see and read everything, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> As of August 14th, there's only 125 days until the new Star Wars film. Yeah. Yep. I wish I could control the screen. We could change the screen. Because I just put yeah, a picture. You could do through. I would. I would could do through Team Viewer. <laughs> team Viewer. I would uh, love to team, put a picture of Team Hans. Viewer, not Team Viewer. That's we look at very different things on that website. That's a Baron von Konick owned website, by the way. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're yeah. bad people. We're horrible people. But I, I, I don't know why you. I don't know you why you guys are watching us. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean stop though. 
Oh no, it doesn't mean stop. It means fucking keep watching us, but we're horrible people. Which makes you horrible people for watching us. <laughs> I'd like that's a... it. Just in, just that's it. Just insult the audience. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hola, senor. Oh, oh, oh Howdy. the boss is back to shout at us. I, I'm not necessarily back just yet. I apologize for uh, for being. Wait, have you been listening to us? I had to take care of a couple things. He went some and took important a things I could no longer put off. Um, how's everything going, guys? Horrible. You have no idea. There's some. Okay, you literally just missed Eric insulting our <laughs> audience. <laughs> you co- you just called our audience horrible people. Oh <laughs> Jesus, that's not hard. good. <laughs> oh it... man, Aaron Best left. Did you alienate yeah, Aaron Best so much that he left? He was tired. He needed to take a nap. Okay. We might have. Um, we were look. We might have been talking about digging up Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah, J- JDF 1217, Have they? Have they? Uh, have they been nice to you? Yes, we've been calling him out. All, all yeah, it would be nice to JDF. <laughs> He's cool. Um, He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Those other pricks, though. <laughs> yeah, fu- um, this script that is fucking, done. That so. fucking El Chipo comics. <laughs> yes, I have returned from Odin's sleep. No, not quite. I still, like I said, I have to handle a couple more things. But yeah, you guys apparently are doing smashingly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run a game in the background um, just so we don't get kicked off of Twitch again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but have have fun. I'll be back in like ten fifteen minutes. All right. Cool beans. Yeah. But... Cool beans. Cool beans on toast. <laughs> Hot beans on toast, sir. Hot beans on toast. I kind of like Hugh Grant, man. Yeah. He loves Fuck hookers. Hugh Grant. He he loves hookers. But... <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't love hookers? <sighs> Cops. So I've been out. Cobs hate hookers. So, um, so we went out this evening. It's uh, it was my friend's birthday. Okay. So we were, we, he had a um, like a big, like family party thing at his house. Yeah. They'd hired like these professional caterers. Jesus Christ, the food was incredible. <laughs> El Chibo. No. <laughs> El Chibo's back. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the food was. I'm still thinking about it now. There was sausages and burgers and there was chicken breast. And... El Chipo, you want to join us? It was just incredible. Oh, I could imagine. There was nothing. Like, like... We, we, we left at like midnight. We got a taxi out, um, to a couple, went to a few bars. Yeah. But by the time we left, there was an entire dining table full of meat. Oh, you love I said, it. I said, we are, I said, we are coming for dinner tomorrow. You love meat, don't you? Especially sausages. I love sausage-shaped meat. It could be anything. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to alert the fact that I received a message off Eric earlier that says, can you talk for a minute? I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the best... <laughs> it's the best guy. <laughs> you're... T- you're t- <laughs> You were talking about the bombshell variants. I was like, oh, I'm going to quick run and go pee. I need to... Bombshell variants? I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's been on the stream. <laughs> I've been on the stream for two hours... Uh, three, going on three hours right now. I needed a potty break. Sorry, I just... I, I've been listening to you guys and I just realized, like, yeah, you've been on this fucking stream for, like, three hours. You called me. You talked to me for, like, 20 minutes. I'm like, oh, yeah. Call Owen. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just drop into your lap, my bad, dude. <laughs> like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm like, just keep talking. <laughs> I'll agree with whatever you say when I get back. <laughs> oh, man. But we talked about very good topics. We talked about the fucking uh, character. I don't remember what we talked about. The, the character eyes of the world have been glued to the city so of Haran for the past. I swore a lot. No, you just made huffing sounds. You, I thought you were me for a second. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> like, am I on the other line? Am I listening to the chat? <laughs> but, uh... What, what do you think the coolest thing out of D3 that has come out so far? 
Um, well, I don't, I don't actually know any of the stuff that's come out. Just on the brief stuff we've talked about, I think um, uh, impossible, the impossible, uh, the uh, mm-hmm. impossible two uh, poster is pretty dope because yeah. that that pretty much that, that definitely confirms that there's going to be a second one. For which, sorry. The. Uh, Oh shit, what did I press? Don't you hate when you hit the wrong button on your computer and just opens a program? <laughs> You're like, fuck. fuck now, now I gotta fuck, wait. Fuck you, iTunes. Now I gotta wait fucking three minutes for this program to load and <laughs> fucking X out of it immediately. You guys should ask uh, Dylan if he wants to jump on the show. He's He's on Skype right now. Do you, want me to, um, do you want me to message him? Message him, yeah. I don't know how to message him. Poke him on Facebook. Yes, I, I don't have him on Facebook. <laughs> what happened to poking? Uh, that, we, 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 we've been doing a lot of poking. Uh, no, we okay, haven't. there. You, you happy Twitch? We're running a game, so you can't ban us. There. There's your fucking video game. Look at my inventory. Yeah, we're just gonna look at our inventory for a few hours. Mm, All right, I'll be back. Inventory. <laughs> mm, are there cupcakes in this inventory? Because I would love a cupcake. So what? So am I meant to be messaging Orum? Orum. I haven't. I haven't actually been on a cast with Orum. I've been kind of uh, slowly been turning away when Orum has come on for no reason on my control. Uh, beyond my control. I got the best there birthday. Go. I got the best birthday cake. I got the Carvel cake. Was it um, just a cake of disappointment and mediocrity? It's it's filled with Alan Moore's tears and Grant Morrison's head wax. Okay, very nice. Nothing. Nothing more nothing needs more. to be said. Yep. El Chipo, just uh, ping us in the chat when you want to join. I'll add you to the good old call. It's gonna be a full call in a minute. That'll like yeah. four people. Uh, yeah, Dil- Dylan said he'll, he'll do the show. For only you have to fill his green room with uh, green M and M's only. <laughs> yeah, someone has to cut up his food. And 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 Crystal Pepsi. We have to find that. <laughs> Crystal meth. <laughs> Crystal meth. I'm gonna. If I'm gonna do 24 hours, I need some crystal meth. <laughs> You're not doing 24 hours. There's only 14 hours left. I'll do the next 14 hours, maybe. I need to go to the bathroom at some point. Just, just ping me, and I will. I will not announcement. Wink, wink, to everybody when you have to go pee, and then. I'll just say it out loud. I don't care. Okay, that works too. I'll just be like, right, guys, I'm going for a shit. Decorum, decorum, sir. Decorum. Fuck decorum. Decorum, sir. So, what uh, inventory are you looking at? This is for. Uh, no, I'm not looking. I'm not looking at it. Why not? Dying light. Decorum. De- dying light inventory. It's so great not to be on uh, video while on a podcast. Because you can eat. Hi, and- guys. Hi, guys. It's me, Lala. Best birthday gift ever was Lala shouting out for me a birthday. You're welcome. I know. <laughs> People are like, who the fuck is Lala? <laughs> who the fuck isn't Lala? How do you not know who fucking Lala is? People have officially stopped chatting. <laughs> I've officially stopped chatting. Yeah, this is just the Eric show right now. 
You finish your work. I'll, I'll, I'll. I don't have a theme song. This is a placeholder. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food, so I'll be back in a minute. Cool. cool. All right. Bye. <laughs> That's Owen opening his door right now. Uh, let's, just, let's bring on a different guest. <laughs> Fuck Owen. I can. I have the power of adding another guest. Uh, Odd. Add people to this call. Do, 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 do. Add to call. He's probably not going to show up. Are you? Are you? <coughs> <laughs> so, how does everyone feel about the uh, adding of that horrible actor? Oh my god, I can't even think of it. An ugly motherfucker too. Um, it's not Seth Rogen. That looks like Seth Rogen. Zach Galifianakis as the Joker in Lego Batman. Yep, me too. All right, it's dead silence because it's complete bullshit. It's complete bullshit. It's complete bullshit. What four crazy motherfuckers is still uh, on this live stream at, which is 12.30 Central Time, 1 a.m. Eastern Time, 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and whatever the fuck Owen's time is, six, six hours for me, so 6.35 a.m. Worldwide, people. Worldwide right here. Hey, it's Owen's back. Okay, so am I. I'm back. Officially, two, I'm back. Two people back officially. Oh, man. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, man. I'm going to fire up Dying Light, and we're going to go and kill some zombies again. What, what were you guys chatting about? What were you guys talking about? Owen just grabbed a snack, and uh, I was chatting about the worst casting for a video game ever, and Zach Galifianakis as the Joker. <laughs> you don't like it? No. He's a talentless prick. He oh, doesn't deserve it. Oh, shit. He doesn't deserve it, Eddie. You're talentless a, prick, a, really? You're a talentless prick. What's going on, guys? He's a gentleman of talent. <laughs> between two uh, ferns, some... between two we ferns is the most... News. Of... Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> we have some good bitch. news. What's up? I am... I have just spoken with a client... Brock Lesnar? And we will be joined. Come here. We will be. <laughs> I'm the advocate <laughs> of Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar does not be appearing on that chat live. You mentioned your but, client. I was excited. But a certain other YouTuber will. Oh, really? No. Is it Lala? Because I would love to see Lala. I'm down to talk Working to on it. Uh, yeah, I spoke to Warren and he said he's busy. A bit, he's busy right now, but he said he'll uh, help me up in a few hours. Oh, right on. As he asked. He said he. Um, I have no idea what I was saying. Uh, I said. I don't know. I'm so hungover. <laughs> he said he's. Uh, he said he's busy now. He said I think he's finishing some stuff off. But basically, it's. <laughs> I just have to just go get water. He says. Well, basically. You know, Oh, help me. Hey, what's up, Spike? Just a fork. Go get that. Go to bed. The fuck are you still awake at 6 30 in the morning? And you're fucking drunk. You did this for 12 hours. You wouldn't know anything about that, I gotta run. I'll talk to you later, Spike. What? 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 What snack did you get, Owen? Does he have buttons? Uh, so, no, Tesco's is closed. <laughs> I have a pack of Kellogg's Honey Nut Loops. Yeah. Honey Nut Loops? I'm being stalked oh, yeah. by a fucking demon monster. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh snap. Oh, yeah. 
playing a terrifying video game. Um, do you guys play scary video games at all? Have you, uh, have you ever played a video game that you didn't necessarily like playing at wee hours of the night? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this whole fucking precedence for scary games is new to me, man. Like, people are paying a lot of money to get scared shitless. That's why they watch our show. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you want to get scared shitless, just like move into a bad neighborhood. You'll never want to play a scary game again. It'll be good. Fuck yeah, man. Mm. Mm. So what is there to chat about? Um, you guys hear the news from Star Wars, hearing that uh, Mr. Kylo Ren, that's not his birth name. Yes, yeah. with the last name uh, Solo, possibly. His last name is probably Solo, but uh, apparently he's a Knight of Ren. So Kylo yeah, he's is kind part of the like a... uh, Knights of Ren, which are like um, Neo Siths. Right, right. They're yeah, like man. Followers I, of Siths. I'm pretty certain that they're gonna, they're definitely gonna have like a throwback to like kind of the old times. They recently stated that Knights of the Old Republic is still in canon, so all that like old, you know. Red Old Star video Black game Image. stuff is now, you know, in the Star Wars universe, so they're probably going to play off of that. That's probably definitely going to come into play in the new movie. Okay. Yeah, I'm stoked for that. Honestly, the thing I want to see the most, though, I want to see why fucking C-3PO has a red arm. <laughs> you want to know why? I want to uh, see who pissed him off or who, 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 uh, who got I can, pissed off. I, I can spoil it for you if you want. Yeah. He was fisting R2 D2 and it got caught. Stop. Shit. <laughs> stop. Just stop, please. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you went there. <laughs> All snake. I did say spoilers. Oh, okay. Yeah, spoiled my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um. I don't really know where to go from there. <laughs> where do we go from there? Um, so, C-3PO, Fist and R2, yeah. That's um, why he has a red arm now. He's got a red arm. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, this cool. guy's on fire. Um, are you guys excited in any way for the new Walking Dead show, Fear the Walking Dead? Not really. Uh, that's coming as a Walking Dead fan. Yeah, I'm actually a Walking Dead fan who watches it pretty consistently mm -hmm. without DVR. Yeah. Um, it doesn't... Uh, it just... I don't know. It just seems too much. It seems a little, like, more of the same. You know, it doesn't really yeah. tickle but my fancy. It's, it's basically the same thing as the other show, but without, without the interesting characters. Exactly. <laughs> No, you're going to get a whole new cast of characters that you become interested in. Is is Daryl in? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so, you don't give a fuck about the comics? <laughs> Our scouts spotted people entering I don't the read the comics. Well, I mean, the show has deviated off, really far from the comics at this point. That comic is... You know what? Is... You'd be... No, you'd, you'd be surprised. That last season, the last half the season followed the comics literally page by page. Is Glenn dead? Not yet. Then it doesn't. <laughs> I well, don't know, man. That's because it's not caught to it yet. Oh, okay. I Where so. the show is at is literally the exact same as how that was in the book. Interesting. All right, that's pretty cool, though. That whole stuff with Negan and the Saviors, we're talking, like, Series 7. Oh, shit. This, the Saviors are in the show? Not confirmed. Not yet. We, we've probably oh, okay. got, like, another season and a half before they show up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're That's not coming cool. anytime soon. There's so much that happens before they show up. Hey, Michael. Michael just entered the chat, everybody. Michael. So said, oh, What's not, going on, Michael? Not Michelle. I gave him a shout out. Yeah, but you also said the name wrong. No, I didn't. Michelle. Oh, it shit. I'm Michelle. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, what's going on, Michelle? <laughs> one name, one gender. <laughs> we, so we're really bad with names on this show. <laughs> ask ask one of us to, to pronounce uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Like, yeah, that's a, a, other than me. Not, not happening. <laughs> Chiwetel Ejiofor. Oh, okay, shit. I'm drunk and I well, can pronounce it. Oh, you're British. Obi-Wan. Let me eat my honey nut loops. 
Food review. Nick, can I ask you a question? Ask me a question. Nope. Fuck off. Do you like Power <laughs> Rangers? I love Did Power you, Rangers. Don't. Did you like... Did you see the new uh, character right. description? Guy that you're starving. Um, no, I didn't. Honestly, like when I say I love Power Rangers, I mean like when I was a you know back in the day, yeah. Back in the day, the first series as a kid, you know, I'm fucking you know karate kicking my friends in the face, and it's okay because they're playing Power Rangers, you know. But um, no, what what new character uh, for the film that they're coming out with? For the, the new... film they're coming out with, the new film. No, I didn't. So it's gonna be the same, Jason. Kimberly, Billy, Zach, and Trini. Okay, cool. But uh, with kind of different paths to becoming Power Rangers, I guess, to say the least. Great. Um, would you like me to read the... I, I read these to Owen earlier, and he was not happy. <laughs> okay, yeah, fire, mm -hmm. fire away. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> we're going to start off with Jason. Okay. Jason is described as the former superstar quarterback who lost his entire career and himself after a car accident. Holy shit, it's dark as fuck. <laughs> right off the bat, like fucking car accident. <laughs> Holy the, shit. The, All right. The dark and gritty, that always the works. The teenager yeah. finds himself regaining his self-confidence as he leads the spandex dome group to save the world against the party patrol. Oh, God. Wait, really? The, sp the spandex? Spandex Don group, yes. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, go on, go on. Next is Kimberly. We all remember Kimberly, right? Yeah. Everyone had, every guy had a crush on Kimberly. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit I more of a Trini guy myself, but sure. But I'm saying, you, you looked at them both. You know, that's what I want. Yeah. Uh, so Mind Kimberly you, there were guys in the suits. Just just letting everybody know. Those were not so, women in the matter. suits. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> So, here's Kimberly's uh, character description. Kimberly was a popular gymnast who left school for six months. After she returns, she's plagued by rumors surrounding her absence, forcing her to rebel a rebellious attitude. What does that sound like to you? <laughs> um, well, it sounds like Mean Girls. Sounds like uh, Ugly Betty. I don't, I don't know. What? <laughs> it sounds like she had an abortion. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Possibly, possibly. Then uh, she's gonna be described kind of as a dark emo, punkish girl, coming back. Of course, right. And now we have Trini, your favorite. Yeah. We just learned. Trini's always the new kid, as her parents constantly move for work. She's bright but mysterious. The lone teenager is mainly looking for a cool gang of friends. Which is kind of what she was, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. You're going to hate this one. We have Billy up next. Yeah, Billy was my personal favorite. You guys you guys probably figure that oh. much. I'm going to apologize to you right now. Uh, reading this to you. Okay. <laughs> Billy's a smart, nerdy, and socially awkward. Described as a brainy teen. As showing his emotions, understanding sarcasm, and dealing with his OCD. Dealing with his OCD, <laughs> they give it. They turned him into Monk. They turned him into fucking Sheldon. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Yeah. And he yeah. finds himself befriending the former star athlete Jason. Yeah. No, that's actually kind of what happens in the show, from what I remember. He was pretty awkward. <laughs> like, dude, the fucking what? first fight scene they had him in, he was fighting in overalls. <laughs> yeah. You don't fight him. Okay. Why is Why is Jake now selling? Um, Tom Hardy t-shirts on his team public page. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking kidding, right? Because that's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh man, he's a genius. Dude, yeah, this is uh, why I work with you guys. You're fucking marketing geniuses. Um, are we gonna? Is Jake gonna jump in, or should we do DHD first? Fuck Jake. it. <sighs> okay. So uh, the last person is Zach. We all remember Zach, right? The yeah. cool little hip hop nope. guy. No, you don't, no one. Because you're 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 like five. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> and uh, okay, Zach is a confident teenager. He's a party animal and an awesome athlete. He's a charming guy who never has trouble with the one-liners nor lacking confidence around women. However, he hides the fact that his life life in a trailer park with his single mom 
bothers him. Yo, why is the black kid gotta be the fucking broke one? <laughs> Come on! Can we move beyond these tropes? God damn it. The fucking Asian chick has to be the new kid in school, and she's gotta fucking try to fit in and try to meet the new kids, and new kids pick her because she's different. That's such bullshit, and the fucking black kid, of course, is really cool, and he's really hip, and he's fucking always got the one-liners, he's always hitting on the girls, but he's poor. What kind of shit is this? Oh my Mike. god, and then, like, as far as Billy, that doesn't upset me nearly as much as you guys thought it would. It's like, I, you know, that's kind of what happened. He got picked on by Bulk and Skull or something like that, and then, you know, uh, Jason stepped in and helped him out or whatever, but... Jesus fucking Christ, like... Be a little bit more original, you know? Like, I was like, well, alright, well, Jason gets into a car wreck. That's cool. That's kind of well, interesting. Sab Saban's heading this. He's like the uh, quality control guy on this, Saban. Yeah, that worries me. Because <laughs> I, I was under under the impression that Saban was like gonna hire some people to do this thing yeah. cool and new. You know he's what I old and dying. You know what I hope for? I want a VR trooper. Fucking. <laughs> I'm just with the original this. cast with that kid that was like. Oh wait, wait, wait! Isn't that uh, isn't that Chastity Bono? I think so. That was Chastity Bono, wasn't it? Yeah, no. I think so. Yeah, I think maybe. So. <laughs> I, okay. So that's but not happening. I want a big bad Beetleborg and fucking VR Trooper. Big bad Beetleborgs. Yeah, man, that was that was a shit right there. <laughs> what did that last like a season and a half? Season? And they sold like a sold a shit ton of toys, but yeah, yeah. That's why those shows are created. But I'd like to welcome uh, the one and only El Chipo comic to the line. Oh my hey! God. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, guys? Did you guys all buy a Hardy for Hardy t-shirt? <laughs> we're just all, we're just all doing it. Really, like, when it says Hardy for Hardy, that's terrible. It says Hardy for Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like an I'll ugly two, green. It's, t it's lovely. <laughs> it's beautiful green. 100% okay, cotton. Um, or is there a little bit of polyester in there for longevity? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm a big fan of the Kelly green shirt, so I might order it. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> have should to. We, um... <laughs> Should we should we do this? Should we do a live DHD? Oh wow. Um, okay. Well, I, I, mean, I haven't really prepared go. for it, and um, I, I have this game running. You, you but guys we definitely need shut to prepare. Yeah, I, I'm only going to record with the audio. Okay. I don't actually need any visuals anymore. I've changed how the format is. Uh, so, is it record? Are you will you record this? <laughs> do you want me to record it? Um, yeah. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> And I'm, the way I'm doing it now. You heard me. Oh yeah, yeah. It's zombie apocalypse. Let me let me record. Hold this on. Let me <laughs> I'm trying to not get us kicked off of Twitch. You know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me turn off. Let me turn the game. volume off of the game, and then we can record it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm fucking, I'm ah, drunk. So let me tell you about this movie. I'm drunk. I want to shoot drunk DHD. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, before we, before we start, I did just buy a Hardy for Hardy t-shirt. Yes! <laughs> wow. Awesome, man. The my, Yeah, the brainwashing has begun. I'm turning you, Eric. <laughs> See, that's all. That's what we need to do in order in order to make money off of this uh, this program is that we just we put products out and we have Eric buy it. That's, <laughs> exactly. That's, <how> we, <laughs> that's what we do. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna hit record. Uh, you, you can you can start whenever you want. All right. We're we're rolling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is insanity. Okay. Preface with with Owen's drunk. <laughs> it's seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> so development hell. <laughs> My life is hell. <laughs> you see, you oh. were in the sixth circle, and then you got on the podcast, and that was the seventh circle. <laughs> Seven Circle of Hell is this show. <laughs> Welcome to Development Hell, everyone. Your host, Owen Likes Comics. Mephisto. 
<laughs> My name's Mephisto, get it right. This isn't a 24 hour live stream, this is a one more day live stream. <laughs> this is the last hurrah. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting booted up on Twitch. It's never happening again. We're, go Fucking, we're going bankrupt. We're going, we're going the bad type of bankrupt. Okay. <laughs> we're, going, we're going DMX bankrupt. We're going DMX bankrupt. <laughs> bankrupt. X gone, give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let chat go and give it to you. What's X gonna give it to you? Oh, a summons. And, uh, you got <laughs> Because my money! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have descended into chaos. Hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, my money! Don't be playing with my money! Don't be playing with my money! Don't be playing with my yeah, you're gonna have a lot to edit, it, Owen. Like, Owen, if you're DMX, are we the Rough Riders then? Oh, shit. Oh, I, I wanna I be Eve. I called on Swiss Beats. I, be <laughs> I, I shot Call Eve. No, I got it. <laughs> Fuck you, Goldman. <laughs> Can I be Drag On? The guy that nobody remembers? <laughs> drag on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drag His name is Drag On, like Dragon, but like, because he's a motorcycle driver, so he drags, drags on. Drags On. Oh, that's clever. That's witty. Drag On. There's only Swiss, yeah, somebody call Swiss Beats because he married uh, Alicia Keys. So. I call it, I call Swiss Beats. You can have Eve then. I'm yeah, all up with I'm that. I'm all, all up with that Alicia Keys. You know what's crazy? She had those tattoos on her titties removed. I don't approve. Oh, she did? I yeah. didn't know that. The paw yes. prints? This is fucked up. The paw, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> right, somebody can call uh, MC Jin because he's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think he's doing like stand up comedy now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> MC Jin is doing that, and I think he's petitioning to be in like Fast and the Furious 8 or whatever. Yo, Tyrese is going to be shooting a uh, fucking Green Lantern, so he's also. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god. Ready? Hit us, Owen. GHD. <laughs> Stop fucking giggling, damn it. <laughs> you're you're a professional. <laughs> the drunk it, the drunk is still real. <laughs> okay. Ready? Someone count me in. Alright. Seven. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> T minus five seconds. Five. Four. Oh, oh fuck I'm dead. Three. <laughs> two. One. Blast off. <laughs> For fuck's sake. And now, the MTV music video premiere of Owen Likes Comics. Featuring DMX and the Rough Riders. It's murder! <laughs> ja Rule's here! Okay. Oh, Welcome man, Ja Rule's in this piece? Yeah. Oh, my man, my man! <laughs> there you go, go, okay. go. Oh, DMT session! You're never gonna get the go. Oh, and just shoot, shoot from the hip. Just go. <laughs> okay. We're fausting the shit out of you. Right now. <laughs> there is no proper entrance for this show, Owen. Just start going. Oh, yeah. Ah! Movies. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome to Development Health Discussions, the show where we examine the synopsis and rumors behind movies that never quite made it out of the development phase. Today, I'm joined by Let's Chat's very own hands mole man, Eric Barron, Baron Von Comics. What's How are you, doing, Eric? No one's gay for me. Oh, man, really sorry to hear that. We're also joined by... <laughs> We're also joined by the brains behind Let's Chat, moderator for the weekly poll, host of Let's Chat Live, and an overall stand-up guy, depending on who you ask, Nick Goldman, Goldman Vision. What's going on, man? It's murder! Holla, holla! What's going on, guys? How you doing? <laughs> and finally, making his DHD debut, the one and only, the man who's now selling Hardy for Hardy t-shirts on tpublic.com, it steals Wi-Fi, and it won't pay over three dollars for well, anything. El Cheapo Comics himself, Jake Lionheart. That's right. Hey, everybody, keeping it cheap, keeping it simple. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like Can't drag on. Beat that. <laughs> like drag on. <laughs> I think there's one more. There's one more person. No, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> this other person. No, there is. It's murder. Who? <laughs> Grant fucking Morrison. He's tuning in. How to do a fucking broadcast? 
24 fucking hours! <laughs> Christ almighty! Christ on the bike, man! Christ on a fucking bike! Hey, Owen, it's me, Alan Moore. Why'd you let this fucking bald motherfucker grab my Fucking Alan months? Moore! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I called you. first! Fuck you, you bald motherfucker. Do you I write, remember I wrote, when I saved your fucking career back in the 80s? I write novels, you fucking wanker. Fuck you and your novels! Career. The fucking you can, fact that you write novels is fucking novel. You fucking write multiversity stories. Continue that, you fucking out of continuity, bald fuck. Let me tell you something about fucking continuity! Oh shit! I'm getting killed by fucking zombies! Great. Hey, Owen! Hey, Owen! This is X! What up, dog? Let's talk about some development hell! Last episode. <laughs> I'm listening. Yeah, that's it, man. We're all out of jobs. <laughs> I'm already broke, so I won't really feel the hurt as much as you guys would. That's right. We were sponsored by Disney. We've lost everything now. All right, Owen, I'm sorry. Development Hell Sessions. I'm not talking to you guys. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Is I'm anyone slammed. still watching Alan's this fucking, fucking crazy broadcast? Hold on. Let's, let's check in. I think the last one was from uh, No one, one is Amber. watching this. <laughs> oh, no, Drunk no, no, no. JDF is still watching. Yeah, Drunk as hell discussions. Yeah, exactly. that's what it I'm, is now. I'm the sane one. Yeah. What? Okay, can I start? Yes. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to do you a solid, and I'm going to stop the recording. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to restart it. Okay, oh, you ready? Nice that, that'll be the next off topic. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be the off topic for next week. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's when you start, Owen. Oh, is it? Okay. Welcome to Development Hell Discussions, the show where we examine the synopsis and rumors behind movies that never quite made it out of the developmental phase. Today I'm joined by Let's Chat's very own hands mole man, Eric Barron. How are you doing, man? I'm tw 23 years old. Was the shittest <laughs> intro ever. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Should we try that again? Care of himself, for, for the record, we had a bunch of great intros before this. <laughs> should we, should we try? It. Should we? <laughs> Let's go. Today, okay. Today I'm joined by Let's Chat's very own hands mole man, Eric Baron, Baron Von Comics. How are you doing today, Eric? Hola, mi amo Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> We're also joined by the. Well, <laughs> we can stop rustling shit. It's not me, I swear to God. We're also joined by the brains behind Let's Chat, moderator for the weekly poll, host of Let's Chat Live, and depending on who you ask, he's a decent guy. Nick Goldman, Goldman Vision. What's going if on? If I'm Nick? the brains of the operation, we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Good to be here. <laughs> and finally, making his DHD debut, he's popping his cherry. The one and only, the man who's selling Hardy for Hardy t shirts on T Public, El Cheapo Comics, Jake Lionheart. How you doing, Jake? Hey, I'm doing good, man. Keeping it broke, keeping it simple. So today we're traveling back to 1995. So hop in your DeLoreans and travel up to 1.21 gigawatts. James Cameron's production company uh, acquired the rights to Marvel's flagship character, The Amazing Spider-Man. And Cameron himself wrote a 47-page script treatment, which is exactly what we're talking about today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's dip into said treatment, James Cameron's Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a good fucking script. I can't. Is this wait. where you uh, cue the Celine Dion music or <laughs> Yes. This more is exactly more in the web we'll go on. <laughs> wait, is that the right song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! This is a totally wrong song. <laughs> Alright, tell us about this this doomed script that is damned to okay. hell now. Peter Parker is a bright young high school student. He's very much the geeky and social outcast of the school. He's picked on by jock Nathan Flash McCreary, a famous popular comic book character. Yeah. And has a crush on the popular Mary Jane Watson. While at a university lecture on genetic mutation, Peter is accidentally bitten by a genetically altered spider. He becomes super agile, super strong, and has the ability to cling onto walls. Yep, sounds good so far. Peter has a strange dream and his body undergoes changes and wakes up to find himself in a strange situation. 
Once he wakes up to discover he's on top of an 80-foot tower wearing nothing but his underwear. You've never had that happen to you? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, fucking yeah. hate when that happens. That's happened to me at least twice. Um, do you know the, the, the Hell's Gate Bridge? Yeah. It, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. It's happened to me many times over there. Go on. He also wakes up to discover another strange power. The ability to shoot webbing <laughs> from his wrists. After waking up covered in goo in a scene that is essentially him having a wet dream, Peter discovers that biological <laughs> spiderweb shooters have grown under his wrists. So far, so good. This sounds like a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it doesn't... Goo, it, the web doesn't come out of his ass like a regular spider. <laughs> Sadly not. Okay. Peter decides to make some money off his new power by taking on the identity of Spider-Man and doing acrobatic acts on the street and later on TV. <laughs> he makes fake web shooters. He makes fake web shooters to make people believe that the webbing is artificial so he doesn't look like a freak. Well, I can, I can see that, actually. Um... The Spider-Man identity soon becomes a way for him to express his true self and be everything that Peter Parker isn't. Cool, popular, witty, and strong. At this point, a, uh, a wealthy businessman by the name of Carlton Strand takes notice of Spider-Man. Strand is essentially a cross between Donald Trump and Electro. Yes. He has full control over... So, like, full so control like Donald over. Trump. It, it might as well just cast Donald Trump for this. <laughs> He has full control over electricity that he got in a lightning accident, and he can use that power in many manners. Um, in many manners, so he can shock people's hearts to kill them. He fires bolts of lightning, and he can monitor computer and phone transmissions since they're electrical. <laughs> unfortunately, he cannot have the phys- he, unfortunately he cannot have physical contact with other people, as he seems to shock them to death. Which we get a scene where he has sex with a woman and kills her. Doesn't Let me up. tell you something. When I had <laughs> sex with that woman, she just couldn't handle my power. <laughs> it's not my fault that I killed this woman with my electrical penis. <laughs> I don't know why he has a list, but he does. I, uh, we're just going to go why with does he sound like? Why, do, why does he sound like Bill Clinton? Uh, it's a little bit of Bill Clinton. It's, well, a, it's a little bit of um, Trump. JFK, but mostly yeah. Trump. But, yeah, yeah there's, I, can, I can hear the JFK. So anyway, Strand tries to recruit Spider-Man to join his criminal organization. Well, Strand tries to just... What the fuck? Strand (laughs) decides to try and recruit Spider-Man to his criminal organization. Meanwhile, Peter begins to fall for Mary Jane. He discovers that despite the spoiled rich girl appearance, she comes from a broken home. When Peter sees Flash hit Mary Jane... Wow! He proceeds to knock Flash out and then destroy his car. Beat that motherfucker's ass! Beat that motherfucker's ass! Whip his ass, point, Peter. Peter. Uh, I have a quick question, Owen. Is, uh, P- is Peter Parker played by Hank Pym in this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> At that point, Peter realizes his powers can do harm and possibly kill. It scares him, but at the same time, he thrills at aiding the helpless and he tries to start helping people. However, determining those that want help and those who need help are two very different things. And because it's not happened yet, Uncle Ben is killed by a robber who Spider-Man lets get away. No. Ben is killed in a carjacking. I know. Spoiler alert. <laughs> ben is killed in a carjacking outside of the building, where he's waiting to pick Peter up. Spider-Man soon tracks down the killer to a warehouse where the cops have him cornered, and he catches him. However, when handling him over to the police, the cops try to take Spider-Man in for questioning. Spidey breaks out of their custody, thus making him wanted by the police. A local TV presenter by the name of J. Jonah Jameson spins the story into Spider-Man being a menace to society and a threat to the public. It's also worth noting that there is no Daily Bugle at all in the story. Wow. Who reads I newspapers? I add in real quick that, um, you know, this, this script was a little bit different and unique because, you know, although Ben does die, uh, he doesn't get shot with a pistol. They kill him with a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> They wanted to be extreme. You know how James Cameron can get. Doesn't he die at home? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I skimmed the damn thing. No. I've skimmed Wait, the damn thing. Wait, he really gets killed by a bazooka? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> so, after Uncle Ben dies, that's kind of the point where Spider-Man really starts fighting crime and helping people out in the city. There's a scene where Mary Jane falls for Spidey when he saves her after being uh, almost raped by a gang. 
well, raped like, by you know the scene in um, Sam Raimi, Sam Raimi Spider Man where the whole upside down like, kiss scene. Yeah. 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 Um, wow. Like, uh, yeah, which leads you know what? To... You think about it now, and like, yeah, no, that was totally that was almost a rape scene. <laughs> yeah. In Sam Raimi Spider Man. Yeah. Good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, so after he saves her from almost being raped by a gang, uh, he takes her up to the Brooklyn Bridge and has kinky, webbed up, bonded sex with her. Makes because sense. that's what everybody wants immediately <laughs> after almost getting raped. It gets exactly. super horny. Yeah. <laughs> That's also what everyone wants in a Spider-Man movie. Him Good using job, his James. webs to tie a woman up. Mm. On the same bridge where his other girlfriend snaps her neck. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to mention a point, though, that, like, Spider-Man, that motherfucker's horny all the time. You know? Like, he's a he teenage can, he's boy. Always, he's always putting his penis in something. Like, he can't stop. You notice that in the comics? Like, that is one ongoing theme for certain, is that Spider-Man must get laid. The best thing about the comics, though, is that fucking Osborne bangs, uh, what's her name? Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy, yeah. Best part of the comics. Yeah. See, this is what you get for being a fucking, you know. Dude, D-bag there, uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. What goes around comes so, around. So, <laughs> that's what you're saying, Owen. Uh, <laughs> Creepy, the weird, Spider -Man is sexy like, bondage sex. <clears throat> I mean, that is everything you want in a Spider Man movie. Um, yes. The only thing we want in a Spider Man movie. And El Santo. Oh, no, yeah, we sadly, more Santo. Mexican, sadly, Mexican wrestling legend El Santo does not appear in this movie. That's very yeah. disappointing and sad. Maybe there's an Easter Just, egg. <laughs> maybe this was. <laughs> <laughs> there's an Easter egg. <laughs> The, that's a fucking script. Oh. <laughs> that maybe would have been say, I don't know. Oh my okay, God. So, so you think James Cameron, right, okay, on TV in background, show Mexican wrestling legend Santo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, why, fuck why Stan Lee. We need a Santo cameo. If you want it to be a commercial success, see, if there's one thing that this guy knows... It's how to make things commercially successful. Therefore, uh, El Santo needs to be in it. Exactly, man. This is this is going. On. <laughs> <laughs> just just cut this bit out, man. You guys watching live? This is a hell of a show, huh? I think, I think this is going to be a special live-only DH day. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Spider-Man is approached by Strand's henchman, who's a fellow only by the known. So Spider-Man is approached by Strand's henchman, a man only known as Boyd. And Boyd is the Sandman. Legit? Yep. Yep. Is he called the Sandman? He has all the powers of the Sandman. But he's called he Boyd. He has all the looks of the henchman. Sandman? I don't know what the fuck he looks like. It's a script. You can look whatever the Does fuck he, he wants to look like. all the flavor of the Sandman? <laughs> I have a question. If the, the Sandman he goes... Looks like I can't believe it's not Sandman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Boom. If the Sandman goes to the beach and gets sand in his drawers, does he get uncomfortable? <laughs> no, he I just think gets he bigger intentionally drink. puts sand in his drawers every day, just a little bit. <laughs> like he's, you know how some people like have to run to the bathroom and put like preparation H on their on their assholes, you know? Like he just he has to like run into his house. He's like, oh fuck, ah ah ah, and then he like takes a little bit of sand. Oh, sand and, and rubs it in. Yeah. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know. Strand explains to Spider-Man that he wants him to join his criminal organization, but Spider-Man rejects the offer. As a result, Strand secretly has thugs commit crimes wearing Spider-Man suits, and he pays J. Jonah Jameson to increase his anti-Spider-Man campaign. And just for the sake of it, kidnaps Mary Jane Watson. Sounds about right. So, Spider-Man eventually tracks down Strand, who is um, hiding Mary Jane Watson at top of the World Trade Center. Oh, God. And there is the very famous line that he says when he encounters um, Boyd and Strand. Does anyone, does anyone know the famous line? Anyone want to take a guess? That what he says? This is very famous. This is on the level of Frank Miller. And this is uh, the Boyd is a Sandman, right? Yeah, what he says to okay. Electro and Sandman. He says, he says, hey, buddy, take this. With a grain of salt or sand. <laughs> I just ruined that line. Yes, you did. 
Take okay, this with a grain of sand, but I'm going to punch you out. I'm going to electrify <laughs> you, buddy. Yeah. With a grain no, of sand. What he actually sa- huh? No, what he, actually- <laughs> what he actually says is, I'm going to kill you, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's what Spider-Man says? Yep. I'm going to kill you, motherfuckers. And then he throws up the dub and then cue the Easy E music and does, then. Does he say motherfuckers? Motherfucker. With an A? Yeah, with an A or does he, yeah. Is it a hard R? This is. That's yeah, what we need. It's yes, very this, important. Yeah, this was good. Okay, we've had a bondage sex scene in Spider Man using the word motherfuckers. It's definitely a hard R. It's a PG team. Okay. No, no, this, I'm not talking about the rating. I'm talking about the word. Is he using the, word, the yeah. A at the end or the uh, hard R? Motherfucker or motherfucker? Motherfuck it. <laughs> Motherfucker, because he's a 15 year old white boy. That was a difference. Okay. Well, he might have been listening to some gangster rap before he went out there, and that's why he was inspired. Gangsta Gangsta was on top of his list. York. He's, he's a kid from Yeah, Queens, on top of his know? list. Yeah. Also, then he was listening to Biggie, so, okay, then it was probably Hard R. Hard R, yeah. Or maybe it was a West Coast sympathizer or some Tupac. <laughs> what we're trying to say is go watch Straight Out of Compton. <laughs> This has been a good promo commercial for that movie the whole time. Yeah. This yep, whole 24-hour sure we... live stream is actually building up to a <laughs> world premiere of Straight Outta Compton. It's going <laughs> to premiere on Golden Vision. <laughs> <laughs> So, but the thing is, the thing is, we too. recast everybody for the, re- for the premiere. So playing Dr. Dre is Owen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want it to be Ice Cube. No, Owen. Jake's Ice Cube. <laughs> he's the only one that's going to have a significant career after all this is over <laughs> <laughs> we're all fucked he's the only one that hasn't said something stupid I'm gonna be- on, <laughs> you just said I'm the one that gets views easy motherfucking A it's gotta be me it doesn't mean you're good longevity man see Jake's playing the long game <laughs> he, fucking, he fucking tricked me into buying a Tom Hardy shirt <laughs> <laughs> And he doesn't, Eric, Eric does Eric not Hardy, like Tom Hardy. Hardy. He don't even like Tom Hardy, and I got you to buy a Tom Hardy shirt. Every podcast oh. we do together, I'm wearing that fucking Tom Hardy shirt. Well, taking out you suckers, and you don't know how I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what's next, man? Jake's going to turn me into a brony. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to turn uh, Owen into being an American. Yes. Yeah. He's going to gain 600 pounds. <laughs> Walmart and McDonald's for you, Owen. That's it. You know Walmart <laughs> has McDonald's. Every Walmart has a McDonald's in it. What? Yeah. 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 You Right? Every fucking Walmart you've ever been yep. to has a McDonald's right that's at a, the entrance. Although, if you go to a Kmart, they have Little Caesars. Okay. I like so, I don't know Caesars. who wins. I missed but... that. <laughs> Crust fest. So you were saying, Owen. <laughs> we're going to kill you. I'm going to kill you motherfuckers. Continue. Yeah. That's, that's where it ends. That's where it fucking ends. That's it? Well, yeah, he beats them. He rescues Mary Jane and yeah. they, they neck. That's it. <laughs> for the record, he doesn't, ki- for the record, like he doesn't kill the motherfuckers. Sounds like a Hollywood movie to me, man. You know what? Fuck this. This is just for everyone watching live. <laughs> <laughs> You might be able to uh, to edit it into something kind of funny, especially if you put some Benny Hill music to it. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can actually hell. call it Drunken Development Hill. Nothing is soluble from this, guys. <laughs> Drunken Hell Sessions. I've got plenty of off topics. Let's put it that way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> when you go for a tangent from now on, I just kind of just sit there quietly and just leave you to it. <laughs> Because it's the fact that with that off topic I uploaded the other day, none of that like humor was me. That was all Joel. Yeah. yeah. It was just Joel being hilarious. No. He got himself off topic. Talking about, you two talking about fucking happy great. meals. Yeah. I'm, I'm very proud of that thumbnail. <laughs> X gone, give it to you. I think X, X gone, give it to, it to you. We've had a little bit too much. <laughs> I've had a little bit too much. <laughs> wait, why, why is Baywatch? Wait, why is the upcoming Baywatch movie R-rated? No, it needs because to. 
Zac Efron and The Rock need to kick some ass, and the only way to do that is on a hard R. And he's, they're going to kick some pussy ass. That's right there. Oh, That's what it says? <laughs> no. Oh. I feel like I'm so gullible when you guys say this stuff. I'm like, for real, is a bazooka? <laughs> bazooka? That okay. makes sense. Now it's not. Serious I question. mean, usually, yes, you should believe us because, like, we do a fucking podcast where we, like, talk about the talk news. Talk shit. <laughs> but now, like, yeah, but just we, we may call the news old. <laughs> <laughs> None of it's actually news. Yeah. All of it is, most of it is fake, and it just, we turn out to be lucky. We just get lucky. <laughs> We we work for Movie Pilot. Yeah, <laughs> we're in their pocket. Like when we were talking about Gambit, we just got lucky. Oh yeah. No, the rumors are bullshit. No, like we just got lucky. <laughs> um, I, I I know everything. Fuck you all. <laughs> I, I Alan Moore told me on the Mindscape. No, he just communicated with me. Oh man, dot God King Owen. Fucking right. This is so, so what is weird. the purpose of this live stream? Uh, the purpose of this live stream is to one uh, establish that uh, there is no limit to how long we can stream and what type of shit we can stream, and also just getting um, many, many, many hours of video game footage on the channel so that we don't get any bullshit from Twitch next time. <laughs> 